and I guess you guys can discuss uh, what you might want to do as far as future plans for the next day or long range. Um, and I'll, I'll mention a few things that, that you've overheard um, just since you've been back, other people talking. Since you've been back at the end, you've heard, oh, let me show you a picture. I know, uh, let's see. I don't know if you can see that. Does that pop up on your yeah, computer screens? I can see that, yeah. Yeah, I see it. Okay. Yeah, you've heard some people talking about uh, these creatures that are like little mouse men um, that have been seen out in the countryside recently. You know, over the last few weeks to a month, there have been more and more reports and rumors going around, and they're, uh, they're kind of vicious. Uh, and they've been burrowing into people's uh, cellars, and getting into the floorboards of their houses. And it's weird because it'll start out as a mouse infestation of actual little little field mice. And then one day, these mouse men that are like waist high will show up and they'll be armed. They've got sharpened wooden spikes, uh, like little spears, and they'll rob people. And leave. It's like they they uh, it's like they squat in the cellar for a while and steal food and stuff, and and eventually they start stealing valuables and then they leave. So that's another story you've heard locally, and then you've also heard some stories about the new uh, land of New Zhao. Uh, um, more and more people have been going there to settle. Uh, you don't know what the population is there yet, but you know that it's growing rapidly. Um, you also know that more trained uh, militia have been sent from the kingdom of Vazar, where you're at. They've been sent as kind of reinforcement and backup to keep order in the new settlement. Um, and then you've heard some things about the journey there that are a bit concerning. You've been hearing more and more reports of uh, whirlpools in the passage there's a passage that goes through the mountains it's like you're at this you're at sea you're at open sea and then you've got to go through for about a week like a narrow channel between mountains where sometimes it's only a mile wide and you've got really rough water currents in there so there have been a lot of whirlpools uh, and there have been some ships that have sunk so also there's been there's been uh piracy and just a lot of uh unconfirmed reports of just uh strange encounters so happening are, are in we, this passage are we just sitting in the things that don't make sense listening to yeah, people yeah. talk about this stuff yeah and these are the kinds of things that people have been chatting about um could it be like maybe, around you maybe you know we overhear dakar and Eric the Red talking about these mice men or something and and we very very much a yeah conversation yeah yeah you guys can definitely I mean you're all in the same room and you know you you see each other and you can you can talk to each other okay um, yeah so it's gonna be like so, that huh? so feel so feel free yeah it's gonna be like that <laughs> um. Well, what are your thoughts, Aaron? I mean, we're 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 all kind of trying to discover this together in a way. I mean, you Jason's know, uh, the DM, but we're trying to. He's given us choices. The night, guess. you know, the night the night before, um, the famous music, musician and actor <laughs> Boba Steele, his loot was stolen. Oh yeah. Um, That's what we're talking about. And yeah, and that's one of those uh, get it while it's hot kind of things. I mean, if something's stolen, right, it could be anywhere within Jason, a couple of days. You know, pass out, crash. We wake up. We go down to the uh, pub early morning, and that's when Thorwald notices Eric the Red. Yeah. All right. And. It you guys are anyone, down there in the morning. Yeah. Okay. And are are you gonna um, 
discuss your plans on what you're doing for the day? Yeah, we're gonna tell. Well, we well Thorwald, I, I imagine would would a you know recognize yeah Eric the Red. Eric. And any friend of Eric the Red is a friend of ours. ours. Eric, <laughs> I haven't seen you for a while. Yes, I've been off the Zowian coast, I guess. Yeah, Zowian. Earning my, <laughs> Zowie. Earning my second level. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> oh, I, I appreciate you helping me stow away and getting me a job on that pirate ship. Thanks for not turning me in, my old friend. It's not a problem, but this scar reminds me of helping you out before. Ooh. Well, I'm forever in your debt. Definitely. Definitely. Well, I have some companions here. And we are on a mission to make some money so we can get traveling to the new world. The new Zao. Yeah. And where is this new world? Well, we have to we have to take a ship. I what was it? Um, I don't know what pirates know about. Six uh, it's weeks. a it's a long it's a long journey. No, well that'd be a round trip. It's it's about a three week journey by ship. Um, I would and say. you know it's a it's a it's a dangerous journey. You know that too, or it's becoming more and more dangerous. It seems as time goes on. You guys keep hearing more and more about ships being sunk and and pirates and all that. So and the whirlpools. Didn't, didn't you want the group to tell tell him though, Jason? Like, because he doesn't really know. Well, maybe he does know. Yeah, this is all stuff that uh, is kind of common knowledge around now. Is that the reason why you're here, Eric? Maybe I was looking for a new place to settle, clear my name. Oh, are we? Bit. Same with us. All of us have been talking about wanting to go to the new Zal. We talked to a captain and he seemed like a promising seemed like he had a very promising vessel and and uh, safe travel getting there because he's been there and back. And but the problem was we needed to uh, get all of our own provisions and we're running a little short on money. So he was going to take off the just today, and um, we didn't have enough funds to be able to provide for ourselves. So we decided to try to look for work and look for money, you know, here. And last night, we learned about this famous traveling musician and actor who had his loot stolen last night. He had his... Um, musical instrument loot stolen and he's been at the peaceful hornet inn hmm. and the peaceful hornet inn is is nearby and you guys all know about it you know you could walk there in 10 15 minutes um, but do you know anything about where the uh the instrument may be we didn't hear anything about that no we, but um, we, yeah. we heard you, that you do have the possible option of going uh, see if he's still at the Peaceful Horn and yeah, talk, could, talk we, to him or see yeah, the place go where there it was stolen see if from. He's still there. We heard that it was stolen right out of his room. Someone <laughs> had climbed up the building apparently and broke through the window that he was staying in that room, the window to the room he was staying in, and got the loot. So he might still be there. It must be a very special instrument. Apparently, yeah. Well, he is famous and and gets around, so I could imagine it would be worth a great deal to him and, and probably anybody. Must be very special. Yes. And for I me say I say we play both sides of this coin. 
Both we might be able to sell. We might mean? be able to sell the instrument for money as well. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I like the way you think, Eric. <laughs> well, Eric, I um, I myself, I'm not gonna go investigate this um, loot. I'm gonna make some gold. I have a job that starts this morning, and I'm gonna be heading off to that. But <laughs> is there anything that, that you you need, my friend, anything I can do for you here today, this morning? I will leave you with my companions, my trusted companions, and you make sure that you treat them well because they have not... Uh, they have not, uh, and I, I kind of, I go in there and, and say they have not been dishonest with me once. So treat them well. And I kind of whisper into your ear. Very well. Is there anything you need? I could always use a million gold pieces. Well, I'll start working on that. I will, uh, I'll see you all later. So Thor, uh, Thor when, takes off and goes to work. Before, before, <laughs> before Thor takes off, Stormy stops him and says, keep your eyes and ears open for thieves. There could be somebody at the warehouse that knows about this loot. Oh, yes. That is a, a good idea. And I'll also keep my eyes and ears open, Stormy for possible supplies that we can illegally gain t uh, gain at the warehouse. Oh, she just laughs. <laughs>, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I say goodbye to Johan, Johan and Bald mm -hmm. Phil, and, and I kind of look at uh, Eric's companion, Dakar, a little funny, and then uh, <laughs> say goodbye to Oala, and then I'm taking off, and Go earn my six gold pieces for the day. His ears, his ears are human, but they're slightly pointy at the ends. Mm. All right, so Thor is doing a day job. What do the rest of you propose to do <laughs> for the day? Well, I think we should go investigate at the Peaceful Hornet Inn. Absolutely, get more information about the loot. What do you okay. say, Oala? Uh, I think that's good. Is uh, Eric and this companion, are you going to join us? And we'll definitely share any gains that we are able to obtain. 60-40, right? <laughs> we're all thinking, uh, we're all thinking even Stephen. Indeed. <laughs> Very well. All right, so Let's do it. the party moseys on down to the peaceful Hornet Inn. Uh, all right, it, it's still and, morning, uh, it's so it's not real busy, you know, or anything. Uh, you, you can't tell if there's anybody inside from outside, but you can walk on in if you want. Yes, we shall. All right, walking in, you see there's a there's a barkeeper back behind the bar, cleaning stuff, setting things up. And he looks up and kind of smiles and waves to you. And he says, hey, you're the first customers of the day. How many of you are there? Seven. So, oh, my goodness. Well, it, take your, take a seat anywhere you like. And the, you can see there's, uh, there's tables around. There's a big fireplace over on the other side of the room. Um... Well, some long, uh, long tables with chairs around them. And... Well, Johan's going to take a seat, but Stormy wants to go over and ask the bartender if um, the famous musician and actor Boba Steele uh, is is still here. Ah, uh, yes, he is still here. I'm not sure for how much longer. Uh, yeah, he's in a bit of a predicament right now. Oh, um, uh, is there any way that I could speak with him? I uh, well, he hasn't come down yet this morning, but uh, I can I can check on him and and see if he'll visit with you. 
Well, that would be can wonderful. I, can I tell them who's who's calling? Well, my name is Stormy Nightshade, and these are my friends. Uh, and I'm going to point at Bald Phil first, because Bald Phil has uh, got a charisma of 16, mm -hmm. I believe. Stormy has a 16 charisma. Oh, okay. And um, uh, Eric the Red and Dakar, what are your charismas? I've got a 13 for Eric the Red, and Dakar has a 12. Okay, excellent. Um, so and somewhat, that, a, somewhat good. above average. Yes, yeah. that, that, that is good. Charismatic group you got here yeah. for the yeah. most part. And um, so, and these are my friends, and I'll point to Olala and mention her name, and Bald Phil. I'll just call him Phil. And <laughs> um, my friend and Phil and Olala and Eric the Red. And I'll let, I won't mention the rest, but I'll just say my friends, and we would really like to speak with Boba Steel, if possible. All right, be back in a moment. And he, uh, he disappears behind the bar into another room, you assume is the kitchen. And when that happens, Stormy's going to go back and sit with the others. All right. Well, a couple minutes pass by, and the bartender comes back in. And he says, uh, Boba Steele agrees to, to meet with you if you wish to discuss his missing loot. Exactly why we're here, sir. Well, then you can go on up the, the back stairs here. And he, uh, he motions to a hall that goes down beside the kitchen. And uh, he says, the first door on the right at the top of the stairs. What do we think? Should we all go? Yeah, I'm, I'm following. Should all right. we all go, you think? Or Let's say we just send up a, a single person. Yeah, you think yeah, that that sounds good, uh, logical. Because if you if you think about it, you're in kind of a smallish place, and mm -hmm. you don't want to have you know seven yeah. people go storming into somebody's um, hotel yeah. room and. Yeah. <laughs> Phil think, or, oh, go ahead. I was going to say, why not send Stormy? She's very persuasive. Stormy and Bald Phil, or. Well, we could go together. That that's two of us. That's not too much, I don't think. Is that too much, Jason? Well, what do I think? Oh, I think it's that's for you guys to decide. Um, well, <laughs> well, uh, yeah. I, no, I, wanna, I mean, I don't know. I don't know if this Boba guy. I don't want him to get handsy with Stormy. Well, so I think <laughs> that's you know, to be bald him, Phil. Uh, maybe you him. should, Phil. Maybe you should stay back, and send, oh, how about send Eric. And storm. <clears throat> okay. There we go. It sounded like he's not interested in groupies anyway. He just wants his loot. That's all he. Yeah. <laughs> like it he sounded like that's he, all he wants to talk about. Right. Think if we all showed up, we'd be looking for. he We'd be a bunch of groupies. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, Eric, would you like to come with me? Certainly. Let's do this. Thank you. Okay. Well, uh, we shall. Uh, venture forth to the uh, first, what was it, first door on the right? First door on the right, yeah. And okay. Not, well, if it's not open. Well, as you get up there, um, the door's the door's already open, and he's standing out in the hall uh, waiting oh. for you. Uh, and you see a man, he, he's, he's about six feet tall, probably maybe 200 pounds. Uh, and he's got like kind of longish brown hair and he's wearing real fancy clothes like a uh like a puffy shirt like if you ever seen the seinfeld episode with the <laughs> yeah the, puffy the, shirt the, puffy. The, but i don't want to be a pirate <laughs> but his puffy shirt isn't plain white it's more like it's got purples and greens and golds so he looks uh, like a true thespian yeah yeah um and he's standing there in the door and right as you get to the top of the stairs, he looks at you and he says, do either of you know where my loot is? No, but we heard about it and we are a uh, investigative team. I have some companion. We have companions downstairs with us and we know that someone broke in through the window 
and stole your loot. And we were hoping that possibly you had any details about what was going on before you lost your loot, where you left your loot first, and anything else you could tell us. Very well. Uh, pleasure to meet you. My name's Boba Steele. And what are your names? Stormy Nightshade. Eric. Pleasure to meet you, Stormy. Eric. And Eric. Ah, wonderful to meet you too. Well, I don't know much, but I'll I'll tell you what I do know. Uh, I know that after my performance, uh, it was two nights ago now. I was downstairs having some drinks, and I came back up and found the window. He he gestures towards a window on the other side of the room, which now has wooden boards over it. When I came back up to my room, the window was broken, and my loot, which had been lying on the bed in its case, was gone. And the room was still locked. Did the so case go with it? Locked. The case went with it. The case and the loot were gone. Nothing else was taken. There wasn't Could really you... much else of value, but I did have a coin purse, and that wasn't touched. Hmm. And apparently they left the same way they came in. Uh, which I assume they climbed up the wall outside to get to the window. You're on, you're on, you're on a second floor, so uh, the window is probably 12 feet high off the ground, I would say. Something like that. Okay. Anybody who has shown an interest? Anybody that's looked at it lately? That Well, it's hard to say because while I'm performing, you know, so many people are looking at it or in my direction and it's hard for me to really pay attention to what everyone's looking at. But, uh, my guess would be someone would want to sell it because it's a fairly well-known loot. And if you were going to use it as an artist, you know, if you were going to perform with it, word would get around, you'd be found out. Um, Could you describe what the loot looks like? Any, yeah, well, any if you, interesting details about it? It has a, an ebony fingerboard, which is a dark wood, almost black. And inlaid into that, uh, carved out of pearl, are these dove figures uh, oh. in, inlaid into the wood. And down at the bridge of the instrument, this is the most important part, there's a silver saddle piece. It's like a silver rod that the strings go over uh, when they come up out of the bridge and they head up towards the neck of the guitar. He's trying to describe this all to you in mm -hmm. a way that uh, we would understand would, in a way that you would understand. I, that, that's what I'm trying to think. Yeah. Uh, in layperson's terms. Right. Uh, is there any unusual qualities about this loot other than being very well known and being so well made? It's a magnificent like loot. It's of the highest quality that I've ever played. Mm, I see. Where do you know where they may try to uh, ditch it? Well, I've already checked, but it wouldn't hurt to check again or on a regular basis. But there are pawn shops and resellers uh, around town here, and some of them might purchase it from a thief it's possible i can't really say for sure but it wouldn't hurt to check with them again how about uh the case that the loot was in any description about the case uh that might be notable uh it's it's made of a it's a dark brown stained wood on the outside with brass hardware brass buckles and hinges was there a lock on it no, there's no lock on the case. Okay. Well, we certainly could go and check out uh, some uh, businesses that would purchase uh, musical instruments or other other types of uh, you know other types of goods. We have quite a uh, quite a diverse group of friends who are waiting downstairs so possibly we could split up 
and be able to check out more than one business at the same time. So thank you for all your details. Um, do you mind if I look around the window a little bit? Oh, sure. Feel free. And he steps aside. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just look around and see if besides maybe broken glass, if there's anything else that looks out of the ordinary, um, look around the bed and look and see if I see anything that might okay. stand out. Well, any, any broken glass there might've been has been cleaned up. Um, okay. and you don't really see anything that stands out. I mean, other than it, it it's an easy building to climb for somebody who's skilled at climbing walls. I mean, yeah. it, it would, uh, you know, any, any, any basic thief who knows what he's doing would have no problem getting in and out of this window. Uh, and, and you, you know, you kind of think, boy, this guy's kind of a fool for leaving his loot laying around up here, you know, unattended. That does seem strange, but like I won't have, say anything. Locked up him. somewhere. Yeah, I won't say anything to I won't say anything to Boba Steele about that being kind of strange, but she'll keep that in mind. Yeah. And, did you uh, uh, did you have any insurance on that loot? <laughs> yeah, he, he, nice. He he just kind of shakes his head no and looks at the floor. And you uh, don't feel that maybe you had been followed coming mm. to this to the port city? Well, you know, that's one of those things that I, I haven't paid much mind to. I'm used to attracting attention. So, I mean, I perform on the street sometimes. It's not unusual for me to be followed or watched. So, I mean, I probably was. I just tuned it out. Mm. No one that uh, would be out of the ordinary to you. Not that I, mean, I can remember. As a spectator, as a watcher. <clears throat> hmm. No, nothing I remember. Well, Eric, anything? Yeah. Eric cracks his knuckles and says, We'll ask. We'll find out. Well, sir, we're on the case. Okay. Old school, 1920s uh, Chicago police style. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we'll we'll head back. Uh, I don't have a magnifying glass. So Olala, for fingerprints. Olala <laughs> has a bunch of questions. Like as soon as she sees you come back, says, right. how, how much is the reward? Is, is he <laughs> well, going to give us a performance? If, if we find the loot. should have come with us yeah <laughs> and, and well she looks well, at Eric kind of kind of like like kind of unusually uh, give, gives her an unusual look kind of uh, 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 kind of inquisitive but pissed off at the same time for over that comment <laughs> that's a quite common look I've noticed <laughs> <laughs> To Owala, uh, Stormy will say, well, I thought it best not, not to ask about the reward first, but we did get a little bit of information. There are some shops in the area where somebody might check, uh, check to see if they could sell such an item, and um, we could ask about... Uh, some of these shops and possibly we could split up and take try to tackle more than one at a time um is the barkeeper still around yeah yeah you could you could ask the um, barkeeper about that why don't why don't we as a group go and ask him about uh what kind of shops are in the area that might um where somebody might be able to to uh, sell things, kind of like a pawn shop. Sell a loot. Okay, that's a yeah. great idea. Olala says, and, um, and and depending on what he's uh, willing to give us, 
to return the loot to them, we might mm -hmm. actually choose to either break it down or sell it ourselves somewhere else. Seems reasonable. <laughs> and then before we leave, um, is there any merchandise? Any merchandise available? What do you mean? Like, is he selling t-shirts and CDs? Yeah. <laughs> Well, no oh, CDs. yeah, yeah, <laughs> posters. <laughs> um, yeah, is there is there any kind of logo or anything that uh, oh, smart uh, gotcha. that we can well, buy he... because we might be able to strike up conversations with strangers that are fans of his that might have been here this night? Um, well, I did not ask him about that, but. Maybe maybe you want to go and, and talk to him. He was standing right out in the hall. And I did tell him about you guys. I told him that we had quite a large investigation group. So he wouldn't be surprised. Okay, what's his name again? Boba, Boba Steel. Steel. Boba Steel, that's right. <laughs> okay, okay. So yeah, she's um, she's gonna walk back there and see if she can talk to Boba Steel before everyone leaves. And she All right. she walks she in. Go ahead. Gets up there. The, well, he's he's closed the door. And then point. she knocks on the door. All right. He he reappears in the doorway. He says, "Hi, can I help you?" Hello, uh, Boba Steel. This is my name's Alala. I'm with the group, and I know you've met Stormy and, and Eric. Uh, may I have a, f a little word with you before we take off and search for your loot? Sure. I have pleasure to meet you, Owala. What can Thank I do you. for you? Pleasure to meet you. Well, we just, what I wanted to know is we know that, you know, you're a very popular musician and you have a following. And my thought was if I could have. A symbol of of your performance or something that other fans would would recognize this may might help us uh, be able to inquire where your loop might be we might strike up some conversations with some of your fans do you have any ideas on that um he looks at you and kind of raises an eyebrow and uh he says i'm not sure what you mean is there anything that your fans have in common? Like to be able, like for instance, if I saw one of your fans on the street, um, how would they, is there any way that they would know that they were fans of yours or not? Is there any kind of tattoo or marking that distinguishes them from the crowd? Does he have a specialty um, cod piece or something? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that, that's sort of an idea that like that's really not ever occurred to anyone like they don't have there's no record company there's no marketing per se that anyone i mean any okay. everyone kind of does their own pr as far as like uh like entertainers and stuff okay. go like um there's not really like much in the way of merchandise so he, he it's pretty he much has no idea what she's talking about you the only things available that people would ever buy from him are his performance at the moment. Okay. Like there's not, sure. there's not like any, any product that people would carry around with them. Um, like, yeah, that's just not, and that's why he's, he seems kind of confused, but he's kind of intrigued by the whole idea too. He's like, well, <laughs> I hadn't really thought of anything like that, but you know, maybe I'll think about that some more. So but right there, now, I don't have anything like that. Is there, as she looks around the room, does she see any writing utensils or anything that, uh, um, paper, uh, ink, you know, anything ink with the little feathers? Specifically writing utensils and ink? No. Okay. She sees, and, and I assume we're on dirt floors? Dirt floors? You're on a wood floor. You're on the second floor okay. of the inn. Okay. So, yeah. So what she does is she pulls out her dagger and walks over to a table. Would it be a table? Well, there's, yeah, there's, there's table? a table next to the bed. But okay. you pull out the dagger and he's, 
headed for the door like quickly. Well, and then she she goes off next. He's to out the in the bed. hallway. Okay, and she just scribbles. He's gone. In a symbol. <laughs> a symbol. <laughs> Uh, that that looks like a cartoon loot, and then heads out into the um, with with everyone else. You're carving a picture of a loot into the table. Yeah, on just his bed? No, okay. nothing too fancy. Just you know, uh, a simple line figure of a loot, and then meets back up with the. Group. Uh, Aaron for for Eric. I was looking at everybody's character sheets a while ago, and. Uh... Making sure I was I was looking at armor class, but what armor does Eric have? Is it chainmail and a shield? Yeah, yeah chainmail chain and, and shield. shield. Okay, all right, that's cool. He, he rolled, rolled good, good on, on the on the, the gold. gold. The, the card did not. Mm -hmm. No, I just didn't see his armor on his equipment anywhere. So okay, I to make a note. I'm I'll, I'll add it to your list of equipment here. Aaron, both of my characters rolled extremely low for their gold. Unfortunately, yeah. and the lowest was my magic user who needed to spend more money just to be a magic user. Sure. <laughs> oh, it, actually, it does have chainmail on the equipment. But did it? Well, I just typed it in there. Okay. okay. Well, yeah, I just did that, that right now. Has it. <laughs> yeah, I just did it right now. Okay. Eric the Red, he's been out in the sun so long. Oh, and I, I put everybody's movement rates in there and updated that. It, it's, everybody's are the same. Like, in the game, everybody would have a different movement rate because you're all wearing different armor, for one mm -hmm. thing. And that just gets to be too wonky. Like, uh, So I just made it to where everybody has a movement rate like they're not wearing any armor. Sweet. <laughs> okay. So, and I'll do that with the, the enemy creatures too. They're all going to be the same. Just like I can't handle 50,000 different movement rates. So, <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> actually, um, you, you can. You can now, the 40 slash 24, that's your, the, the number yeah. before the slash, the 40, that's how many feet you move in a combat round. Okay. So these are five five foot squares on the grid here, so you could move eight squares. Um, okay. And then the other number, the twenty four, that's how many miles you could travel in a day. That's on like a good road. So if you, but if you go over rough terrain, it'd be less. Of course. Yeah. Can't imagine going through a swamp at twenty four miles a day. Yeah, not unless you're some kind of a salamander or fish or something. Or, I don't know. <laughs> Born on the bayou. So is, is that a full move, move or is that just, just a move action? action? I guess. You could move that full movement rate and make an action. Okay. okay. So I, I guess, Jay, I guess if you spread or something, something you, you can, can do 80? 80. You could, yeah, if you wanted to just run. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, 40 is like your encounter movement rate when you're like in the encounter. But yeah, if you wanted to just run, you could move at double that rate. Okay. Run! <laughs> Half this. You know, yeah, if you wanted to close a distance on the battlefield or something, you could charge. There's charge attacks that you can do too. Um, is, is it, it like 3rd like edition? edition? Or 3.5? Similar... Similar. Rules on that. Um, I gotta like look it up again. Two edition, second edition. Yeah, it seemed when I was going I through it, it, it seemed pretty, uh, pretty easy going. Well, it's it charging. seemed very similar. Oh, right here. Similar to first edition and second. You guys want edition. me to read the charge maneuver? <laughs> sure. Sure. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's see. First, the charging character or creature must move at least 10 feet and may move up to double his or her normal movement rate as given above. The movement must be in a more or less straight line toward the intended target, and the path to the target must be reasonably clear. Finally, the attacker must be using a weapon such as a spear, lance, or polearm, which is suitable for use while charging. Um, certain monsters, especially including those with horns, are able to use natural attacks when charging. If the attacker does not have line of sight to the opponent at the start of the charge, that opponent can't be charged. 
Okay. The attack made after the charge is made at plus two on the attack roll. The charging character or creature takes a minus two penalty to armor class for the remainder of the round. If the attack hits, it does double damage. And then the next paragraph, it says you can set your weapon against a charge. So again, it's like similar types of weapons like spears, pole arms, uh, like piercing, you know, large piercing weapon like that. Right. Um, let's see. For this to be done, the character or creature being charged must have equal or better initiative. This counts as holding an action. Both attacker and defender act on the attacker's initiative number and are therefore simultaneous. Okay. Yeah. That makes, that makes sense. sense. I think so. So anyway, yeah, if you wanted to charge straight at somebody, move double your movement rate, and you get a plus two to hit them, but then you'd have a minus two armor class penalty for the rest of that round. And it'd have to have something like a spear. Yeah. Let's see, what, like just looking at the basic weapons list, uh, we know there's spear, pole arm, there's all kinds of pole. It just calls it a pole arm, but it's just like the generic term for it. So it would work with a glaive or a halberd or anything like that. Sure. Not, not with, with a long sword. sword. Not with a long sword. Not with a war hammer. Okay. I could almost see a short sword, maybe, if you were. I don't. Well, if you were like a halfling, <laughs> you know. <laughs> I don't know. Ah, you hit my ankle. <laughs> I guess that's pretty much about it. Yeah, like a spear or a pole arm. Well, basically, if if I mean if double the movement rate is a full run, then you're basically doing all your movement and trying to attack at the same time. I mean, if your opponent slipped out of the way, that would be one thing. But yeah, so you're ba you're running full bore. You're not you know taking it easy on your run. You're actually. I don't see why you couldn't do it with other weapons too. <clears throat> Uh, Maybe it won't be as effective with other weapons. I don't think. It's Maybe you wouldn't e get you wouldn't get the double damage. Maybe it's uh, it's not know. easy to run with a longsword sticking out in front of you with a spear. True. I oh yeah, that. yeah. The balance while running and stuff. Yeah, that's true. Hmm. All right. Well. Anyway, you guys want to go out in the street and charge a random person and see how it works? Let's try. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I want to go make some money on this loot thing. Oh, yeah. that's right. Let's do the loot. <clears throat> when you guys were saying loot last time, I was thinking L-O-O-T, not L-U-T-E. <laughs> oh, enough. yes. Okay. Yeah. Well, we're hoping to make some loot by finding exactly. the loot. By finding mm -hmm. the loot? Yes. yes. This, is what, this is what Eric the Red is all about. <laughs> <laughs> so when we set off on our inquiry... Um, what happened with Thorwald? He was at work, wasn't he? Yeah, you guys First would, day on the job. Yeah, you guys had split Thorwald. up or Thor had split off and gone to work. Yeah. He seems torn now between, uh, you know, the home life and the adventuring life almost. Like, right? I don't know. He's kind of... Thorwald is working for the day for his six gold pieces. <laughs> and he's also Hell yeah. keeping his eyes out for any possible thieving opportunities or yes. any kind of equipment yeah. that might go through there. Now, uh, as far as the rest of the party, what do you guys want to do? Do you want to like send somebody? Do any of you want to go maybe talk to Thorwald? At work, see if he wants well, to join you. Right or... now, we just talked to um, oh, what was the guy's Boba name? Boba Steel. Yeah, Boba, Boba Steel. Boba Steel. Boba Steel. Yes. And uh, got a fair description of the loot uh, missing yeah. and you, case. You know, there's a you know, there's kind of a shopping district in town where uh, there are resale shops and you know places that buy and sell a variety of items. That'd be a place to go look for a stolen object like that. Okay. At least a good a good place to go ask around. Um, do we know how many there might be? 
how many uh resale like, type shops oh there's there might be half a dozen that you really? know of in the area yeah wow okay. large port city yeah okay <laughs> um well we we could split into a few smaller groups um what do you guys think i think we can cover six easily in a day yeah sure yeah it's yeah. not like they're super far away or you know super far apart or anything and if we stick together in case there's trouble i think but yeah good point <laughs> Okay. Yeah, because if we go looking for a stolen loot, we may run into like the local thieves guild or something. Right. Yeah. And a and a question that I forgot to ask Bo Bastille is if anyone else had come to him, um, uh, questioning about the loot and also, um, interested in trying to track it down. Okay. But he didn't say anything, so he seemed like he was probably taking it as a loss. And what's so, the what's the name yeah. of the pub again? The uh, the one where Boba Steel was at. Yeah, that was the uh, Peaceful Hornet Inn. Okay. And there were no other um, patrons in the in the peaceful hornet inn when we got there there was just um the the owner or bartender and the uh, uh boba steel that we saw huh it was early morning yeah it was well yeah it was early in the day and you didn't really see anybody hanging around um okay. but i mean there's you know there's like a lobby and a, a dining room and the bar and everything so and of course, they got the little theater, the stage. Yeah, kind of a dinner theater type of place. But uh, you do know you, you could go downtown to the square if you wanted to and look around at some shops. Um, Sounds like a great place wanna... to start. Okay. Well, Jason, what were you going to say? All right. Well, I, I wondered if you guys wanted to uh, look for any particular type of places or anything. Um, well, those resale shops you mentioned, I think, were maybe a good place. To start. So, okay. um, for so, sure. So, we leave the Peaceful Hornet in and um, Olala. Actually, oh, go ahead. We do we have any information about the local thieves guild? Uh, not at this point. No, okay. it, there's there's not really uh, you know, people don't talk much about anything like that. Well, I know it probably wouldn't be common, but <laughs> hanging out in a hanging out in a bar, you know, <laughs> people. Yeah, talk. sometimes. But yeah, it's also well, pretty early in the morning too, so. That information is a little a little fuzzy at best right now. <laughs> yeah, well, the other thing is, uh, I mean, it may not be at a pawn shop. It may be at a fence of some kind. I mean, you do know of... Uh, and, and what are you instead of, a, instead of like a large organized thieves guild, you're, you're more likely around here to see smaller gangs of people. Um, they'll often be related people. Maybe, you know, maybe like cousins, you know, but not necessarily. They don't all have to be relatives. But, you know, there are like street gangs. Um, it's just that there doesn't seem to be like any really large organized, you know. Is there a local gang? Prime guild in this in this city. Uh, well, there's more than one. I mean, there's and, you know, they come and go. Um, so it's not 52nd Street. Well, I'm not sure what that is. Fifty Second Street, not the Fifty Second Street gangsters, you know, or whatever. Right, right. Okay. Several competing bands. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. 
like you you guys might be constitute a, a local thieves guild if that's how you behave if you if you go go around stealing stuff you know um yeah it could be a gang of just you know half a dozen people sometimes or so uh, so we're we're still at the peaceful hornet it's early in the morning and Olala goes to the door yeah, you can you can set out uh, just down the road. You know, there's there's a square where there's a bunch of you know shops and different okay. types of businesses. She looks like the off best to, the, to the left and right, and does she see where which direction <clears throat> the square is? Well, you've got uh, to the west of you is the open sea. You know, beyond the port. But then, if you head east, you'd be heading into town to kind of like the downtown area. Um, only it, it kind of slopes upward a little bit. Not really. It doesn't go down from sea level, but um, yeah, it kind of turns into a a business district, and then there's a square. Okay. You just take the take the main street straight down from from the port area. Got it. So she's Sounds gonna good. start walking east. Yeah. All right. We'll all be following. Oops. Absolutely. And she's looking at every building, you know, as she's yeah. going by, kind of, you know, sizing up the the buildings and trying to figure out what that, you know, this building's about. All right. Well, you're, the you're headed. Are about in the area. Do yeah. we hear anyone playing a lute by chance? <laughs> oh no, <laughs> and you, I mean not yet, but do we hear? You know, any that, other that's something. Music? That's something you're likely that to hear in the city as you go in the city, though. You, mm -hmm. you know, there are people around that play instruments, but not currently. You're you're kind of you're on a wide road that goes into town, and along with you, there's other traffic. Um, you know, there's probably you know several people every within every hundred yards. Um, some of it's wagons, some of it's just people walking. Um, okay. The wagons are going, you know, down from the docks. They're coming up, up the main street, making deliveries. You know, they're heading off onto side streets into neighborhoods. Okay. <clears throat> you know, and you've you've passed places that are like warehouses, and uh, you know, maybe you might see businesses that that are that look like construction businesses or different industrial types of things like that but uh okay. anyway you you get past all that and now you can see you're, you're coming to where you can smell food cooking there are obviously restaurants around and you can see there's shops uh looking all around in every direction as you enter this square okay. um you could Any go signs to the, that are readable? You, could, you could turn right or left and and go around the square, you know, clockwise or counterclockwise and do it that way. If you wanted to just kind of go around the whole thing or what were you asking, Graham? I'm sorry. Oh, just, um, just to go around and read the signs. What's, uh, if there are any signs of, on the buildings or various. Yeah. yeah. Or, um, One of you can read at least, right? <laughs> Let's see. Yeah. Oh, oh. Yeah. Stormy. <laughs> I see Stormy can, yeah. a couple of you can maybe. Oh, I'll, uh, definitely. Oh, I'll, yeah. yeah, she's checking more okay. like the people in the wagons going by, just seeing if there's okay. anything and, and keeping her ears open for music. And I'll be okay. looking for any signs on any of the businesses or if there are any uh, <coughs> people selling wares outside as well or anything like that. Okay. Well, you can see... Uh, as you're coming in, if you look to the right, uh, you do see a sign that says leg bones. And it looks like a store. They've got some like smaller signs in the window. If you were to get closer, you could see what they have. Okay. Um, I'll do that. All right. It looks like uh, as, you're, as you're getting closer, it looks like the kind of place that would have uh, for sure probably liquor and tobacco and uh Beyond that, it's hard to say. Hmm. That's well, what the that's what the signs in the window indicate. Yeah, though. <laughs> and somebody somebody could easily it, trade. Know, it, a, it looks an big item enough for to liquor where... and tobacco too. Well, yeah, and yeah, there, there could, could be, be anything there could be there. Uh, 
there could be thieves involved in a liquor and tobacco trade. Do you think so? so <laughs> there could. Well, we should. Uh, <laughs> if you if you want to go into this shop, I'll be happy to join you. Yeah. Anyone uh, else? Johan will keep looking around. I he can at least. That... I'll say he can read at least. He, he, he at least knows the alphabet and can put some letters together. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we'll Stormy and Oala will go in? Sure. All Eric right. will go with them. All right. And Eric will go too. with them. Okay. All right. I got to move you guys into separate groups here so I can remember who's where. Okay. Yeah. Get a little bit of muscle. There. Okay. And Olala will um, will quickly look for the, the merchant and approach him yeah as you walk in uh you see across the room there's a there's a counter and there's a older gentleman standing there and he's got a bandana and a kind of a scraggly gray and white beard and he says hey there what can leg bone do for you <laughs> well hello mm -hmm. leg bone uh olala says um we're a band of musicians and and we wanted to know if you you knew anyone that was selling any instruments 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 for what <laughs> for reading the stars no musical instruments we're we're a, a musical group oh, oh you don't say what do you what do you play well the i play, i play the 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 flute and I look skin at Stormy flute. and kind of look at her strange and Stormy say the skin flute yes. no no yeah right yes. no, no and, and, no, and I um, say, it's, no. go ahead okay and I just say it's just a flute <laughs> hmm can't say that I have anything like that uh I've got uh. I've got some good stuff back here, though. Yeah. You know what you're looking for? Well, um, our friend Johan, he's out in, in front of your building here. Um, he got a little excited at our last performance in New Zhao. Yeah. And uh, he busted his loot. Completely oh, broke okay. it. I know of a place. Uh, it's across the it's across the square, all the way around, almost opposite from here. It's uh, I can't think of the name. Something wishes, wishes, wishes. Stormy will make sure she takes note of that. She's not saying anything though. She's just looking around. What type of shop is it? <clears throat> I know that's uh. That's uh, one of the things they carry there. Okay. Musical instruments. Oh, yeah. well, that's wonderful. And how much for an ounce of tobacco? Ah, an ounce of tobacco. Let me see. Do you want the good stuff or do you want the cheap stuff? <laughs> uh, the good stuff, of course, from you. All right. An ounce of it will be five silver. Five silver. Stormy, dear. Yes, Oala. Would you, would you happen to have five silver that we could buy tobacco from this wonderful merchant? As a matter of fact, I do. I do. Would Leg bones, and I have. I do. She does have five silver pieces. Okay. <laughs> That's the last of what she's got. Oh <laughs> and, no. Uh, <laughs> no, no, she no. But uh, she she does, and she will gladly give five silver for the ounce of the good stuff. And she <laughs> asks Legbones if he's ever heard of zombie flesh. Hmm, zombie flesh. Hmm. Why are you looking for some? No, I happen to have some. And she oh, opens up her, uh, she reaches into her pouch belt and she pulls out one of the sacks that she filled with the zombie flesh from the, the night before. Okay. She just holds it. 
She just hands it towards him? No, no she's not or, handing it to him. She's oh, just okay. holding it, holding it out. And she says, have you heard of zombie flesh? Uh, indeed I have, but I haven't seen any. Have you ever? But you've never tried zombie flesh? Never. No, no, that's uh, something I've been hearing the kids around here talking about. Yeah, well, I don't know. No, not sure what to think about it. Uh, do you know of any herbalist shops in the area? We're new in the city. Uh, herbalist shop. Yeah, you'd want to go see uh, Harry. Harry Bailey. Harry Bailey. Excellent. Yeah. Well, thank you. <laughs> and she puts her bag, her sack away. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah. She's going to go see Harry with her sack. She's yeah. going to try to get her hair. Wow. Okay. All right. So, anyway, um, well, thank you. And, uh, Oala, do you want me to hold on to the tobacco? Do you yes, want the tobacco? Just, just hold on to the tobacco. And... Okay. Well, thank you. Well, we certainly can maybe bribe somebody with it, sell it again. Who knows? You can see in his shop, just, uh, you know, as, as you're glancing around uh -huh. on the walls uh, and on some of the tables and shelves, there's a lot of tools and uh, household goods, um, you know, things for things you'd use in a kitchen or, you know, general tasks. And then he's got uh, camping supplies, things of that nature, too, like if you needed a tent or backpacks and stuff like that. So okay, so he, good, good to know. Good note. Well, thank you, Red Bone or Long Bones. It was really leg, leg bone, leg bone, leg bone. Thank you very much. Connected to the thigh bone. And uh, as he he takes a few steps toward the side of the counter, come around the counter, you hear one of his legs tapping the floor, like. One doesn't sound like the other. One of them sounds like a regular boot, and the other one sounds like more like a hard tap on the wood. Peg leg. <laughs> He's got a peg leg. You be needing anything else? Not at this time, but I'm quite certain Mr. Leghorn... We're going to meet again. Leghorn. Like like oh, like 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 bone. bone, guys. Like <laughs> bone. <laughs> no, that's funny. Oh, Leghorn. Like All right. Leghorn wishes you a good day. <laughs> Come back and see me anytime. <laughs> and then we go back out to the... Uh, out of the shop, out of leg bones, and then start heading to the square. All Again, right. I'm being as observant as possible and keeping a keen ear out for any kind of music. What are your plans with this tobacco? Are you just going to hang on to it? <laughs> you That's never funny. know. You never know. It might come in handy. When you might need a little bit of tobacco for persuasion. If yeah, I need to, good, I, uh, this is uh, true. I will get you back your silver pieces. Thank you so much, Storm. Might be good no for getting, getting some information out of somebody or something like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you just never um, know. You never know. Um, well, across the way, the other side of the square, it seemed oh. like there was that shop that about something with wishes, and they sell yeah. music here. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Keep so your eyes out, and I'll tell the rest of the group. We're looking for a sign that has wishes in it somehow. The word wishes. Musical shop. Yeah. All right. And uh, and then I also want to tell the group how I, uh, you know, met Legbone, and that I told them that we were all musicians. So. <laughs> So yeah, we're called a, Motley Crew. <laughs> just a heads up, if you guys meet the guy, and I and I look at Johan and I say, and you're the loot player. 
<laughs> I always wanted to play the lute. <laughs> <laughs> We're just a group of bards. Wink, wink. I see. He likes your style. <laughs> All right. You guys gonna? Uh, are you gonna cut across the square, or or do you want to just continue going around the perimeter? Well, we should keep an eye out for any other good spots on the way, don't you think? Yeah, I'm sure, yeah. Okay. All right, well, if you follow along uh, the same way, so you turn to the right, so you'd be going, like, counterclockwise. Um, you come along, getting close to the corner where it turns, and you see a shop uh, called the Red Hand. And... Uh, it's got some, the, the, there's a picture on the sign. It's got some cards kind of fanned out like someone would hold them. Cool. Yeah, it's like the, uh, they're all hearts. And it's the, what do you call it? The, the king, queen, jack. Uh, the face cards. I, I'm not a card player. Yes, thank you. The face cards. You got it. <laughs> Okay, cool. Maybe we should go check in there and see if they are. Do they sell stuff in there? Is it just card tricks, card shop, magic shop? We don't know. We got to go in. There. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to investigate. Oh, no. Anyone else? Well, Phil's got oh, some well. money, so he can go in. <laughs> this gets expensive. So, what? Yeah. Uh, why are you don't we have to buy it? No, you're not paying yeah, you don't have to buy it. You don't have to. Oh, I know. We just happened to buy some tobacco because it could come in handy. It's the good stuff. Well, so could the man. Window shopping. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, why don't we go browse in there? All right. All about. Well, the Red Hand uh, has kind of those swinging uh, saloon style doors in the front there. And you swing them open and go in and. Uh, there's a kind of a tall, skinny guy, clean-shaven guy, pale skin, and he comes stepping quickly over to you, and he says, "Hey there, I'm Besnick Beats. Pleasure <laughs> to meet you." <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. What brings you to the Red Hand? <laughs> what brings you to the Red Hand today, my friend? Oh, we were just, you know, uh, strolling through, kind of looking around to see if we could help our our partner in our group here replace his uh, missing loot. And uh, your store caught our eye. You know, we just wondered what, what you were all about in here. Missing loot, you said? You're talking about Boba Steel? No, oh, not no. Boba Steel. Not Boba <laughs> Steel. Somebody <laughs> stole his loot. Hadn't you well, heard? No, there must be a mass loot thief a boot. A boot. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm sorry. <laughs> a string of a string of loot a string miss, of loot missing loot. loose loots. Yes, yes. Oh no. No, we, we had heard of that actually. Yes, we had heard of that as well. Uh, but no, <laughs> that's not, we're not looking for his loot. His shop, you see a lot of uh, like porcelain stuff. Uh, some of it's some of it's for dining, you know, pitchers, plates, that kind of thing. But then he's also got like a lot of figurines and um, just kind of curious knickknacks and stuff. A lot of pottery. Um, and then he's also got a section that's resale stuff where it's just kind of a random variety. And uh, he says, well, is there anything in particular you're looking for? I have a lot of things. And if there's something special you're looking for, I may be able to get it. Well, we especially are looking for a very special loot. That I do not have. Go to best wishes. Go talk to Karana at Best wishes. wishes. Okay. Karana at Best Wishes. Well, thank you very much. You have a good day, sir. All right. You as well. Stop back at the Red Hand anytime you're looking for something. 
Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Maybe we will. Have a good one. And Oala leaves. Oh, by the way, as you're walking out the door. She stops mm -hmm. and looks back. I yes. forgot to mention that I do have a fully stocked wine cellar in back. Just for your information. Have a great day. How much for a bottle of mead? Mead? Does this look like a Viking store? <laughs> you don't sell no, sir. <laughs> I'm afraid not. Sorry to disappoint. Only wine. Well, I wouldn't mind picking up a bottle or two of wine. You want to come down there with me? Take a look? I don't really want to go <laughs> anywhere by myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, he... He, he grabs the uh, lantern off of his counter and he kind of flicks his little flint and steel at it and gets it lit up. And he heads over towards the door in the back of the room and he says, right this way. All right. Well, I'm going back. I do All right. want that, that vino. And I'll he follow. leads you down. All right. He leads you guys down a stone stairway and you get down there and you've got uh, a rack of bottles on the right hand wall and then you've got some bigger casks like wooden barrels over on the left hand wall okay. and he said uh if you know what you're what you're into i can show you what i've got he said otherwise i could make a recommendation well what do you, what do you recommend i have got one second here, I gotta pull up my wine list here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> only a Schaefer. I'd like something to go with the chicken, please. Ah, something to go with chicken? <laughs> no, I don't know. Ah, uh, about a bottle of cherry blossom enigma. Okay. How much does a bottle of that run us? Uh, that'd be two gold pieces. Two gold pieces? That's not bad. Do you have anything that, you know, gives any kind of special properties or um, unique effects when you consume it? Oh, now I don't know. That almost sounds dangerous. <laughs> Oh, I uh, enjoy living a little dangerously, so. <laughs> I'd like to know a little bit more about what you might be hoping to accomplish with such a. Oh, something that. Such a drink. What sort of effect I'd would you be looking for? To, um, see, but not be seen, perhaps. Something like that. Oh, <laughs> well. If I had something like that, it certainly wouldn't be very, uh, wouldn't be cheap. Well, we're, we're going to be in town for a while, and I know where to find you. What, what's your price point? Well, we'll have to talk about it when you, uh, when you have some gold behind you for sure, uh, because... Items like that don't come around often. Mm. And the price may be different from one time to the next. Mm. Well, I guarantee if you want something to make you unseen, mm -hmm. a potion, I could get something to work. I haven't been able to get anything cheap like that, though. That's for sure. I'll have to let you know. Okay, well, we'll start with some of that uh, delicious cherry wine to uh, help fortify us on our travel through the uh, the square here. And uh, that's a you know, decent sized bottle, but what, we're a party of, what, bards. Six, eight now? We're, uh, we're a party of bards. Seven in the square, seven. Bards. Oh, I love, kind of hits you and said bards. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> yeah. I'm new. I'm new to this musician gig. 
But um, yeah, I'll go ahead and take two bottles. So that would be four gold. Very well. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Got it. You want to update my sheet for Phil there? Oh, yeah. Thank you very much. And, and uh, <clears throat> we'll, uh, we'll check back with you. Talk maybe a little more, maybe pick up some more wine later on. Pleasure making your acquaintance. Yeah, pleasure making yours as well. Thank you. <laughs> and now I'll, uh, it's an upscale place. Turns around <laughs> and leaves and, and laughs at, at <laughs> Phil. <laughs> Invisibility <laughs> wine. <laughs> Well, why not? <laughs> so if we find if we find where it is, we might need to slip in to get it. And if I can see and they can't see me, well, might be worth it. Depends on what the reward is and what the price is. Well, they were inside. What was what would uh, Stormy have seen to the next building over? Uh, just like right next door. You would, yeah. you, They're right uh, you got, front. Yeah. You've got a restaurant next to you. Okay. okay, there was a rest there's a restaurant. Yeah. Um any can I tell what kind? Is it open or is it an a indoor place? Uh it's an indoor place. You you can okay. smell the food cooking and uh the sign indicates that it is in fact an eatery. Okay, what's it called? Let's see. It's called Kulai's Pig Out. <laughs> <laughs> cool guys, pig out. Kulai, okay. like it's a yeah. name. Uh, K H U L A I. Okay, Coolio. <laughs> um, okay. Um, well. Do we think that this might be a place to look, guys? For lunch. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and how about next door to the restaurant? If we were going around that counterclockwise way. Uh, let's see. Next you would see uh, there's a place called the Rainbow's End. Oh, that could be interesting. Hard telling what they've got. Yeah. Possibly pots of gold. Possibly. It's a rainbow's end, right? Anything's Whatever possible. You never know. LaCroix, Olala, interested? Yeah, yeah absolutely. We could, uh, Stormy would definitely go in. Alala, you gonna come on in? I'm gonna stay out uh, on the street and kind of just kind of watch the people going by and be observant and see if there's any anyone to interact with that looks like they might have information on our missing loot okay okay so who's who wants to go in again LaCroix and Johan Stormy will. or wait Stormy Stormy, Stormy and LaCroix yeah. all right and the rest yeah. of you hang out on the street and Dakar and yes All right. We're looking around for anything suspicious going on out here. Definitely, yeah. Right now, you guys are like the most suspicious thing around this area uh, that you can see. It's more like people are kind of looking at you. <laughs> <laughs> Especially just the mixture of the ages, because you've got, what, like 16 to 80-something yeah. in your group and and you're just such a motley collection of people you know it's just mm. that, that's <laughs> the name of our band that's the motley crew band, yeah, <laughs> yeah the like bars. they definitely think you're like tourists you know or something like <laughs> <laughs> who are these guys oh no no but it's okay because there's plenty of other people wandering around too i mean it's not you know you're not causing a scene or anything. In this world, do Crocs exist? Crocs? The shoes, you mean? Or crocodiles? <laughs> the shoes. I mean the shoes. The oh, shoes. Boy. No, no. Oh, not yet. Not quite sad. like them. Oh, sad. Especially okay. when you're wearing black socks like me. 
Oh, short, rock that. <laughs> rain, rainbow suspenders, short shorts, my Daisy Dukes, and black socks with fuchsia crocs. <laughs> man. Every girl's crazy about a sharp dressed man. That's right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, so, you guys can go, put on a comedy act. You guys want to go um, to the uh, Rainbow's End? Yeah. yeah. All right. The Rainbow's End <coughs> has a, a lovely, a lovely, uh, like gold leaf. It's not real, real gold, but it looks like golden color. It's got like this, uh, what do you call it? Around the door. Uh, I just want to say it's carved wood. Uh, it's just got like flowers and vines and stuff carved into the wood. In the and then they've got like uh what do you call it gilding i think is what you'd call it where there's like gold leaf kind of pressed onto that mm. uh, so it's kind of a fancy entryway mm. and uh as you get in there's a a lady there she's probably in her 50s maybe 60 ish uh and she comes walking up and she's wearing kind of a uh not like a ballroom gown but like slightly less formal than that but like a nice nice fancy dress um, what kind of stuff do we see in the shop as we enter well you, you see that it's uh there's a lot of clothing uh okay. on racks and you smell a lot of flowery scent like there's there must be perfume or something of that nature in here um and you can see other things further back in the place. Um, it looks like wigs. And you can see there's more rooms. It's kind of a bigger building. And there's more rooms. And there's also a stairway going up. Uh, but the front room where you're at, that's kind of it. And you, you can also see there's a, there's a sign in the back of the room that says jewelry. But oh. you, don't see, you don't see any jewelry. Mm -hmm. And uh, the lady, the lady approaches to you, and she says, "Welcome, welcome. My name is Simza. How may I help you this morning?" Beautiful shop you have, Simza. Uh, I'm Lacroix. Pleasure to meet you, Lacroix. I'm Stormy, and, and Stormy. I love your, nice. I love your, your wares. The very, very, very nice clothing. Well, thank you very much. Uh, what brings you here today? We well, just want to have a look around. Mm -hmm. Well, we were just in the in the marketplace shopping. We're new in the area, and wanted to see what you have. That's well, what have, Stormy says. I have a lovely selection of clothing here. I have incense. Uh, I have candles. Hair pieces, hair accessories, all manner of curiosities. I have other rooms. Upstairs is full of antiques. Oh. You're welcome to browse, or I can, has uh, anyone, can give you a tour. Um, has anyone uh, come in this morning looking to sell possibly a loot? Oh, you're looking for a loot. Ah, you wouldn't be looking for Boba Steele's loot, would you? In fact, we are. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I, I know it was stolen the other night, but I haven't seen or heard anything about its whereabouts. Um, I'd be almost, I'd be more, most likely to blame one of these street gangs that run around here. What could you tell us about the street gangs? We'd heard a little bit about that. Oh, they're mostly just they're 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 the riffraff from poor families that that around here that live outside of town in the woods and they have too many kids and they don't educate them and they don't raise them right and they run around in the streets and they fight with each other and they steal and they break things and it's really a bit out of hand if you ask me, but really it's uh, getting out of hand. Well, I've got strong doors and locks on all my doors and reinforced windows and Why? my husband, my husband keeps me safe also as well. So. And does he work in the shop with you? 
He has his own shop. Oh. And He's what a blacksmith. Shop does he have? Oh, okay. Is he also in the square? No, 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 no. He's he's down in the uh, the industrial zone. Oh, and where is that? Well, you'd have passed through there on your way from the docks if that's where you came from. It is where. Where we do came you all from. come from? Well, <laughs> I well I'm from out of town. <laughs> I. I come from over the hill and under the hill and wherever I feel my paths led. Um, no, she doesn't say that. It's kind of Tara are talking on us. No. <laughs> Thank you, Aaron. <laughs> I was hoping somebody would get it. Yeah. Um, no, I, um, well, you know, I've traveled far from, oh, Jason, you'll have to help me. What's that town that's the city that starts with the E? Uh, or the kingdom. The kingdom. Uh, okay, the kingdom. Exodor. Exodor. Yeah. Well, I come from Exodor. Oh, okay. Long way from home. That I am. <clears throat> well, um, well, could I interest you in uh, maybe some incense or maybe a new dress? <laughs> well, um, at the moment, no, but I may be looking for a new dress soon, she'll just say. Um, <laughs> right. I don't think we're going to need it on the ship. <laughs> we're getting ready to travel to the check out the new Zhao soon, so we I don't know that we're going to, to need any fineries in the new land. Not many opportunities to wear pretty dresses, unfortunately. Oh, that's definitely true. Yeah, you'll want to you'll want some rugged gear if you're headed that way. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. From what I've heard, it's a desert. It's oh. super hot and super dry. Oh. oh. Well, um, water skins. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> um, do you know the names of any of the street gangs? Oh, I really don't. Uh, uh, I try to not fill my head with too much information like that. It just makes me worry. But I'm sure if you I go see. out on the street and ask around, it won't be hard to find out. But I what see. would you want with any of them? Well, as I said... Might, do you think you might be able to get the loot from them if they stole it? Probably not. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but you well, seem like you never someone... Know. You might be able to sweet talk them if you have the right dress. Uh, <laughs> Well, that's true. <laughs> um, well, you know, we definitely will be coming back through. We'll see you again. Very well. Have a lovely day. I may not have asked the right kind of question to her, but we did find <laughs> out that there's a lot of street gangs in the area. Yeah. Okay. Um, and I'll relay that information to the rest of the group. And um, and say that if we want to find out any more information about street gangs, we'd probably just have to ask. Yeah, she said just people. just ask around in town, and you know mm -hmm. somebody will fill you in. Okay, well, thank you, Stormy. And also, she does sell jewelry, but I didn't see any in there, and she didn't mention it either. Yeah. Odd. Yeah, you saw it. there was a there was a sign kind of in the back, and you could see. I mean, there's like more areas in back that were kind of out of sight. Mm -hmm. You know, there's there's uh, room dividers, um, and you know, there's also like shelves that are kind of dividing certain areas off. Um, she probably had a lot more stuff in there than yeah. I mean, she said the upstairs is full of antiques, mm -hmm. which could mean anything pretty much. So, yeah, might be an interesting place. To check out. I mean, we could there definitely. Were there were books there too, so. That's another thing that Stormy definitely is interested in. Um, we well, guys, we could keep going around, or she offered to give us a tour. A tour of what, Stormy? Well, of of her of the entire building. Yeah, you can see uh, from outside the building. I mean, it's it's got three stories. 
Okay. It's kind of a big square building, uh, kind of like the buildings you'd find like in the old downtowns in Midwestern America. Even, you know, you'd find a lot of big square utilitarian buildings, but they'll have like fancy, you know, they might have like gargoyles on the, around the top edge or something, or, you know, it's kind of a building like that. Um, it's like utilitarian, but there's like a touch of class to it, you know, with the fancy entryway. Um, but you can tell it, it could hold a lot of stuff if it was full. I mean, it's three stories and probably 30 feet by 60 feet. Yeah. Well, maybe we should all go back in and ask for a tour. We can all kind of keep our eyes peeled. You guys go know with the there's a... Uh, they want to. There's still uh, best wishes, mm -hmm. you know. Maybe you know, go check best wishes. Is a place yeah, that uh, deals to, in musical instruments. Yeah, anyway. yeah we could people always keep come pointing back. us in that direction. Yeah, absolutely. Let's go. All right. Well, you continue heading around the square, and you pass some other uh, shops, and uh, nothing really particularly stands out but you do come to a sign that says best wishes this way. And there's an arrow pointing down into like a little alcove that leads to the door. It's like you kind of go down a few steps to go into this one. Oh, <clears throat> not, not like a full basement, like a, like a semi basement level. Mm -hmm. And, uh, Who's gonna? Who wanted to go into this one? Well, I'll Better go keep in. The... Oh, oh, Walla will go in. There. Walla will go in. All right. Stormy will go. Walla, Stormy. Eric will tag along. Eric tag along. All right. The muscle. Yeah. <laughs> Lacroix too. Or are you, are you yeah. gonna set this one out? Okay. I'll, he I'll... he doesn't mind showing it off either. All right. The other guys will hang out on the street. Mm -hmm. All right. So best wishes. Uh, you get down in there, and it's it's kind of like uh, dimmer in there. The windows are are partially shuttered, and uh, there's actually candles lit around the perimeter of the room and on some tables. And as you're getting down in there, and your eyes kind of adjust, you see that there's uh, a large floor. And there's sections with different arrangements of furniture. Um, and you also see there's like some bookshelves that have little statues and bookends and actual books. And then you see the other side of the room, uh, there's some racks that have musical instruments. You can see hanging there, there's lutes and th there's some tables that also have different musical instruments on them. Uh, and there's a there's a lady in the back of the room uh, sitting at a desk, kind of a large middle-aged woman, and she's wearing an apron. Not like a cooking apron, but uh, looks like she just wears it to, for, for work and, you know, just to protect her clothes from whatever. And she stands up and comes over. She says... Hey there, my name's Karani. Welcome to my store. Hello, Karani. Feel free to have a look around. If you have any questions, I'd be happy to help you. Well, Karani, I had a question. We're um, trying to help Boba Steel get his loot. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, boy. Huh. Yeah, that's that, a... that loot's probably long gone by now. Why do you say I, that? Oh, well, I think those. Oh boy, I think those hooligans had it. They were talking about a loot, but I never saw it. Oh, do you know where that, these hooligans? Uh... I don't know these guys that came in last night. The weasels. That's who they are. The weasels. The weasels. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Do you know where the weasels? See, they came out? in here. They they came in here and they they were drunk, obviously, and they were 
Yeah, they were they were talking about something. I could hear them whispering, and I know they were talking about a loot. I'm sure of it. Do you know where these weasels hang out? <sighs> yeah, but I wouldn't recommend you go there. Mm. Dangerous. If you really place. want to, well, them and some other hooligans I know hang out at a place called Pelican Falls. Pelican Falls? What's yeah, Pelican yeah. Falls? Pelican Falls. Uh, it's just a waterfall. Um, it's a ways away. I mean, it's a good 10 miles. So it's outside the city. Huh? Oh, In what direction? Sure is. In what direction? You'd have to go, well, you'd have to take the road, uh, Raven Road, northeast of town. You'd be going. Raven Road. Yep. You'd be going a long way. I'd say five miles, maybe. And once you cross the Muddy Creek, you follow the creek east into the woods. And from there, I'm not sure what you'll encounter. I just know that that leads to the falls. I haven't been there. But I've had somebody show me the way as I was traveling northeast. And who showed you the way? Do you remember? Uh, Oh, he was just the the wagon driver that I was traveling with. Oh. I can't remember his name now, but I do remember he was talking about the falls being that way and how he'd seen all these hooligans coming and going from there. Hmm. Oh, hooligans. Well, thank you, Karani. Anything else we should know about to be able to help our friend Boba Steele? Oh, she says, I don't know him or much about him. I've heard of him. I know he's an excellent singer from what I've heard. But uh, well, good luck if you're looking for his loot. There's no telling where it could be by now. And how many of the hooligans did you see and hear talking about? Oh, oh there must have been. There must have been. Let me see. Five, I think it was. I. One was a girl. Yeah. Oh. Thank you. You're very welcome. And everything in your shop is for sale? Uh, most everything. Excellent. Oh, Ella goes yes. over and starts looking at the books. And ah, Stormy's going to go and look at the loots. All right. Even though she mentioned. The yeah, you see, there's uh, there's uh, hanging on the wall. There's five different loots, and they're all slightly different from one another. They, you know, they look like they were either made by different different makers or somebody was really trying to, you know, make a variety. And uh, they're also there's a table nearby there with dulcimers. If you know what a dulcimer is, um, yes, it's like a hammered string instrument that you play on a table, or you could play it on your lap. Um, imagine a harp, but you lay it flat and you beat the strings with hammers. It's kind of like that, but steel mm. strings usually instead of nylon. But anyway, <laughs> getting off on a tangent. But I don't see anything that fits the description that I heard from the bar. No, no, uh, no. No. Okay. Definitely I wouldn't not. think so. I yeah, these. So. Yeah. Worth a check. Yeah. I'm just making it look like I'm just looking around, getting a good eye for the store. But how about those books? Yep. Yeah, and uh, Oala's just looking through the books to see if there was anything that particularly interests her. Um, you see, there's a variety of books there. It looks like they are probably gathered from different sources, um, like not really the not really one particular collection or anything. Um, you've got just a variety of titles on different subjects. I mean, is there anything in particular you're hoping to find? Well, um, anything in in you know ancient history, um, herbal. You know, references, any kind of magic? 
Ah, uh, okay. You know, any anything that uh, you know, it shows her her interest. You know. Yeah, yeah. Well, you do you do see uh, there's a book that has some uh, local history, kind of a national history. I mean, um, so that's semi-local. Okay. Yeah. Okay. She kind of. But that's uh, that's it. about the only thing on any of those subjects. Okay. And yeah. Kind of puts that one's back. called the. It's called Descendants Without Conscience. Descendants Without Conscience. Okay. Yeah. And so she looks. She looks through the book a little bit, and um, it's kind of uh It's kind of a story of uh, the settlers of this nation of Vizar. Okay. And just kind of the story, the story over the last 300 years or so. Um, nothing, nothing too exciting to mention in there at the moment, other than, I mean, it might be of use if you're looking for information, I mean, of a historical nature. Okay. <laughs> okay. And um, I ask, I ask the shopkeeper, uh, Korani, Karani, how much do you want for this book? Oh, let me see which one you got there. Descendants, Descendants without conscience. Yeah. I could let you have that one for four gold pieces. Okay. And then she puts it back on the shelf. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Karani. Eric will take it. All right, Eric's going to snatch that one up. Yep. All right, cool. Amazingly, he can actually read. Oh, okay. A fighter who can read. <laughs> <laughs> and and uh, Oala kind of looks at uh, Eric a little unusual, over in as if um, as if she's surprised that he had an interest in the book. Um, there you go. I was gonna, I was to, gonna add have it to, to your know your enemy, early. right? <laughs> know your enemy? Yes. And since she's, we're still in there. Um, uh, if she, if the shopkeeper wouldn't mind giving me uh, those directions one more time. You bet. Uh, she says, take the northeast road out of town. It's called Raven's Road. Yeah. Go about, you go about five miles. And when the road crosses the creek, there's a, there's a tiny bridge there. Uh -huh. Just follow the creek to the east. So you'd be turning uh, right. Okay. You'll, you'll go probably another five miles from what I'm told. I've never been all the way there. Uh -huh. And I know you'll go into some woods and there's supposed to be the, the lagoon and the falls. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Sounds like quite a trek, but thank you very much. Well, I don't know if I'd go messing around out there if I were you, but uh, yeah, take care, be careful and good day to you. Anybody else? No, nope. I'm gonna okay. head on out. Head on out, yeah. And to everybody else, well, we heard some talk about some hooligans that <laughs> last night were sounded drunk and they were talking about a loot. And um, we got some directions to a place where a lot of the local gangs seem to hang out at called Pelican Falls. It's out, about 10 miles out of town. We're going there. Yes, Definitely. let's go. Yeah. All right. Yes, let's go, Alala says. <laughs> yeah. So figuring, uh, uh, let's see, if you're figuring 10 miles and you normally could go 24 miles in a day, that's going to take you just under half the day. 
and you've already used we'll say about a quarter of the day you know it's like mid late morning now yeah. probably getting close to lunch time ish but uh, mm -hmm. so you, if you're going to go to get out to these falls today you're going to be in the later hours of the afternoon getting there are, are uh, you, so so you're looking at it probably being kind of getting dark because you know you're going to be going through some woods if we i'm just giving you a, you know uh kind of a i don't know plan ahead kind of a thing <laughs> yeah if we went on foot the whole way however is it do you think guys it might be possible we could find um Wagon? some any kind of uh transportation that might be going outside of the city at least maybe up towards that bridge on raven's road that's a good idea is there any kind of transport yeah are there any um well usually the way that happens that you know there aren't like uh what you would call dedicated like Rick passenger Jones passenger lines no no but like Uber. maybe like Taxi. usually there, or... there are well yeah see there are people with wagons uh that kind of thing that travel from town to town and a lot of people hitch rides with wagon drivers mm -hmm. um, that's what i was thinking about and if yeah. but if you've got a large group of people like yourselves it might be a little more trick like you might have to wait until somebody with a with room for all of you Mm -hmm. you know is available it's easier for you know one or two people to hitch a ride you can pretty much hop on with anybody but mm -hmm. you guys need I'd like say, a, a bus you know <laughs> what's that Aaron? i say we walk walk yep. Yep. and i'm going to tell you why because getting there in the evening or um uh bright as the sun is setting is a good idea especially okay. if we're fixing to uh get into an engagement i agree Okay, well, how about you, Phil, LaCroix? Absolutely, yeah, I'm up for it. Let's walk. I'll ride on Phil's shoulders. <laughs> Johan, <laughs> please. He says, you got to be kidding, kid. No, you got to be kidding. No, he's not going to carry Stormy. Should we go um, by and get Thor? <laughs> that's yeah. not a bad idea Oalo says um, you just leave as, him behind. We may, <laughs> as we may encounter some trouble and might need his assistance let's go it's always good to have yeah but we program. can't just we can't just you know take him away from work <laughs> yeah, work medieval <laughs> towns don't work that way <laughs> <laughs> no see if I had my magic invisible potion I could have slipped him and he could have just come out. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Are you okay, Kevin? <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> They've got the best of you. Yep. Okay, yeah, so maybe we should leave him behind. Or we just wait for the next day. What yeah, that's... Think? And, you know, and another thought was that um, when the shopkeeper said that a loot like that could be would probably be long gone from here, it probably wouldn't have been real smart for anyone who would steal the loot to actually try to sell it in this town, especially so soon. Right down the so, street, yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, well, it sounds like uh, like maybe that's what they were discussing doing and then they left without doing it like maybe mm -hmm. maybe the thieves if these guys are the thieves of the loot that's kind of what you would presume like they went in here and they were kind of drunk and they were unsure of themselves and they were talking about it and then they were like no nah, let's go you know yeah yeah so it, it could be like that or it could all just be a big misunderstanding you never know mm -hmm. um yeah we'd have no way to know um yeah, well guys a, um could be fixing we, to go knock some heads with some people who don't deserve it yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, we it'll, also, it'll, it'll know, be we, fun anyway I, 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 <laughs> um, we did discuss they probably this deserve with, it from from what you've you know from what you can sense there's plenty of youngsters around here that deserve it so <laughs> and we um They're guilty of something probably and right? we didn't discuss this with thorwald but um uh i do we still have paid rooms at the inn that we were at 
paid room. Um, you know, do we still have places do we, to stay? Do we still have our place? Uh, Don't do, you typically pay, pay by the night? You would. Yeah. Well, you could. You could get a room again if you wanted okay. to stay there again. Um, but yeah, you guys were paid up to the first the night. night. The night before. Yeah. yeah. Well, it, it's possible. Well, we could go and tell Thorwald what we were going to do. And give him directions that she that the shopkeeper was nice enough to give us. Not that he would necessarily go uh, out there at night or anything, but let him know where what we found out and where we're headed, so that he knows. Well, Alala says that may be just a waste of time. Really, and I agree with Eric that we should okay. go at night or first thing in the morning and be there as the sun's coming up i tell you what why don't we tell him where we're going we'll go scout it tonight make sure nobody leaves there unless we uh we watch him and stuff i like that plan because we could camp out we could probably stay out there as long as it stays dry we could probably find out how many people are there too because yeah yeah. We don't know how many people are actually there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, you, you've heard that uh you've heard that it, more than one gang is, you know, known to hang out at this place too. Right. So Yeah, that's true. Yeah, let's go recon it. And we'll just All right. I'm I'm all for it. Yeah. So we're we gonna oh. relay that message over to Thor somehow or yeah. yes. Okay. So we'll we'll go meet him. At, at the, the at the docks, it's the docks. It's not oh, the, the Flintstones. Docks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the quarry. <laughs> We're not really All right. Playing. So you guys can get you guys can get down there and kind of you know wave him down or whatever. And uh, so he's been working at the docks. Has little... there been anything interesting? Is there any kind of conversations that he's picked up or any kind of um, what kind? Well, of, yeah. No, well, nothing concrete, but you do get the sense that there are there might be things moving through there that aren't really supposed to be. Um, but it's pretty hush hush, and like you're definitely the new guy, so you know nobody's really saying much to you. They're just kind of telling you, you know, that stuff over there needs to go over here, you know, and then they kind of let you do it, and they don't really explain much about what it is, but. What am I you, moving you, mainly? You do kind of see. It's like they uh, they deliberately walk away from you to discuss things. So okay. you kind of get the sense that you're not being told everything that goes on there. Okay. But yeah. Because it should be in a criminal organization. <laughs> Could be. Okay. Cool. So I see see the group coming up and. Um... I, I finish moving what I'm moving, and then I, I walk over and say, Fancy to see you guys here. Y'all here. <laughs> no, you guys are all you, you guys all standing in here uh, at the warehouse together. Go ahead and tell Thorwald what's going on. We'll put you all in one big group finally. There we go. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> And so you end up, Eric, you end up telling me what's going on. And yeah. do you tell me where Pelican Falls is? Of course I do. Okay, got it. I tell you all of what's going on. <laughs> and woof, he's up to speed. He's, <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes. Okay, okay. Now, I, the question is, does he want to go now or or stay here and continue to work until... Usually around five o'clock. About five o'clock. Why don't yeah. I meet you all here? Um, I what I will do is I will uh, get off of uh, Raven Road, and I will follow the creek, and uh, I will meet you. And is there some way that we could, uh, you could tie something that I might recognize to an area of the creek, so I would know when to when to turn off or about where you guys would be do you have a we'll see you before you get there okay okay and i'll meet you as soon as i'm off of work is there anything that you guys need me to do on my way out of town 
Mm, good point, because this is now or never, guys. Do we need him to do anything? <laughs> uh, anything, yes. <laughs> so pick up some milk, huh? Okay. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> okay, yeah, so that's good. it. Then, then I get back to work and st continue moving things. And okay, so we'll say... Ready. We'll say it's, uh, you know, like 11 a.m. now. So you, is uh, the party going to set out and then you catch up with uh, Thorwald later? Is that how? Yeah, how Thorwald's going to work until the end of shift. And then he's just going to follow down the creek until, uh, until uh, All right. he sees well, something. If everybody, sees sets out, them. if everybody sets out now and you work until the end of your day... There's going to be quite a bit, bit of distance. I mean, there's going to be five, six hours of travel in between the group and, and Thor. Yeah, and Thorwald just isn't going to get any sleep tonight. <laughs> okay, so you're all thinking you go out there and, and yeah, and, and just kind of camp and wait, basically? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. And, and Thorwald's, well, what, going to be like six hours behind him? No, like 12, because he's got to work six hours and then walk six hours. Okay. Oh, not yeah. six hours. Yeah, that's what you really? said. It's six hours. No, okay. So if it's, if it's 11 a.m. now and he gets off work at 5, that's six hours later. Yeah. So if you yeah. guys walk for six hours, he's six okay. hours behind you. So that's 12 total. Hmm. 12. Okay. How do you... Well, because... and, and then actually okay. he's going to go over and go... And talk to um, Jal um, and see if he can get off for the day for half the gold pieces. You probably huh. never get hired again. <laughs> Jal, he looks. Yeah. He looks at you and he says, "Well, what's going on?" Said my friends over here are going to try to help Boba Steel uh, get back his missing loot. <laughs> and they may need a warrior. Uh, so I won't be seeing you again, will I? Why do you say that there, Joe? Ah, uh, never mind. <laughs> do you have any idea where that loot might be? Me? No, I don't know anything about that. Okay. I'm just saying, I, I know your type. You guys come and go all the time. It's fine. Well, if you, <laughs> you need come, me... You'd... You do good work, so if you're in town again, you need more work, let me know. Thank you. Thank you. But yeah, yeah. I'll pay you for half a day and you can go. Perfect. Thank you. And I'm going to update my gold pieces to six now. All right. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you, no Joe. Free. And uh, we, will, uh, we will meet again. Don't forget, you get experience points for your gold, too. I do? <laughs> I, yeah, I you know what I I think well, uh, we forgot to mention piece. that if you you know if you earn it or you find it or whatever, yeah. Um, okay, let's see. Yeah. My, how many little, experience little points then do I have get for that? You uh, well let's see. You got three gold. You got, hundred now so yeah. for three gold uh, yeah it'd be one experience point per gold piece okay so three nice. yeah well yeah it, it doesn't seem to matter now but you know yeah. you might find you, you'll find wanted, more money somewhere i, I, I wanted <laughs> yeah i'm not complaining i wanted to <laughs> make money and and uh get some experience, experience. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> yeah well yeah, and you'll be like a level two dock worker if you keep at it. <laughs> yeah. You'll be able to move one more pallet of uh, goods per day. <laughs> oh, 997 more experience for that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm, I'm at 103. I got to work my way up to 2,000. So. <laughs> All right. Well... Off At this the point, road. then he's gonna yeah. he's gonna join the group and let them know. Hey, let's go. Yes, can, yeah. can you hear me? Yep. No, I, can. I can hear you. Yep. And we can All see right. you too. Hi, Graham. It's nice to see <laughs> you. Always nice to see you, Graham. You make me feel guilty. I All need right. to 
put my camera <laughs> on. <laughs> Are we ready to set out of uh, set out of town here and yeah, yes, sir. Let's see Let's what do this. All right. <clears throat> well, um. My so you guys are just gonna you're gonna go on foot All and you're figuring or five of us eight yep eight, eight of us. and you're figuring uh maybe what did we say let's see if we walked for say well 10 miles would probably take I don't know, four hours. Might be able to get there in like four hours. Yeah. Okay. We go it depends through. on how long the, tw the 24 miles is supposed to be. I mean, how, how much of a part of a day is that supposed to be? Is that 12 um, hours of walking or? Yeah. I, miles well, an hour? Yeah, I'm not. Let me. Let me I suppose it would depend on the terrain and like, you know, if we had. If we were following that road for like five miles, that would be easy walking. Yeah, it's going to be mainly on the road. So. Yeah. Be the, once we got into the forest, once we got over that bridge and went to the, and um, then it would probably be more um, slower careful, going. careful walking. Yeah, slow going. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was escaping my tongue. <laughs> Up against <laughs> the words crack. Out. Yeah. So, did right. we see anything so, along the way, or? Well, as you're as you're headed out of town, it uh, it gradually thins out. I mean, you go through. First, there's more like you know, high occupancy area, like city kind of dwellings, and then you start getting into more like suburban. You know, like there'll be a house, you know, every few acres, and the road you're on is well traveled and pretty wide two wagons could pass each other on it without a problem <clears throat> and it's pretty well maintained too like you could tell somebody comes through and smooths out the ruts every so often and as you head out the area that you're in uh, is very green slightly hilly um you're not in like a forested area, but it, it's more like there. Yeah, there's patches of forest here and there, you know, off in the distance and nearby. But it's there's also a lot of open space too. Um, Are we passing along the area where we went to the the old graveyard that was up the hill, up on a hill? By chance, or oh, in a, where you, where you oh. got the uh, zombie zombie flesh? The zombie flesh. Now oh, that was. The other direction, right? That was south, I believe. Oh, okay, okay. Just wondering, getting a idea. I'm gonna check my note. You know, I keep <clears throat> notes, but the thing is, my secretary does not file them properly. Oh, you gotta get on that secretary, <laughs> <laughs> Jack. You know, I just don't have time to do her fucking job. <laughs> so, some sometimes it's not about how well she can file. <laughs> okay, well, I got a plan for when we get there, guys. But I believe that was to the south. But anyway, um, okay. so what's your plan uh, while we're walking? What's your plan? Or if it's a plan, a secret plan, I won't listen. No, <laughs> I want to know too. Well, I no, guess we'll the, find out, won't we? The plan originally was to have two people watch the road while five people watch the actual camp or cave or whatever it is. That Not a bad a idea. False. It's a good idea. But the uh, the thing is that we now have all of eight of our members because that's what I was talking about with uh, Thorwald that he sh he wouldn't have to worry because we'll find him if he's walking down the road. But um, I guess we still need to watch the road, so let's leave some people up near the road, depending on how far out the uh, the falls are. And uh, just to okay. make sure that nobody gets away that we don't see. Because if they try to move it, we're going to have to make a move on it, you know, and try to try to yeah. get it So um, one way or another, we need to get the loot. Because that, that, yeah. means, that means money, even if we go and pawn it ourselves. You know? <clears throat> mm -hmm. 
Do we know how much he's offering for the loot? Stormy didn't ask. She <laughs> thought, <laughs> she thought well, she thought that it all. probably it probably wouldn't she figured it wouldn't have been a good idea at the time to ask him what his his reward was. Um it just she didn't think it would she well, thought it would be bad taste in bad taste to ask. If, if I add a comment to what you just said, Graham, uh, from the description of it, it sounds like it's worth enough money that if he wasn't willing to pay you a good enough reward, you could get money for it from someone yeah. else, probably, if you wanted to. You know, you'd have to hang yeah. on to it and find a buyer, but I mean, it's worth enough. Mm -hmm. That's that what it, I was wondering, but we don't. It'd be worth to... getting either way. <laughs> right, right. What I'm saying is we don't need to give it to him if he isn't going to give us what it's worth to go in and take That's it That's what I'm just trying to say. Yeah. Okay. Because we, we will be expending stuff on his journey. And we don't necessarily have to go back to that city anytime soon. That's right? Yeah. We can just go grab the loot and head for the next town. <laughs> and see what, yeah. see what other loot we can get while we're at it. <laughs> Yeah, we're like a we're like a motorcycle gang on feet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking, not gang club. Yeah, getting that club. One. Right, I like that. Yeah, a club. <laughs> well, have you ever seen the Impractical Jokers? <gasps> yes. Oh, I've I've watched a ton of that. Oh, you remember man. you remember that scene where he has to do an interview with the biker club? <sighs> I don't remember that one. Okay, watch it. It's fun. <laughs> uh, yeah, those guys are great. Yeah. All right. Well, back to the back to the story. Anyway, yeah, yeah. <laughs> let's uh, go back to. All right. So, anyways, you're heading out of town. It's thinning out now to where, you know, you can't really see one house from the next. You have to go over the next hill or whatever, and mm -hmm. uh, kind of get into farm areas now. And, you know, you've passed people on the road. There's There's been a few wagons that have come by you and a few people on horseback. You haven't encountered anybody walking. But uh, you're just going and going. It's a, it's a, it's a pleasant day. Uh, no real troubles or anything. And you do come to a creek, and there's like – there's a stone bridge – it looks, you know, wide enough for a team of horses with a wagon to get across. I think that's the bridge, guys. <laughs> well, obviously it's a bridge. I think that's the bridge that the shopkeeper was telling us. About. Yeah, is, it about, is it about the right distance? You've been going for a couple hours now, and yeah, it could be, it could be about where she was describing. She said around five miles, so it feels like you've probably done around that. Okay. And you know, uh, the water's flowing from east to west. You know, and to the west is is the sea. So, you, you know, you would probably assume this creek eventually could reach the sea from here if you were to go that way. But then you go the other way inland is where uh, the falls is supposed to be. Mm. And you can kind of see looking that way. It looks like fairly smooth terrain. There's like a thin trail. Uh, to where you could walk single file uh, along the side of the creek. Okay. Unless you want to walk through tall grass and who knows what. No. <laughs> well, no. we're trying not to get spotted, so. Well, that mm, is yeah. true. I think we so should take gonna... the, the trail for a while and just keep our eyes out for any sounds and everyone should be extremely quiet and stealthy. That would oh, Wallace says. <laughs> yeah, yo, Hansel, stop your yap. Yeah. <laughs> and you are, you are kind of out in the boonies now, so uh, it's kind of like anything goes out here. Uh, you know, all the... The rumors of strange creatures and stuff being around, you know, those there's those mouse men people have been talking about, right? And uh, other things. So, yeah. Well, the would... other problem is that people that we meet were, are going to know that we're, you know, not technically supposed to be out here. So, 
<laughs> yeah, well, like, like, uh, yeah, if you're making, if you run into some people that are locals, yeah, they're gonna look at you and be like, "Who the hell is this?" <laughs> you know? They look well, like thinking, they're up to no good. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking more like those people we're looking for. But of course, word's going to spread anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All so right. Let's so get this over and done with. You guys going to. Yeah. So I'm going right. to stealthily stay on the Art. trail. <laughs> oh, I'll lose. Uh, yeah, Thorwald's just going to stick close to Eric. Okay. What do we, what do we want our marching order to be like here that's what i'm trying to get arranged here on the you want do to have or an eric in front yeah that'll work do i yeah, need to have the curry too. come off phil's shoulders well if you're asking phil he's probably ready <laughs> <laughs> no phil could handle it but yeah she'll Yo, slide honey. down she'll be behind phil and johan and stormy can go uh, side by side and go behind Thorwald and Eric, or okay. yeah, yeah, that sounds the car. The car will take up the rear. Okay, he's okay. checking behind him, behind us, to make sure we're not being followed or anything. Why don't we go like this, and we'll have Dakar and Phil in the rear, and then in front of them, Awala and Lacroix, and then Stormy and Johan, and then Thor and Eric in front. Okay. That sounds All good. Right. Cool. <clears throat> All right. And you know, it's going to be, you've got like a, a ways to go before you get to your destination. Um, and it looks like it's kind of uphill. It's kind of an uphill slope, but not super steep or anything um, as far as you can see. And then you can see there's a uh, forest off to your right, which would be kind of back the direction you came. So to the south. But that's off in the distance. So you're kind of in like a sloping upward field. <clears throat> and you're walking along. And the, the creek gets uh, it gets a little narrower as you're walking along. And it looks like it, it's almost to the point where you could cross it to get to the other side if you chose to. Your feet would get wet. But before, when you were at the bridge, you would have had to swim. But now it's just kind of down to where you could walk through it or wade do we need to go across it well it, you could if you wanted to but you don't know have any reason that you would need to i okay. guess it's kind of a a toss of the dice at this point you know whether you're going to want to end up on the other side at some point it's hard to say <laughs> right now um, but just know, just know that it's an option at this point Okay. okay, I think it was at the bridge. I think we were supposed to cross the bridge, go right for five mi about five miles, wasn't yes, it? Yes, that was that was what the uh, that was what Karani said. Yeah, we didn't yeah. cross the bridge, did we? Did we cross the bridge? Uh, yeah. well, you guys never said you never we said just, you crossed the bridge. No, yeah, we no. just all we did was follow the creek. That's fine. Yep. Yep, but you could cross at this point if you wanted to. <clears throat> okay, well, if it gets any uh, if it gets any <laughs> wider again, let's just go ahead and cross over. All right. Okay, and I'll that's uh, and Oala will uh, carefully try to uh, find rocks to jump on where Thor just. Storms right through the water. Yeah, Johan. Johan doesn't have any problem. He'll just cross, you know. But Stormy also is going to be try to be as careful as possible because she's got soft leather boots. <laughs> soft leather boots and a spell book and all. Who knows what yeah. else, right? <laughs> yeah. All right. Yes, well, you guys can get there. There's Eric enough uh, chargers through the water. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's enough rocks in the water and stuff that uh, you get through with just your feet getting wet. It's not that big of a deal. So you make it to the unless north. you have soft leather boots. Well, you know, soft leather <laughs> boots are going to get wet. Yeah, and it's going to suck. But we should have took hey. in the bridge. <laughs> yeah, but you remembered. So anyway, and... keep on going. And. Yeah. Uh... 
Yeah. Right to the back to the right. Back. What's to the what to the right? Well, I'm sorry. Well, uh, the shopkeeper told us to once across the creek to go f uh, right for about five miles. Yes. Yep. Okay. So anyway, you guys keep on heading that way, and you could see that. If you keep going, you're going to be getting into some woods. And she did mention deep, thick woods. Yep. So you seem to be on the right track. Hold on a second here. Sorry. Okay. Well, you guys are getting close to these woods, and you start noticing uh, a lot of scurrying about on the ground around your feet, little critters running around, like a lot more than usual. Like mm -hmm. you've come into a highly populated area of rodents, apparently. Okay, Alala is, is a mention to the group. Could those be those mice men? that everyone's talking about i bet I'm you're right alala well they definitely don't look like mice men but it just seems weird that there's so many of them in one area you're not used yeah. to that. um or they're harmless be. i mean they sc they scatter you know if you walk too close to them or whatever but well but something's drawing them yeah mm -hmm. could be a uh, a nesting ground Oh. For the mice men. <laughs> Very good. Training a training ground, training camp. A training camp. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Nesting ground. Well, you can stomp them all out now There's if you want. There's a bunch of rodents <laughs> running around, and Olala brought up the mice men, but these don't sit, look yeah. like mice men. They're not but they start. Weapons. But Jason but, said that they start to draw the mice first, and then the mice mm -hmm, men show up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember. And I this is the, the precursor to the mice have men. Any connection to the lost uh, loot? Yeah. Says. Whispers. That is a possibility. Very good. Mm -hmm. And uh, Johan's just drawing his sword out of a out of his scabbard and. No. There has been a, there, you know, uh, people have been reporting theft, uh, you know, associated with these mm. mice men too. So, mm -hmm. you know, that's one set of rumors that could possibly be connected. The interesting <clears throat> and, thing was it was happening from inside the people's homes or buildings, and <clears throat> and uh, Boba Steel had a window broken, so. It appeared, anyways, <clears throat> excuse me, it would appear that somebody had gotten in, but it could have been somebody that was in the building that broke the window to get out. <laughs> Only to get out and not climbed in. Hmm. And these are just things that, uh, yeah, you know, Stormy and, and Oala, LaCroix, Phil would all be, you know, and Thor, Eric would all be talking about. Well, there has yeah. I have heard tales of creatures that can change shape into men. Lycanthropes, perhaps. Lycanthropes. It would it would explain why they can walk amongst men and possibly be able to pass as men. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Makes me think of were rats. Is there is there an area where, from our perspective, where the rats are coming? Um, are maybe You've seen them, uh, in density? Um, not really. Okay. I mean, it's 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 varied as you walk. You'll see, you know, you'll see a bunch for for a minute, and then it'll kind of calm down, and then you'll kind of come into another more thicker section of them. And um, I mean, they they pretty much scatter when you come through though so 
Okay. Well, guys, hard keep to, your eyes out. Hard to tell where they might be centralized at, if anywhere. Well, we'll definitely keep our eyes open. Yeah. And again, it could just be a swarm of rats. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Possibility. Door Aaron lives. rolled a, rolled a d twenty. Was that any particular reason? I was doing an intelligence roll. Just testing. Oh, okay. Intelligence roll. Oh. Where's the dice? Knew about the the where men. Oh yeah. Okay. Like lycanthropes and all that. The where creatures. Yeah. <laughs> cool. So he's running across stories about it, but he doesn't know a whole lot about it. Okay. Well, anyway, you keep going, and the uh, the mice kind of go away after a bit, and you get into the woods. And it's getting pretty late in the day now, and it's getting where the shadows are long. And it's easier for you to uh, be stealthy, you know, if you, if you want to. And uh, I would suggest also gonna get stealthy at this point. It's also going to get harder to see as you go further into the woods. You can kind of get the sense that it's going to get thicker as you go. And the creek itself is getting wider, too. Okay. Okay. You haven't seen any animals other than, the beyond the mice, I mean, uh, you, you've maybe seen, like, some rabbits and squirrels and a lot of birds. But not, not even anything big. You haven't seen any deer or any big game like that. Um, what source of light is there out tonight? Is there well, a you, moon or anything? Or two moons? or how you, moon Well, you have got one moon, and my I actually have a calendar. It's on a table, and I will tell you. It's January 3rd. <laughs> it should no, it's be not July. January. It's, it's it, July. it would be July 3rd. 3113. <laughs> Any hint of 2112? 3113? I'm going to grab a little more soda. I'll be right back. Here. Okay. July 3rd. And there was a full moon two days ago on the 1st. Oh. So it's still so, pretty light. It's so, in the, the waning mm. phase now, but it's still mostly full. Yeah. So that means it was a full <clears throat> moon when Boba Steel's loot was stolen. Yeah, the calendar, oh. this, the calendar of this world, it's seven day weeks, and there's exactly four weeks in each month. So there's twenty eight days in each month. Okay. It's just nice and even. <laughs> None of this thirty one day bull crap. <laughs> Okay. I'm tired of that. <laughs> and just to know, July is the seventh month? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm just checking about this world. Okay. So there, yeah. all the months are... I didn't are want this. to make everything alien. I'm just not oh, that... Okay. Uh, yeah. Oh, my God, the amount of time. I know. <laughs> <laughs> to design whole worlds. I don't know how people mm -hmm. do it. Well, whole teams of people do it, really. Yeah. Well, yeah. You know, it took it took Tolkien most of like forty years to do it. So well, yeah, a guy like that, right? He he can spend his whole life doing it. But if you want to be like TSR, you got to hire two hundred people to do something right. like that. You know, that's fair enough with me. I you know I can relate. <laughs> yeah. Maybe you know it's not called July, but I can relate to July. We're gonna call it July, whatever the people of this world call it's up to them. <laughs> okay. But that's good to know that it was a full moon when Boba Steel's loot was stolen. Well, maybe Why we could uh, work that out over time, you know? Well, because as uh, was it Eric or Dakar that was talking about the uh, creature men that can change shape? Well, we don't, we're not for sure that they can change shape. They could actually be mouse men. Mm, or they could mm -hmm. be were creatures. Yeah, the were creatures. Or they and... could be a, there could be a wizard involved, and I don't yeah. think wizards. So. <laughs> and when you say that, Stormy just kind of looks at you and looks away. Well, present company excluded, of course. <laughs> <laughs> he still kind of looks a little suspicious. You guys just gonna keep on marching and I, I think Thor's gonna wanna follow 
want to follow one of the uh, mice that he sees scurrying by in a group. All right, you could you could probably track a single mouse. It's like tall prairie grass. So you mm-hmm. could you could keep track of one single mouse in it for maybe a matter of a few seconds. And then because there's they're scurrying around down at the base of this huge blades of grass and it's thick and it's like virtually impossible. I mean, a cat would have a hard time catching a mouse in this stuff, you know? Um, I mean, you can't run through it and they, they're, you know, on the ground. I mean, you see a mouse and by the time you get to it, it's like scurried away okay. more or less. So he gets um, back on the trail and laughs. <laughs> I mean, you could you could spend your your afternoon chasing mice and probably never catch one, you know, yeah. in this mess. Okay. And then, but uh, he just continues on with everything. Well, we didn't know we didn't notice any reason the mice were actually there, right? No, not that you could tell. Yeah, not offhand. Other than you know, they must have had a lot of food sources in the area. I mean, mm-hmm. it's you know prairie, so there's lots of lots of plants and stuff. When you get into the forest, all that grass kind of goes away. Mm-hmm. So you've got just kind of a bed of you know, sticks and leaves. And then yeah, you've got. Unfortunately, so does the moon. Shrubs and. Yeah, yeah, you won't have moonlight really. Do we see anything off in the distance in the forest now that we're in it? No, no, just more forest. Okay. You've still got, you know. A little bit of daytime left. Somebody would probably make sure you guys have light sources handy, and uh, we need to make up some time. Try to get yeah. here before the. I'm gonna. Oala's oh, gonna um, do her light spell. Awesome. All right. Is there any sound? Um, can we hear any kind of crashing water in the distance or anything? No, but uh, I mean, you know, the creek the creek has gotten a little bit wider and runs a little faster, so uh, that's a good sign. If you guys just want to step up and pick up, yeah, we're gonna we're up. gonna hitch it hitch it a little bit. All yeah. Right. So boom, boom, boom! Right, left, right, left, right, left, <laughs> marching along, and you do start to hear. Echoes of water up ahead. Sounds like there's a falls. And you haven't seen anything or anybody. Anybody want to scout ahead? Johan's willing to go. It is about dusk, and you know you've got to be close. <clears throat> and um, is it so thick that there isn't any um, starlight, moonlight coming in? You well, not not enough for you to like see, you know, things in detail. I mean, you're gonna yeah. need a light source to really. Okay. Luckily, Stormy luckily has... the the water itself actually wouldn't have a, a forest cover over it. So. Oh, excuse me. If we stay right next to the water. Yeah, yeah, it is a little brighter by the water. I think I think um, it's a good time for Oala to put out her light. You know, once we get close to the closer to the the sound of the water. Okay. Do you see any other lights out there? Not at this point. You don't. Okay. It just looks dark up ahead. And and, and Nawala says, I think we should just camp out here for a while in quiet and see what, <laughs> what happens. Are we still on the trail? Yeah, you guys are on the trail. We need to get off the trail a little bit if we're going to camp. Yeah, Yeah. let's go up to the water source and stay in the dark. It's likely that they'll be using light, too, so... You hear a howling. Kind of a... High-pitched... How far? Oh, it's kind of echoing from a distance. I mean, it sounds like could be a mile or less maybe half a mile for in front of us it's it's a good it's a, it's a good ways off <clears throat> well it'd be 
too far to tell. To the north, it'd be like away from the creek to the north. Uh, okay. Could be an okay. owl or maybe some kind of a. Who's our most like perceptive character here? Coyote or something. Your most perceptive, if we're to go on wisdom scores, probably be Phil. Yeah. Whoa. What is Phil? Is he a cleric? Phil's a cleric, yeah. Yeah, he's a cleric. The 15 wisdom. 11 does, somebody, intelligence. does somebody want to scout ahead a little ways? Yeah. Johan will. I can go. <clears throat> LaCroix should stay back. She's too old for those shenanigans. But Phil, you know. <laughs> Phil wants to do some scouting. Phil can do some scouting. That sounds like and fun. And Johan, Johan's willing to go. Okay. Johan, right. do some scouting. All mm -hmm. right. Johan, Phil, go ahead. You guys are going to... Are we going to try to be stealthy about it? Stealthy? Yeah, let's, let's just oh, yeah. put them about... Idea about 20 or 30 yards ahead of us and then we we can continue to use the light until they give us some kind of signal okay fair enough okay. i will uh i'll, I'll, okay. I'll we'll use that spell again and get the light okay all right so phil and johan as you guys are walking along. We are trying to move somewhat stealthily now. All right. Yeah, we're creeping. Do we need to roll for stealth? Does it matter? Uh, well, it only really matters if there's someone you're hiding from. I'll let you know if, if you need to roll for it. Okay. All right. Um, I creep along. Phil, you noticed... Uh, you smell a campfire. Mm. Unless it's a forest fire. Hopefully it's mm -hmm. just a campfire. Yeah, campfires smell a little different. <clears throat> mm. I've Do never been in it? an actual forest fire. I've been in a field fire. <laughs> but <laughs> not a forest fire. Anyway, uh, mm. so you know there must be somebody around. Mm -hmm. you can't hear anything yet and you, you do hear when the we didn't work out a signal <laughs> eh. oops so should I creep back you want to stay here and keep an eye out and I can have them shut off the light or should we just yell over uh, I don't think yelling is a good idea I'll stay here <laughs> yell, yell. <laughs> shut off the fucking light okay there I come I can, I'll stay here I'll stay put Okay, so I'll creep back real, you know, to the crowd as quick as I can and tell them, shut off the light. We smell a campfire. There's someone right over there or several someones. We don't know yet. And then uh, I need, a, I need a couple seconds here. I'm kind of getting something prepared. Uh, sort of prepared here, yes. Okay. That's what I was looking for. Uh, Someone What's found my chin out of there. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Dang it. That sounded that sounded about like a group of eight people moving through the woods. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Good yeah. sound effects. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, I just sorry. I just had my cat jumped on my lap and he like didn't land right, so he like <gasps> used his claws to catch himself. <laughs> oh. oh. Like ah. Bastard. Yep. <clears throat> All right. He's a sadist. So you guys, you guys are returning <laughs> returning back from your scouting mission now? Is that you going to... Uh, staying right I there. Yeah, Johan's I just... Stay there and fill your and, drill. Yeah, I went and told him to shut off the light real quick because there's okay. a campfire, and then I hurried back and out. That's what to Olala the did. Point. All right. Yeah. And we're, the rest we're... of us should move back up I... to where... Go so ahead, you guys, Jay. Uh, no, you, you go could... ahead, Kurt. 
Go ahead. You could kind of move along very slowly in the dark if you wanted to and stay near the edge of the creek. Um, you know, and if you stay in the dark, I mean, your eyes can adjust to it and you could mm -hmm. kind of use the creek as a guide as long as you don't fall in. Um, you should be okay. <clears throat> we just don't want to get overheard by the people at the campfire. Right. Yeah. yeah. Very stealth. Yeah. Stealthily. If, you, if you move slow and stay on a trail, yeah, you, you should be okay there. Okay. And there's plenty of background noise to drown out, you know, whatever noise you're making too. So, because you've got all the running water around. <clears throat> so you, as you go along a little bit further, uh, Johan, you can see there must be a campfire up ahead. You can kind of see the light flickering up ahead. Okay. Do I see any... Does it look like any figures that are standing out from, you know, moving around or noticeable? Well, you stop and kind of focus on it, and you can tell that there's some movement, but it can't really make out what it is. Okay. I'm going to hold my ground. Okay. Stay put, kind of crouch down. See if I can take some cover. All right. Well, yeah, you can. I mean, you can hide. You know, pretty yeah. hand, pretty handily around here. I mean, there's trees yeah. and stuff, and so. Yeah, just find the nearest. Yeah. Uh, tree. And All right. kind of Hang by there. You're watching, and uh, yeah, you could see. You know, from from looking at it for a moment, you can tell there's definitely something going on up there okay and have we, everybody have we else, reached him yet everybody else is catching up to you so okay. uh, you guys can kind of decide what to do do you want to go up and approach or do you want to split up and go at it from two different sides or i don't know do you have any plans let's find out what we're up against first guys yeah, somebody, somebody we should probably up. have at least a party of two um, going as quietly as possible closer, you know. And well, Johan's certainly willing to go. My chain mail and shield definitely isn't quiet, so. <laughs> no. Um, the quietest one. Well, let's see. LaCroix, maybe? <laughs> yeah, it probably would be. It's Stormy, Stormy LaCroix, and And if I need you, I can charm a person. So, uh -huh. so yeah. Neither I of guess. my guys have a high agility. So, Which one's agility? Dexterity? Dexterity. Yeah. Dexterity. So I've got an 11. So, I mean, I'm average, but I mean, she can, I mean, and she's smart. She can creep up and look. Well, I think so, you're better than both of my guys. Yeah. I'll creep up then. I'll go by myself. Oh, by my oh, I know. I know. But you're, you guys are sending, yeah, you're sending an 84 year old lady out into an unknown danger. So stay close behind her. Yeah. So, We're using her as bait. Maybe yeah, whatever danger, maybe whatever's there would have mercy on her. <laughs> yeah, well Pitier. she's gonna she's gonna hobble a little closer to the campfire there and uh how far away All am right. I at this point? Well, you you know, you're you're starting out where you're just close enough to see that there is a campfire off in the distance and not make out any detail. And okay. so I mean that'd probably be oh I don't know what's a couple city blocks maybe or I don't know how to measure it. I mean, yeah. it would... I gotcha. tell you what, I'm going to send the car's going to go with her, but he's going to drop his shield to try to make less noise. Cool. Okay. Awesome. All right. So Dakar and LaCroix go up and scout it out. You guys approach and as you're getting up there, you can see that there are several humans. It looks like they're uh, a couple of them are standing possibly having a conversation and then there's a couple more that are moving around a lot they're they're like coming towards the fire and then they're going back off into the trees kind of back and forth are they armed <clears throat> uh, all right if you you want to get close enough to really make out the detail definitely yeah i think it's important to know what we're getting into i mean yep. if you're Right, it's gonna it's gonna bring you into range where they might spot you too. So, 
I'll see if I got yeah. my invisibility potion earlier. Right <laughs> now, Jason. Oh, well, how many if can it, we? How many you can, can we see? Them, if, you, if you can see them, you got to figure they could probably see you. But you're you're also kind of you're not in the camp light, the firelight. Right. Yeah. And you're off into the in the grass, so you can you can stay low. But I don't how know, many just, can we see at any one time? Uh, so far, you you've seen four individuals. Not all usually at one time. Like they, I, a couple, a couple of them are wandering around a bit, but and you know, there's two that are stationary by the fire. I'm gonna try to do an awkward old lady army crawl on my head <laughs> in the tall grass. <laughs> Maybe they'll think I'm a baby deer, so I'm gonna try to get closer. And then when I'm close enough, I'll try to slowly creep up and look. <laughs> see what I can see. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the car holds her back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always getting held back in these games. All right, all right, fine, fine. You got a better idea? <laughs> yeah, go get the rest of the group. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right, we'll head back and grab the team. Come on, guys. He doesn't like my plan. <laughs> well, we know we could at least move up. We could move everyone up to that around that point. Safely, and all yeah. kind of maybe take a little cover. Yeah. Owala <laughs> says, Owala says we should break up in groups of two and spread out around the fire here. Hmm. Maybe like in a half circle. Awala, that gives us too much of a chance of being detected by somebody who we can't see yet. So mm. we want to try to take them at surprise. What do you suggest? Which way should we go? Well, you got to remember I'm based on Conan the Barbarian, so I think we should go <laughs> straight in, but... <laughs> Nevertheless, does anybody now, have a bear, bear anybody mind, have a bow? Bear in mind, you don't you don't have a really a, an idea mm -hmm. on who these people are. I mean, you know that you know there's supposed to be hooligans and stuff that hang out here, and you know you're looking for a specific bunch called the weasels, but you don't know who's here, who's at this fire. You don't know who they are, and you still haven't even seen if they're armed. So if you're going to plan an ambush, you know. Just be aware of all that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we, could, we could continue keeping going away from the fire um, in the direction, you know, along that creek and um, keep and look and see if we can find what seems like it might match up with what we know of Pelican Falls. Okay, well, why don't we do this? Let's do a different plan then. We we can use her as bait, <laughs> but, <laughs> but what we'll do is we'll stick four people in the woods about right where we're at right now, about where Dakar and uh, but LaCroix are at right now. Okay. Keep them in the woods. We'll have two, two, three people sitting out by the road so LaCroix can run by them if this doesn't work. And then we send LaCroix towards the camp to try to find out what and who they are and their intentions and such. Okay. So and then the rest really... of you wait by the road. And if she comes running out to run away from them. Yes. Then you're there. Then, for we, then we ambush them. Then I yeah. think we should be on opposite. We should. Be a lot of lady who got like, you know. But you know, uh, burgled, you know, going down the road, you know, I was. Oh, that's you how know. you're going to play it. That sounds like yeah. a good, good idea, LaCroix. And we'll split up from from each side of the uh, the trail. So if you get into trouble, you just run yeah. in between us. OK, OK. Should I pretend to be lost or should I pretend to have been robbed? Robbed. Robbed. Yes, and and you may want to even pretend to be robbed of your favorite loot. <laughs> well, I don't know. They I don't think that's a good idea. I don't idea. think that's a good idea. <laughs> no. Yeah, 
<laughs> no. Not a good idea. I don't think that's a good idea. I don't think I'm going to bring up musical <laughs> instruments, you know. But uh, okay. Well, then yeah. you've been robbed of your funds, your gold. Yeah, my coin purse, absolutely. That was All right. the, so those hooligans gonna, pushed me over. We're going to move back towards the road All and right. stay, out of, stay out of range of them being able to hear us. Yeah, well, oh. I want to hide kind of in the woods on each okay. side of the road. And I'll I'll hunker over even more than my osteoporosis normally has me hunkered over. And uh, I'll start to approach them, you know, looking a little frightened and a little disheveled. And, you know, I'll get close enough and I'll call out, you know, help. <laughs> All right. <laughs> when you when you call out help, uh you see the the two figures by the fire kind of jerk up to attention and look off in your direction and you hear them say something but you can't quite make it out okay. and then you see they start walking in your direction like side by side okay i i'm not gonna i'm not gonna run yet i'm gonna keep on going i'm gonna right. hobble a little more and I'm going to be like, you know, did you guys see those two guys come running through here? They were, they were wearing chain mail. Well, you can't run in chain mail, can you? They were hey, good. briskly walking in chain mail. They, they just pushed me down and stole my coin purse. Did you see uh, them come through here? The guys come up to you. They, they, these two guys come walking up to you. They look like late teenage years maybe 20 years old and uh they're both armed i mean they've they've got leather armor on and one's got a, a war hammer and one's got a short sword and they both got shields and they they just kind of stop and look at each other and look at you yeah. and uh one of them one of them says what in the hell are you doing out here old lady I was I was taking my evening constitutional. I've been taking this walk for 70 years. Ever since I was a young woman, I need to go out and walk at night. And I have never once been bothered. All these gangs have known me their whole life. Hell, I babysat half of these young whippersnappers. But these two, mm -hmm. they just came out of nowhere. And they pushed me over, me an old lady and they grabbed my purse and they ran this way i saw them come this way they aren't with your group are they because i know your mother i think i recognize you from around town young you man. say you've lived here you you've lived here your whole life have you i do i live about two and a half miles that way in the woods in the shack there what do you think marco he looks over at the other guy and the other guy just kind of raises his eyebrow and shakes his head. Did you guys and, see him? And the first guy, uh, he goes, I don't think your story quite adds up. We're from here. We grew up around here. And we don't I know you. You've seen me your whole life. No. I'm going to try charm. <laughs> Okay. How far away? To... How far away are we? <laughs> so. Well. How do I cast that? See. I you my guys are... Here, hold on. Oh, and you look. It you takes think. time to cast a spell. Charm hold person's on, on pretty quick. Second. Yeah. Well, they're gonna. It's like one segment. Yeah. Uh, probably probably a Where, quick one. Where'd my cheat me... sheet go? I I've got it here. Charm person. Yeah. Yeah, but I had the PDF saved. I don't know where the hell I have so many bookmarks. Come on, Kebby. A person who is charmed. <laughs> That's a bad spell. They know they um, know they'll be charmed after you get done with it. They'll, reading they'll it. know that I'm reading the description uh, here right now. Uh if it's anything like the D and D charm person, 
It's pretty similar. Where did that damn... I think it's one segment. What's the name it's of the called PDF? Basic fa it's called basic-fantasy-rpg-rules-r107. There they are. Charm. Okay. What it would be then is uh, if you're going to start casting a spell, it would go to an initiative roll because they're going to they're going to have a chance to respond to that. Okay. They're going to realize you're doing something, and they have a chance to respond and possibly attack. So. And charm person, this spell makes a humanoid creature of four hit dice or less. Regard the caster as its trusted friend and ally. Humans and demi-humans may be affected regardless of level of ability. A save versus spell will negate the effect. If the creature is currently being threatened or attacked by the caster or his or her allies, it receives a plus five bonus in the saving throw. The spell okay. does not enable the caster to control the charm person as if it were automation. Rather, it perceives his or her own words and actions as most favorable way. Maybe I should just turn and fucking run. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, they're looking Let at you. They're looking at you like they're trying to decide what to do with you because okay. they <clears throat> they know you're not from around there, and uh, and that you're full of shit. The guy yeah. who didn't the guy who didn't talk before, uh, Marco. He says, What did you say somebody just stole from you? My coin purse. Really? Really? Well, I'd like to see if you have any other coin purses hanging around. Well, and that's point that's when I yell out and I run start turning back to the guys. I hope they're coming to me cuz I I'm 84 <laughs> and I can't defend myself. So I try to run in my hunkered over. So You're scared. Okay. I turn and so fucking you run. run. Yep. You run. Yes! <laughs> Sorry. And 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 as far as Thor, well, it's not an ambush if you let them know we're there. Yeah, ah. Thor and Lala do not move an inch. The two, yeah. the two guys also turn and run back the way they came back Damn, to their I'm, fire. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just didn't want to get killed running away from them. <laughs> well, I, I'm I, going I, to you anyway. <laughs> I go ahead and fired my ready bow. If I can. If I can hit them. All right. You want to take a pot shot at one of them? Well, they're, yeah, they're, they're running away, but you can take a shot at them. Definitely. Um, let me get some stuff here. I have a small desk, so my stuff is scattered around. I've got stuff on the floor. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, and if I try to do everything on the computer, that gets annoying too. So I, because then I have too many windows and tabs open to keep clicking through. So I got some stuff on paper. All right, so you're hit. You're trying to hit somebody in leather and shield AC fourteen. Um, go shield ahead and make. If they're running away from me. Well, well you away. know what? No, it doesn't actually. So it'd be thirteen. Yeah. So okay. you can go ahead and make your D twenty rule. Two. Yeah, with a plus two AB. Is that a okay. car? No, it's Eric. Eric. Okay. Yeah, Eric. Nope. Two. Ah, uh, not quite. Okay. Do they even notice? <laughs> well, they just kept on running. I, you know, probably not. Or if they did, they, either way, they kept running. So I'd hate this random number generator on here. I, I don't know what to think. Well, I mean, is there really such a thing as a random number generator? Like, no. it has to get the number from somewhere. I mean, yes, it can't just it come out of nowhere. From, I th I thought it used to get it from like your clock, your. Uh computer clock oh like some kind of algorithm that <clears throat> yeah. bases it off that, that but no sense. it's never entirely random so yeah because it can't be 
That ain't right. the way computers work. Because it's programmed to do it. So it, yeah, it's doing what it's told. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, dice are the same way. I mean, everyone's weighted slightly different. I well, always like to roll near the, the number one for some reason. <laughs> So what you uh, what you guys notice is like a it could be like a cloud of dust or something up at the camp at the campfire. The campfire seems to be becoming obscured. Like more oh, they smoke. must be dust. must be kicking it over. Maybe, maybe they're put, trying to put it out and that, get out of there. That could be, or they could be trying to signal somebody. That's true. Yeah. All yeah. right. <clears throat> Possible. I put my uh, put my bow on my back, and Eric's gonna charge. <laughs> Not literally charge, but move as quickly as possible. Thor, Thor, Thor moves. Okay. Moves just a little bit and grabs um, Lacroix up and <laughs> and says, "You silly old woman!" <laughs> Attack! All right, uh, I'm gonna draw some things on here. On the grid here. Okay. I should have. Let me see. Just a couple quick things. Uh, hold Alt for circle ellipse. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so we got a campfire there. Oala, do you have any other spells prepared? Are, and then there's there's four tents. They're like one man tents. The slade plans. Just my arcane bolt. Okay. And then I do have a shield for myself. Spell? Yeah. The shield spell. Okay, good. And I carry a little dagger. Silver uh, dagger. Ooh, that's even better. Yeah. yeah. I have a uh, Stormy has a quarter staff, which is always there. Um, she usually treats it more like a walking staff, but it's a quarter staff and has a dagger. She tries not to show it most of the time. And uh, so it's on her belt, Concealed. but tries to have her tries to have her cloak you know in the way of it most okay. of the time and uh has two prepared spells shield shield and sleep if need be nice hopefully it won't come to battle i've always She's wanted to learn hoping. the sleep spell stormy and i need the light and i've always wanted to learn maybe <laughs> it may be useful in this battle and again you don't want to catch us in it. No. <laughs> no. All right. You guys can see there's uh, the two guys. Well, there's the two guys that LaCroix encountered. And they're kind of standing by where the fire was again. But they've they put it out for the most part. I mean, it's not completely out, but it's died way down. They they had kicked a bunch of dirt onto it. And... They had done that, and then they had kind of backed up away behind their tents, and you can't really see what they're doing now. So for now, you don't see anybody there. And so we Eric, have two. Eric killed attack and is... What are you doing, Eric? I'm moving. Attacking. You're moving towards? Okay. Then uh, Thorwald is, is following Eric's lead. Johan will go with. As will Phil. Okay, so let me see what am I looking at here. Johan can go with. Okay. Oh, they can't really. Yeah, uh, they can't. 
really, really get out of our sight right now. I need a. I need more real estate here. I'm gonna have to just back this whole arrangement up. I think, because uh, we're at the bottom of the map. Just let, let me just move everybody back up. Let me move the campfire up. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Because this is going to get crowded down here. And and they had knocked down. Did they knock down LaCroix first before they ran back? Or did they just leave her? Well, I ran away. No, oh, didn't. you you ran didn't. away. Okay. Yeah, I didn't, didn't. I'm sorry. They didn't knock her down. Okay. I'm I'm sorry. No, um, correct, but okay. she, she she recovered. Okay. Um Johan's uh got his sword put away and he's fumbling trying to get out a bolt. He's a little nervous. <laughs> get a um a couple of bolts, but put one in his sling. Okay. And hold another, have another hold one in the opposite. Ready to go. Hand. Okay. And the other, uh, the other bolt, or bullet. Bullet. Yes. Hand. Right. Okay. And then we've got. Did we hear them yell or anything okay. like that? Well, you guys really haven't. Uh, you can't see them or hear them at the moment, and I mean, yeah, there was some yelling initially. But I mean, that was that was game. during the time that was during the time when you were all, uh, you know, Lacroix's running back and shouting, and everybody's <laughs> kind of confused and startled. <laughs> and and, uh, and in the meantime, <laughs> while all that was going on, they were up there kicking dust all over their fire, and they were, you know, they were either leaving the area or they were doing something. And if they're a gang, they probably have some uh, kind of a have signals or something that may be nonverbal so they can probably communicate with each other that way too. I would agree. Yeah. Yeah. That's usually how gangs, how gangs work. <clears throat> so right now you're looking at, you're looking at uh, a mostly dark kind of empty campsite. You've got some, some moonlight and a little bit of glow from what's left of the fire, but not much. Do we and see any movement? No, no. You okay. just see these tents, and then back beyond the tents, uh, there's a row of trees. Okay. They could be anywhere. So Alala's gonna gonna grab her dagger out, and um, as we approach, she's gonna. I stick with the group, but as she approaches, she's going to want to search the first tent. Okay. Give me one second here. Sure. So that would mean the whole group has to move up there. Yeah, when we all Pretty get much, up there. Yeah. I can move mine. But we're kind of in a combat a little bit right now. So it would be based on initiative. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, she right. just tells so, the so here's Okay. So, so we could do it tent. like this. We could do it like this. We can, everybody can approach the campsite or one of you can, or I think we you can uh, go to um, I mean, there's no, you don't need to roll initiative to do that um, either way, or you can stay where you're at. You don't see anybody. You don't even know for sure if anybody's there. There could be people in those tents. You really don't know. Um, so you've, you've got the initiative now. You know, you could go anywhere or whatever you want to do, I guess. Well, my two are going to stay with the group. Yeah. Okay. I don't think any of us should split off, right? Personally. Now, are you, are you guys are you are you going to move towards the campsite? Yes, we move, yeah, yeah. Gonna, we move towards the campsite. Yeah. You're just going to march it, kind of march in. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean. Okay. Eric's already yelling. 
All right. Yeah. I wasn't the first one to yell. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. And LaCroix ruined it for us. Yeah. 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 So he's supposed to have, be a little more persuasive than that, but oh well. Yeah, I know. It's our first time. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So you guys are approaching and out of somewhere behind the uh, tents comes a flying object and it comes in the direction of Johan actually and I'm gonna well, I do second. have shield I do have a shield Johan Make raises his shield in reaction to something flying towards him and the object really hones in on him no Let's see here. <laughs> I, 17. Yeah, I rolled a 17. Okay. And Johan's AC is 14. The object is an arrow. And it nicks you pretty good. It does two points of damage. Okay. All right. Which takes you down to five hit points. And you can you can kind of see that it came from a guy. I'm calling him Snake, but you don't know his okay. real name. <laughs> but I know the, I know the direction that it came from. He's, he's a sneaky snake. Yeah, and you could kind of see, you know, once you realized it was coming at you, you could see him, and then he kind of ducks down back behind some trees. Okay, you know, so you know where you, you know where he's at, but he's concealed. Okay. You know, is it is he behind the, that line of trees behind the tents? Yeah, but he's okay, not. Good. You know, he's a, he's yeah, he's, he's not in sight. Well, no, he's in sight. You could oh. he's he's exposed himself enough to fire an arrow, but he's like partially concealed, basically. So, but you know where you you can see where he's at. You know the vicinity of where vicinity. he's at. Yeah, yeah, and. Uh, well, guys, I just, you know, I just got hit. <laughs> so I, I don't know. Initiative? Yes. Okay. okay. I'd probably yep. fall back. D D6 for initiative. D6. Uh, One D6. Yep. Got it. And it's uh, your dexterity got dexterity six. applies to it also. Okay. So look at your look at your dexterity modifier. You know, okay. if you got a. Um, I unfortunately, guys, are we unfortunately, moving both of our guys, characters at the same time? Separate. Are you moving both characters at the same time? No, no, no. no we'll do the same initiative. Oh, for initiative. Yeah. Uh, we've been doing separate initiative for everyone. So okay. okay. Let's see. So Jason T rolled a six, but for, you got to for a while, uh, yeah, okay. And her dexterity is 13 with the one bonus. Oh, with a, okay. So it's, so plus one, so that's seven. Okay. Yeah, so it's rolled a seven. Okay. Then, let's see, I'll do one D6. A four. Dexterity is negative one, so it's a three. I rolled a three. Um, okay. Why don't we do this? Why don't we do this a different way? Let me, let me, uh, just go down the list and call you guys off by names. Oh, okay. That, that yeah, way. Yeah, that'd be better. Yeah. Okay. That way uh, you know. all right. So Dakar, what was this? Okay. You already rolled Aaron, right? Yeah. You, it's a D six. Okay. It was a six. Okay. So it's a six. Uh, give, give me another roll for, uh, Eric then. Four. Okay. And that's a four. Okay. And then Stormy. So Graham. Stormy. Stormy yep. rolled a. F uh, I have to do this, guys. You got to trust me. I I can't find the uh, dice roller thing on Facebook. I've got my hand, my uh, dice, and oh, I rolled. Okay. I'm using my CCTV. And all right. Stormy rolled a five, and she has okay. a dexterity of minus one. She has a seven, so it's minus one. Okay, and she so rolled four. five minus one. And Johan rolled a one, and he has an eleven dexterity. Okay, so he's just he's got a one then. Okay, all right. 
then it's fine. Okay, so Phil. It's a four. four. And Any he has dexterity, a dexterity mod? of minus six or minus one. Okay, so that would be a three. All right. And then LaCroix. Six. six. And she has no. <coughs> okay. All right, that's everybody. And then I can. Boom. Whoops. There we go. So then I can sort them numerically descending. And boom, then I've got the turn order there. Yeah. But I also have to roll some initiatives for some other individuals. Okay. Let me see here. I'm gonna... Too many things on the screen. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still not. Hey, man. Jason. So I got a four there. Okay. Jason. Which, Which Jason? Me? Yes. Yes. The DM, Jason. All right. <laughs> yes. Can we take a break real quick? Sure. That, all would, right. that would be cool. And that way that you can get all the roles sorted out and stuff for initiative. Yep. Yep. All right. No and problem. Come back straight into it. Yep. You all got right. it. I'll be right back. Straight into right. battle. Yes. Go for it. Okay. There we go. I added those turns. Okay. If, if people get... could only really take a break right before getting into battle. Yeah. <laughs> Well, yeah. Real battle is not as much fun as fantasy battle. Sure. <laughs> not no. as much fun. Yes, yes. It's, it's so real, I've been told. Real consequences. <laughs> right. <laughs> There's no healing potion. <laughs> oh. So welcome back, Aaron. Yes. Yeah. Just back. The possibilities that may be um, trying to strike up a negotiation with these uh, mm -hmm. hoodlums. Um, and you said now Stormy to, has a sleep spell too, right? Stormy has a sleep spell. I have sleep too on one of mine. Okay. Um, yeah, that would be uh, LaCroix. LaCroix, okay. And Charm Person. Yeah. And now, now it, I mean, it helps to know your spells, definitely, because if, if you look at that, you've got a, yeah, range, a range, you've got a range of yeah. 90 feet the duration is five rounds per level. So you're, uh, let's see, LaCroix is level two, or, or, yeah. or no, yeah, level, level one. Level one. Stormy's level two. So for you five rounds. You could do rounds, one, one right after the other. <laughs> if these if these guys had uh, three or fewer hit dice, which you have no way of knowing right now. No, they may, they may or they may not. They, uh, then you would choose the point of origin for the spell, and then creatures within 30 feet of that point can be affected each one of them would get a saving throw yes so it's an area it it's an area effect spell so you've mm -hmm. got that option at this point you could do that and that would be i think enough to put them all to sleep if they failed their saving throws yeah, I mean, it, and, and we could each try it. So if one of us right. uses some of them, the other one can throw it. Well, the, the thing, okay, what I got to start doing, and I've been out of DMing for a while, is I got to get into a routine. But we're supposed to declare our actions when we roll initiative. Right. Um, is technically yeah. how you're supposed to do it. Oh. It's all supposed to be happening at once, even though we're mm -hmm. going in order. Yeah. You can't, like, if you're the last person, you can't just stand and watch what everybody does and then change your mind and uh, yeah. based on that. You know what I mean? Because it's all happening yeah. at the same time. Okay. Yeah. So that's why we're supposed to – remind me if I don't start doing it right. When you roll mm. initiative, tell me what you're doing. Okay. <laughs> but uh, Well, should we all tell you right now? We'll just go right down the list. Yeah. Let's okay. do that. Oala. Okay. I'm going to do uh, Arcane Bolt. On, on who? Um, on the... Um, I on your name, I put the names area. on the on ones the... you... The people you see there, I've got these uh, name plates on them. I don't know if you can see that. No. Oh. No. You can't see the names? Ah, shoot. No. Okay. That's okay. In the area, I'm going to Arcane Bolt. If I can see, can I see the guy in blue? Let me see. Yep. In the blue pajamas, I'm gonna throw an arc yeah. bolt in uh, at that guy. 
Okay. Why don't right. I see the bad guys? You might have to scroll down a little bit. Yeah, yeah scroll down. Oh, yeah, they're they're, they're behind the tents. On my screen. Hmm? I got too much shit happening on my screen. Well, that sounds oh. like a personal problem. There they are. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm okay. having a personal problem. I can't get the dice roller thing on here. <laughs> That's weird. I can't. I can't see well, anything. Well, there's no Jason's dice. There's no anything. dice on Facebook, oh. Graham. Oh. Um, you have He's to be in the 20. roll twenty. In roll twenty for the dice. Oh. And we can always roll for you too, sir. So. Oh, I well, I've got my um, I've got my set of dice here. Okay. Well, we um, trust you. Yeah. 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 I, well, it's you know, I'm enough. the one that has the camera on me, so I can show you under <laughs> no, under the no, seat. Okay. Yeah, prove it. Prove it. Prove it. Show me. your roll. <laughs> yeah, we have the. I don't know if you can see this behind here. No, my, it's just my it, CCTV. It, it, it just that's what we'll do. We don't. Just yeah, we just have the camera on dice instead of your Funny. No, it's I just my, it's too uh, bright to see it on the webcam. But that's I don't know okay. why. No, we trust you. Okay. Huh? I don't know why, but I'm hearing two of you. Oh, maybe because I need to mute in. No, I'm muted in. You can turn down. Uh, my and door's roll, and... open. I opened my door. Oh, am I being so oh, loud? You're loud. Yeah, you're a loud guy, Jay. Oh, Let me close my door. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, I already I already muted everybody in uh, roll, uh, roll twenty. 20. Okay. Yeah, that's what I did. Let me. Okay, there, I also muted thing. myself in roll twenty. So, oh. is that better, Aaron? Yeah. Yes. Okay. That's sorry better. about that. All right. Are you guys in adjacent rooms or something? Yeah. Okay. We're each in our office. Lacroix. Lacroix, what are you gonna do? Uh, LaCroix is going to cast a sleep. And so you said I can cast it 90 feet away. So do I need to walk up and cast it? No, it has a range that you can cast it 90 feet away from where you're at. Okay. So I'm going to cast it like right in the, where the blue pajama guy is. Cause it's got okay. 30 feet poof. Yep. So that should hit all of them. Yeah. That would hit okay. all of them for sure. Yeah. All right. Okay. And then, uh, Dakar. Full move. Full move. So, f are we gonna? Are you gonna do like a charge or just a f regular move, uh, like forty feet or? Uh, I'm go. gonna do a, basically a charge, but without the charge. It's just gonna be an eighty foot move. Yeah, you're just gonna run. Okay, cool. A double right. move, I guess. All right, and then next is uh, let's see, bad guy, bad guy, Eric. Eric's doing the same thing. He's same moving thing. Into combat. Cool. Uh, Stormy. Stormy's just holding her ground. All right. Phil? Phil is going to move up a little bit, um, but he's going about like 15 feet, but he's going to stay near LaCroix. Okay. And then, let's see, Thor. is going to uh, follow Eric and charge with this two-handed sword. Okay. And bad guys, and then Johan. He has his sling out and readied, and he will just fire in the direction that the arrow came from. All right. Let's do this. Okay, so Oala, you're doing the arcane, the arcane bolt? Yeah. All right, so you need to roll a d20 for an attack roll to see if that hits. Okay. There we go. Got a... What is 12? 12, and you're going for blue pajama guy. <laughs> Has an AC of, AC of 14. Do you have a... You rolled 12. Your AB must be... Well, no, I don't know. Let me look at your character sheet. Okay, I'm looking at it right now. My AB... Having a little trouble locating... Oh, AC? No, nope, AB is 1. 1. That's what you add to your roll, so... When you give me a roll, add if that. you could add that to it and tell me 13. what it is. Okay, that would help. So 13, okay. Uh, and that misses. Just missed him. Okay. 
All right. Sped by LaCroix. Right there. LaCroix cast a sleep spell centered on these guys, and I have got to roll some saving throws for each of them. Okay. So give me one second here. Okay. Where's... I'm going to move this stupid thing. <laughs> I need a bigger monitor. <laughs> okay. We can scroll in and out. Got 19. You need to do it that way. Oh, yeah. You mean, yeah, to make the map bigger or smaller? Yeah. You can also hook it up to your TV. Yeah. Oh, gosh. You know, I could look into that. That's not a bad idea. Yeah. That's what we do. We use our TVs as our computer monitors. Okay. I'm in a I recliner. Could, I could only do that monitor. if my fiance wasn't using the TV. Uh, we both have our different forms of entertainment. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, this is funny. This is so cool. This dude, sleep is this. It is such an overpowered first level spell. Oh my goodness. Ridiculous. Yeah, it is. But hey, that that's part of the fun. Uh, okay, so one guy. Let me see. I can put like a status thingy on these guys to show who's asleep. Uh, where's and if they're if they were hiding and they're asleep, we wouldn't even know. Oh, there we go. Okay, so blue pajama guy is asleep. And All right, uh, he's dressed for the occasion. <laughs> he's dressed. For the occasion. That was that was Marco, and then Len is a uh, green pajama guy. Is also <laughs> is also asleep. I'm going to steal their pajamas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, okay. And that's it. The, the rest of them apparently resisted it. Mm. Oh. That's okay. Hey, that's good. Uh, right. Dakar moves <coughs> up to, I could let you move it yourself, right? Yes. If you want to do that. Okay. Or I don't mind doing it if you told me where you want to go. But you can go ahead and make your move. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Stay out of the line between Johan and the and the guy that threw the shot the arrow. Oh, that's fine. So diagonals are what? 10 and 15? Or 10 and then 5? Or how, do you, how are diagonals working? If you go, oh... I just figured five per square. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, five, five even feet per diagonal. square. So yeah. yeah, even diagonal. 15, 20, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 70. 70 is right there. Okay, so he's right there. Okay. Cool. Right. That works. Okay. So then next would be sleeping guy. <laughs> and this other guy back here in the back. Okay. With the bazooka. So there there are three more of them standing. The one in the middle, yeah, he doesn't actually have a bazooka. What he has, <laughs> what he has is a short log. bow. He has a short bow. Okay. Oops. All right. <laughs> he is going to take a shot at Dakar with that short bow. Well, I'm rolling dice on the table. I'm going to use the dice roller here. <laughs> uh, Not alone. Seven. seven and misses horribly. All right. And then next is, where is he? That was Snake. Next is Eric. Okay, he's doing the double move. He's well. doing the double move. All right. They're both moving into battle. <laughs> Okay. I'll probably put him up next to Dakar. Yeah. He's going to be close. Cool. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So he's going to be right next to the blue guy. Like that. Okay. Nice. All right, Stormy would be next. She was just going to hold her ground. You're going to hold your ground. Okay. And then Phil? And Phil was just going to move. Why am I? Can't I move? Him? Yeah, you were going to move. Yeah, please don't Heart do the sleep spell right now. A little bit, but not too far <laughs> from. Do the sleep spell. Not too far from LaCroix. Yeah, yeah. like right there. Got to stay, hey. stick close to. Yeah, the old lady. Okay. There we go. Okay. Okay. That's it. All right. And then Thor. Okay. And I can, if I understand you correctly, I could do um, move 40 feet. That's a regular move, or you can run and do a double move if you wanted. Okay. Let's see. I'll go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Um, That's a normal move. It's a normal. You can move, move. and you can new, move another forty feet if you run, right. but yep. you can't you can't attack in the same round. So got it, got it. So I'm just gonna do. That's a why I'm way move. up here. I'm do way a... up here, and everybody else is back there. Right. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, you can oh. you can move and attack in the same round. Just That's can't a double yeah. move. But well, the well move. a charge attack. It would be a charge attack. If okay. you had a spear or something like if that. You, right, if you had yeah, the spear. Yeah, I got a double saying, handed sword. That's, that's the only way you could do that, yeah. Okay, and then from there, I... Um... <coughs> you know right. what? I'm going to do this. I'm going to move... I am just going to double move, but I'm going to be right behind a car. That's cool. Or behind Eric. <coughs> yeah. Eric, yeah. <clears throat> All right. You can use me as a meat shield, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so next is sleeping guy and the girl over to the side with the bow who kind of stepped out of the trees. Is that the blind? Is that snake? <laughs> <laughs> is that yep. sneaky snake? No, no, that's uh, that's Karina. I don't know. It don't matter. You guys know her name, I guess. No. I, gave it, I gave it away already. <laughs> I should have gave her a mystery name until I... You know, we don't out. know. We we don't know. <laughs> we don't know. Yeah. He's no. that bitch with a bow to me. That's yeah. all I know. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. My she she, <laughs> roll, she uh, aims her bow and takes a shot at Eric. Rolls an 18. Ooh. Uh, yeah, his AC is what, 16. He's got a good AC, but yeah. But 18 is a damn good roll. Yes. I keep rolling my own dice on the table. <laughs> there. Hands D off your D6. dice. Six. There, I rolled. Oh my gosh, a six. Yikes. It's okay. He's still got quite a bit of hit points. He's got the most hit points of anybody. Yeah, that took him down to eight. Oh, you know what? Um. I, I was I forgot to tell you, Aaron. You got Dakar. Um, he's level one, and you had ten hit points on him. But now fighters roll uh, one d8 for hit points in this game. Uh -huh. So you were thinking uh, D and D fighters. Um, so I changed your hit points to eight on your <laughs> character sheet. That's why I did that. Okay. I was looking at everybody's sheets today. I was trying to fix like obvious things that I could see that were. That's fine. I didn't change much of anything though. Other and Eric was me. level two. Yeah. Yes. And he's Eric's got a level two guy. He's got, he's got the got maximum 14. hit points he can have. Yeah. Nice. He's got that. He's he's got that constitution minus one for hit points. Anyway, where are we? Oh, yeah. The next person is uh, Chuck, and he's he's a big dude. 
and he's standing back and he's got he's got a big axe okay. two-handed axe it's the guy with the rake i got it okay with the rake it is a rake huh it's an axe. <laughs> that looks like a rake, Sorry, but it's Dungeon really Master. an axe. Yeah. It's uh, an and he kind of steps forward over the two sleeping guys there, and he swings his axe down towards Thor. And I rolled an eight, and he hits the ground with his axe. <laughs> and next is Johan. Okay. You were going to sling yes i'm gonna actually i didn't realize the distance that we were at I, also if i would have known i would have moved stormy up but um he's You're going at, to move gonna be at medium range okay I think. um yeah i'd like to just move up a bit and okay. i rolled and unfortunately i rolled a five okay yeah and you know i have uh, a dexterity of 11 and my strength is you know 17 so he has a plus two with that but i rolled a five all right well five's not gonna hit no might hit the broad side of a barn <laughs> if i'm lucky <laughs> all right i moved you up to like you're where you're by the campfire so you're kind of halfway yeah. in between you know the front line and the back line basically yeah and you're, you're, in Phil. The, you're in front of the tents and we're behind the tents. Yeah, it's kind of weird because there's from where you were just at, uh, Johan, you'd have been looking at the campfire first. And then behind that, you've seen a group of four tents. And then behind the four oh. tents, there's people fighting. And that's who yeah. you were, you know, aiming at. So, <clears throat> but now you've moved up a little closer to them. You're kind of by the campfire. But that makes so you're maybe. Tents? 30 feet away from the group. <laughs> He's, yep, your past tense. No. We're the past tense, yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> Sorry, that goes back to my Latin classes. <laughs> okay, so that brings us back around to Awala. Um, Help. We'll just keep the same initiative going from round to round, I guess. Okay. Do we have to announce think, each round? You know... Because yeah, like, we'll do that. We'll do that. But that's that's better than re-rolling initiative every time. It's, you know. The thing that I don't get. Or though, would you guys it, rather re-roll each time? What do you think is more fun? I think it's slow it, that way. It's, it's already yeah, slow whoa. enough. I mean, yeah, like. Yeah, it's already slow enough. <laughs> we can cut corners where we can, I think, oh, you know. Oh, you're fine. Uh, uh, but, like, let's say, like, okay, I was to say I'm going to attack Blue Pama guy, right? And then someone who goes before me kill oh wait no because i wouldn't do that because we've announced never mind i answered my own question Carry yeah, like, on. A, like you're saying like if your target is already dead before your we actually yeah. roll your turn you yeah. would still I'd you would you still attack him oh, no really? I, I would say then you're yeah you, yeah we would still have you attack them yeah because it would I be i kick their dead corpse <laughs> are you allowed okay. to hold your action in this game yeah yeah you can you can yeah, stormy yeah. did if you want to wait, yeah. Contingent on if something else is going to happen. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. fine. If you wanted to give up your initiative and go last, yeah. So you could do that if necessary. Okay. You could, cool. yeah. Okay, so we'll go back, and everybody just uh, say what you're going to do then. So back to Oala. Oala's going to move a little bit closer. One, two, three, or wait, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Stop right there and then do the arcane bolt on okay. the, um, on the right. guy with the axe. Don't, ro don't, ro don't roll it yet, but just leave her there. That's sure. fine. Because um, we'll come back and have you roll. I'll just have everybody sit declare their actions okay uh so then I'm lacroix uh, <clears throat> lacroix is going to move a little bit closer herself let me see yeah she, she's gonna move um what like 40 feet right is one turn and then 
And yeah, then I you're can throw dance. my arcane yeah. bolt, and I'll throw my arcane bolt at this one here, the one on the far left, um, the one who's not armed, that I can tell. Oh, okay. I'm gonna put Ola back until shit. Okay, know how to, sorry. How to trigger? Oh yes, I do. Hold on, I got a plan. Oh, I've well, got a plan. You know how to do? The, you know how to do the pointer? That person. <laughs> there you go. Okay. <laughs> okay. Huh? You just gotta clear it out. Sorry. No, that's fine. Okay. okay. <laughs> That's who I thought you meant, but then I was like, I was about to say your left or my left. <laughs> right. Uh, all right. Then uh, who's next? Dakar? Yeah, Dakar. Dakar is going to move and attack. Okay. Just the, the big guy right in front of you with the axe? Uh, I would assume. Yeah. Or the one that's sleeping? No, it'll be the big guy right in front of him. That's still, okay. Still up right. and running. Yeah, okay. And then next, uh, who's next? Can we roll to see how many rounds they slept for? Len? They uh, go it's, for it's, five. it's five rounds per level. Yeah. Okay. So they've been sleeping for one round now. Actually, I got a tracker for that, too. I got a... <clears throat> so there'll be four rounds left after this round. Or... Okay, so then after Dakar is Eric. Same, Probably attacking attack. the same guy. Okay. All right, cool. Stormy? Actually, he doesn't have to move and attack. Right, he can already attack where he's at. Yep. A Stormy will move up to where um, Phil and Johan. Johan? Okay. And how far is that at distance? Yeah, no. That's 10, 20... 30 is about 40 feet. Okay. All right. Next is uh, Phil. Well, Phil is going to move up. Let's see here. Oh, I'm drawn. I don't mean to be. I clicked on something weird. No, that was cool um, what you were doing there, actually. That, I don't that know was... what it was. Okay. <laughs> I don't know either. It's pretty good. Oh, it's how did, how did it's tracking distance. Yeah. yeah. What I'm on is I'm on the uh, doohickey that's a circle with a comb in it. Okay. And then I am on option show to others. Okay. <clears throat> Snap to center. Got it. Okay. Something like cool. comb. Cool. I see. <laughs> oh, that's handy. Um, so then we'll know. Jason. You can measure your move with that real quick. Yeah. Schaefer? So I'm going to nice. come over here and fight. Um, okay. What were you Schaefer? saying, Graham? Schaefer, yeah. um, did you move Stormy like in line with Phil and Johan or behind them? We haven't uh, moved yeah. him yet. Oh, like, we're oh that's right. On our, on our yeah. turn. I, yeah. I, I, we're I'm just... sorry. I'm sorry. No, no, no worries. So we're... who's up? Mm. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead, Jay. I was just going to say we're just we're just um, uh, explaining our actions before we actually do it. Okay. It's so like who's rolling open initiative. To yeah. Who is still open to attack here? Because I'm attacking this guy with LaCroix. And then this person, are they being attacked yet? Oh, I the guy with the don't think anyone. I don't think okay. anyone is. But we can't get close. No enough one's attack, him, but... attacking him yet. I got yeah, a question though. No, no one is. No one has yet. But are these NPCs? Mm -hmm. I mean, are they? Do we know their actions? Oh, do you mean you? Do, am I declaring their actions? You I should. can. Yeah, the... I think that's important, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I mean, oh, it yeah. it kind of kills the players if they aren't doing it. Oh yeah. Okay, I see what you mean. Yeah. Uh, for sure. So we I mean, have to go along the initiative. And they're they're all going to do uh, basically what they did before. I mean, this guy right in front of you, uh, Eric, is going to be fighting you right. and Thor. And 
quite possibly <laughs> Dakar, any one of the three of you in, in melee combat. And then you've got the other two next to him who are sleeping. So it's pretty obvious what they'll be doing. And then the other two <laughs> over sleeping there, on but, the, job. <laughs> the other two with their bow and arrows are going to attack the mob that is close to them. Right. Uh, okay. You know, Eric, Thor and Dakar. So that's what we're looking at. And it's probably from the way everybody's situated, they're either both going to shoot at Eric or one will shoot each at Eric and Dakar. Thor's kind of blocked right, where he's at. Yeah. So who's, uh, okay, I, I, th I think. Can I attack that guy? The guy with the bazooka, is she in range if she moves? One, if I move? If you move I, Phil? Yeah. You mean, uh, let's see, that would be 10, 20, 30, 40. 55 feet. No, you wouldn't, I mean, unless you have a, a ranged weapon. I have a maul, so I can't do that. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you could so throw Phil's your sledgehammer just, at him. <laughs> Phil's just going to move about 20 feet closer then. Okay. All right. And then uh, Phil, Thor. Okay. Imagine Thor. you'll be. Thor's gonna. Um, Thor's gonna move around to um, this uh, around the uh, guy with the axe between the two sleeping guys and attack from behind with his double hand. It's uh, double handed sword. Okay. All right. Yeah. And then uh, Mark was asleep. Who's all left? Johan. Johan's going to uh, put another bullet in the sling and shoot it in the direction where the shooting was coming from. Are you going to get right. any closer, Johan? Um, You're quite a distance maybe it's, away. I'm, oh, uh, well, yeah. I'll, you're about forty feet away from from your target. You've got the two. Uh, I could move up about another twenty feet and then fire. Is that the Johan? two the two people there with their short bows? Okay. Are you yeah. going to fire the guy with the uh, the axe or the people with the short bows? Or the, the with the short one? bows. The short okay. bows. Okay. The man or the girl? The guy that shot me, sneaky snake. <laughs> okay. Sneaky snake. And yeah, so he's, so he's 45, 45. So you'll want to move up a little bit. Yeah, I'll move up 30 feet and then fire. Okay. Are you going to move up 30 feet and then fire? He's 45 feet from you. Yeah, he's 45 feet away. <clears throat> well, I'll, I'll move up. Well, okay. 20 feet and then fire. Okay. All right. So you'll be 25. Depends on feet. the range of the sling. So. It's a sling, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, you were saying that I needed to move up. I, I, I don't have any dis. I, I can't see the what he's got set out. Yeah. I just see blank screens. Um, yeah. Yeah. If I'm in range, I'm just gonna stay there and and fire. Well, if you move up about another fifteen feet, you'll be at short yeah. range, and then you'll get a bonus of plus one to hit. So you could do that. I'm moving up fifth. Thank you. I'll All move right. up fifteen feet. All right, that makes sense. Okay. All right. So let's go for it then. Oala. Arcane. Oh, I'm You're... gonna move up and then do an arcane bolt. So. All I'm right. Move up. Let's see. Um. 40 feet. Okay. Just a moment here. Yep, yeah, right there. Whoops, I gotta switch it. Okay. Boom. And then she's gonna do an arcane bolt. I'll roll a 20. Okay. Boom. 17. Plus, and, then, and let's see, the arcane bolt, it gives me one extra for my AB, so 18. 18. Cool. All right. <coughs> and then roll your damage. Uh, 1d3, right? 1d3. Sure. Yep. Yeah, 1d3. One, one three. 
Or uh, you could roll a d6 and divide by 2. Okay. Round yeah, it down. Yeah, 1d3. Got it. And that's going to be a 5? Yep. Oh, okay, yeah. 5, so that would be a 3. A 3. So okay. 3 damage. Okay. Nice. Cool. She bolted him. Now, why is my... Oh, I see why. I'm on the wrong tool. All right. It kind of like punches him in the chest. You done pissed him off now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Who next. did you get the axe guy? Yeah, the axe guy. Okay. You don't he's have like to the, axe him twice. He's like the biggest <laughs> one of all. The biggest one of all. Okay, uh, good. LaCroix. Okay, so I was going to move up and then yeah. Arcane Bolt. But all I got to right. move my character sheet so I can get to myself. You got to oh, be... I, how do I get back so I can move myself right now every time I try? Or oh, you, oh, you got to go up. You select the arrow tool. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, so she's gonna come up here. Can I hit? You gotta be from here. Well, closer. that has a max range of thirty, and to get uh, no penalty to hit. Really, oh, see, we really should have had twenty-five. Feet. You gotta, you gotta be closer, Oala. That's twenty feet. Yep, twenty feet is where you'd want to be to not have a penalty to hit. Oh, mine was 35 feet. Oala was 35 feet. Yeah, and, and really we should have had so, you move closer. <laughs> like up to like there. But then I couldn't have attacked because that would have been running. I did my full 40 feet. Hmm. So I can't do this either then, can I? You, she was right. Yeah. You, you were where, though? <laughs> Wasn't LaCroix way back here? Like uh, I was behind Phil. Yeah, around there. Um, so you can move 40 feet and, and make an action. Can't, but I can't do Arcane Bolt from here, can I? Yeah. I don't see why not. Yeah, oh, okay. you could, because yeah, if you want to hit the guy with the axe, you're about... 20, 25, 25 feet. 25 feet, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you could do it from there. Okay. All right. Um, so do I roll? Yeah. D6 or D20? Roll a D20, yep. To see how you do. 19. Holy. 19. Whoa. Yeah, that definitely plus hits. Do I get your, a plus? You're a check. Your, your attack bonus. A B. My A B is one, so I got a twenty. So yeah, then that would be twenty. Yep. So that that hits him. Uh, do a D six and divide by two to get your damage. Three. So that'd be uh, two. Very good. Wow. Yeah, this guy's definitely wounded now. You guys are messing him up with your little arcane bolts. <laughs> <clears throat> and the other two are taken out, too. Man. Well, at least temporarily. For now, yeah. All right, next is uh, Dakar. Dakar steps up five feet and makes an attack. All right. We move him up. There, I got him. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, lucky roll, lucky roll. I'm going to put a, no, I'm have to put a, a five. I got a five. Roll. Oh, got a five. shoot. Yeah, <laughs> hey, that's 20, 15 and five. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> you rolled a 20. Okay. Five is a whiff. All right, he stumbles a little bit over his shoestring and misses. He's definitely not drizzled. No, not quite. Not yet. Close, though. All right, then we got well, Eric next, I believe, right? Yes. Uh, 
Eric's next. Yep. yep. Eric's turn. Yeah, he's just going to take a swipe at that guy. All right. You only get one attack, right? Yep. One Even attack. You got two, two actions. All right. Hold on. Yeah. Now, if you specialize, you can get extra attacks later on. Okay. So. A 10, 10 plus 3, I think. You got a AC of, AC of 13. I got an AB of plus 3. Yeah, well, you hit. That's what you needed. All right. So you roll your D10 for, right? You're using a two handed sword, right? No. Oh, what are you using? Long sword. Long sword. So D8. Six plus. Plus two. Plus my strength bonus. I think it's plus one, ain't it? I think two, isn't it? Or maybe I'm no. I think you're right. I think it's yep one. It's plus one. Okay. So seven, seven. points. Seven. Okay. And then what? That that knocks him down. And he's. What's the rules about a, a tax of opportunity? Oh, never mind. I don't even have to worry about that, do I? Um, as far as like the sleeping people. Yeah. You can just execute them if you want. I mean, so I'm you don't have about, to roll anything if that's what you want to do. Because I was going to run past him in this round anyway. But um, yeah, I'm going to move up to these guys and put them in melee range. Hmm. That way, they can't. What is your they'll be at a dis. They'll be at a disadvantage. Okay. If they right. want to fire their bows anymore. Let's see. No, I was wondering about attacks of opportunity because if they try to move away from me, can I get an oh attack God. of opportunity on them? Oh, um, okay. Like as far as breaking off of melee combat, right? Kind of like the third edition rules of D and D. Okay, the the way that works, I have it here. Um, one second. If they if. <laughs> If if two people are engaged in combat, they're within five feet of each other, um, and one of them turns and runs away, the other one can just take a free parting shot with a plus two to hit. Uh, if they want to disengage and basically spend a round doing nothing but defense, right? then they can get away without that parting shot. Okay. Um, so it's I don't pretty know. much the same as the third edition stuff. It boils down to how much of a hurry are you in, really, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> or whether or not you can take a hit. Right. All right, so where were we? Uh, who's, uh, let's see, Eric Stormy will be up Stormy's next. Stormy's going to move up to yeah. where um, Johan and Phil were. Right. Okay. But kind of behind that. yep okay i already kind of moved her up there but yeah okay yeah okay let's see phil <clears throat> is up okay phil phil are you with us yeah i'm here are you uh, okay out? no Oh. <laughs> no, I'm just moving shit around. I got LaCroix up. I was kind of zoning for a second. Okay. <laughs> I'm, right. here. I'm with you. I'm here. I'm with you. Okay, so Phil is... Uh, got so much shit on my board. Okay. I know the feeling. I've got... A book in my lap. I I've got find him. Uh, stuff on the okay. table in front of me. <laughs> stuff on All the... right. He's oh, going to move up and attack. Um, well, he can't quite attack, but he moves up more. That's yeah. That's about all he can move up. Yeah, maybe. Can he move up like that far, maybe? You can kind move of, up. You well, can do a double. If all you're going to do is move, you can run. I don't want to get close enough where I can get hit. <clears throat> Thank you. Okay. So no, I'm you're on a tent. <laughs> Position yourself to where you can attack next time. Basically, is what yeah. you're trying to do. Yeah. 
<clears throat> All right. Well, here, let me move you off the tent, though. There. Unless you want to st- stomp their tent. I don't know. <laughs> stomp the tent! I mean, you could. <laughs> it's like one of those pup tents, you know, where somebody just lays in it and there's you know, no. there's, only, there's only like room for one person really or two I'll people move. if they two oh, people okay. if they lay right on each other but okay i suggest if they're light enough we take the tents with us yeah Absolutely. that's a good idea that's what i was thinking too oh well, yeah, we'll you take could. everything we can <laughs> if you think you get, we think have to survive away. first yeah <laughs> if you end up if you're getting away we'll see what happens here <laughs> all right so phil's in position thor Thor's gonna you're gonna, move yeah, here. We're, I'll move him, and then um, I'm attacking the guy with the axe who's already dead. Yeah, but we don't need we don't need to roll that. <laughs> I'm rolling it anyway. I want to see how see, I do. See how mutilated yeah. the body. Is. I mean, if you wanted to to uh, to oh, roll yeah. it, you could, okay. and and then depending on how high you roll. Determine how much blood splashes onto you. Okay. <laughs> so who's next? Mark Depends. Are you the priest of a war uh, god or not? Uh, <laughs> no, not a priest. All right. Next is the young lady with the short bow. Okay. I thought Thorvald was a priest. Oh, no. Phil is a priest. Th- Thor- a, Thorvald Thor's is a, a fighter. fighter. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Thor- Thor- was he a priest fighter. before I messed him up? No, he was a fighter. Was? He was okay. a fighter. Sorry about that, Jay. No, don't be. You 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 I, allowed I, me a re-roll, and part of that was my error because I told Jason to open it up to the public and uh, just allow me to edit. So anyway, but <laughs> it, but I'm in a better spot, so. All uh, right, the young well, lady. Help, then. The young lady in front of Eric pulls her dagger from her belt and tries to stab him. This guy with chainmail and a shield <laughs> <laughs> coming at her. She's like, "Screw you!" <laughs> and she rolls a. Oh, I gotta move the freaking turn tracker. There, maybe I can do it that way. And she misses. Pretty mean little one, ain't she? Yeah. All right. This guy is no longer taking a turn. Johan. Johan. Right. You'll be up, Johan. I moved up 15 feet and I All rolled. Right. And I rolled. Hold a nine. <laughs> A nine. I rolled a nine. He's a first level fighter, so attack one. And Ooh, does he have like the, a dexterity uh, strength, bonus? Uh, no, he's got an eleven. Okay. For dexterity, so. Okay. No, wait. You were attacking with what weapon? The the sling. The sling. Right. Okay. I moved up fifteen feet, so I'm in short range. I get a plus one for All that. Right. You said. So you missed. And I rolled close, a nine. Yeah. Yeah, he nearly hit, but not quite. And then next we go back up to Oala. Tell us what your next action is going to be. Um, Oala is going to was going to move. Was actually attacking the guy with the axe as well. So she. Oh she no! This is the new. This is a new car. round. Oh, a this new is a round. new round. Okay. Yep. She's going to yep. move um, closer, and then arcane bolt the woman. This lady. Okay. Sounds good. Uh, LaCroix, what are you going to do? LaCroix is going to... I can't do Arcane Bolt again, right? You only get one You can No, you can do Arcane Bolt all day. Oh, shit. Then I'm going to Arcane Bolt again. Um, but this time I'm going to do the guy right there. Okay. Can I do it from this far away, or will See, I have to move? Let me let me check your distance here real quick. You are forty feet. Okay, so that's too far away. You can. So I'd move uh, like twenty feet. Go thirty like feet. Yeah, you could move a little bit up and then do it. Okay. That's fine. <clears throat> okay, right. and then Dakar. 
the car is moving up with Eric. Towards, okay. Um, the guy on the right. Yeah. Kind of like that. Okay. All right. And then uh, Eric. Oh, wait. No, the other guys are. Oh, I'll tell you what they're doing. The bad guys, Len and Snake. Okay. Sleeping guy's going to sleep. <laughs> uh, the, <laughs> Sorry. The two that had the short bows are both pulling daggers out and they're going to attack Eric okay. since he's right in front of them. And Eric's going to attack him back. All right. And then Stormy, what you going to do? Um, I am going to cast shield upon myself and move up to where Eric is and in line with him. And um, if I'm close enough to, well, no, I'm, I'm casting shield and moving up to where Eric is. Okay. You can get to like 10 feet away from him. If you want. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. Approximately. Well, yeah, and casting shield. Oh, well, that's pretty right. tricky because there's a tent there. I mean, you can get up. You can get up closer to him, maybe within 15, 20 feet of him. Um, but yeah, you can do that and cast shield. No problem. Okay. So then, Phil, what are Phil you going to do? Phil is going to you... move up to. This guy and smashed okay. him over the head with my wait. maul. <clears throat> That's the girl. Wait, okay. You, you <laughs> said, wait, you said that you said that there was a tent. There um, is in, yeah. in line there, from there where are, well, right, four tents. But tents. there was a tent in line between where Stormy is and where Eric and the two yes. people are fighting. That's right. Well, yeah. could I uh instead move and get into one it, just enter into that tent sure you do okay that. well that'll be my move stormy that'll gonna be go my take move. a nap huh yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> i'm just gonna this go in one and... strange encounter okay that's funny well <laughs> okay. you never know who knows yeah. what could be in the tent yeah could be a hot guy in there you know waiting for a, a lady to pop in anyway i guess so it you never happen. know well let's a, see could be a potion of invisibility could be hey now <laughs> <laughs> don't <Maybe>. tease <laughs> could be spiders in there <laughs> yeah, yeah spiders if i could have a secret power that's what i'd want it to be Invisibility? Yeah, be invisible. Yeah. I think it would turn me into a serious asshole. Me like, too. But I'm I would be I would become a villain. Know? I mean, I just yeah. I'd be like, fuck everybody. I'm gonna do whatever I want now. Exactly. You know, that's, <laughs> that's, that's why I want want the face. For good. Yeah. Just walking through the store punching people in the face, you know, just yep, fuck I'd all you people. Piss on them, just whatever, you know. <laughs> randomly yank people's pants down and knock their glasses off and things like that. Just you wouldn't fun. use your powers for good. I would take flowers and hand them to little old ladies. Sure. See that that's that's how evil I would be. I would use my powers for good publicly so I could get praise and, and mm -hmm. adoration and stuff, but then in secret I would do all kinds of it's, bad it's things. Kind of like so. you in real life. Yeah. Pretty much. Yep. yep. Super villain. What was the one? Uh, dang it! What's that show? The Boys. That Captain America style character. I don't know that one. Um, no, Homeland I never saw that. Homelander. Homelander. Yep. Never watched it. Well, he acts like huh. a lawful good paladin on the surface, but then you know he destroys planes if he's you know, <laughs> saving people, and you know, so he's actually like chaotic evil. But oh man. Give somebody un unrestricted power and yes, yeah, dreams. Yeah, he has dreams while giving a speech of just laser eye beaming everybody in the crowd. Yeah. <laughs> but then he realizes he's, he can't do that. I always yeah. wanted Darth Vader's force choke ability to like <laughs> be able to choke somebody from across the room. Yeah. Yeah. Arcane <clears throat> bolt him in the throat. That's it. Yeah, that's it. All right, who who we got left? Just, See, I would uh, use with Stormy and what Thor is Thor in there? No, I would use Thor, my invisibility power for good. 
Thor, what are you I would, doing? All those people that cut me off in line. Yeah, I'd knock them off. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill, kill the, uh, I'm gonna kill the guy in in front of me, the blonde. Okay, all right, put him out of his misery. Yeah, and then I'm also gonna move uh, over by the um, the blonde guy uh, with the. I don't know his name with the bazooka, and it and it just move right next to him. I think I that's him. snake. Snake. So you're gonna you're gonna attack this the sleeping one that you're standing by. Actually, I'm gonna attack the sleeping one, and I'm just well, gonna that'll stay wake there. him up. I'm just gonna stay there. Well, it'll kill him. I mean, you oh, can kill cool. him. You can kill a sleeping person. It's okay. yeah. It's called a coup de gras. Yeah. It's rude. It's well, rude. So, right? <laughs> At least they're not. It doesn't. It it. He's not gonna wake up. Yeah, so it's, you hope not. it's really rude, but it's highly efficient. Yes. Right. Oh, fine. Just kill the poor person. I'm gonna slice his throat. All right, and then Johan. Johan is sling. going to do another sling bolt at right. uh, at Sneaky Snake. Sneaky Snake. All right. Or did Sneaky oh, Snake move up towards oh, Eric? Was Sneaky Snake one of the ones that moved up to Eric? Uh, Eric moved up to him. Okay, okay. So he's got two of the uh, enemies on him, and Sneaky Snake is one of them. Yes. The only two that are awake, okay. yes. All right. So he's probably not in clear range. If I can get, um, if I can move over a ways... Uh, how far am you, I? You could you you could move to where you got a, a cleaner shot. You are. Let me see. Okay, so you're thirty feet away from Snake now. I could I could uh, make a run and swing my sword. All right. Yeah, you could do that. That that'll. I'm work. gonna do that. Yeah, I'm just gonna no uh, put my sling in my other hand. I don't have any more bolts in my hand, so. And I'll do that. All right. Let's do some rolling. Uh, Awala. Okay. So let me move her out. Go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 30. Um, and boom. And she's attacking the girl. Right, okay. With arcane bolt. Let me roll my 20. <clears throat> All right. Boom. I got a seven. Seven. Plus one. Okay. Eight. So eight. Okay. And that's against the AC of 11, so not quite. Okay. All right. LaCroix. All right. LaCroix was going to go boom. Arcane bolt. Um, All right. To this one, to the lady. All right. To the lady. You so got do it. I roll? Roll a d20. D20. And add your attack bonus. what I get? So 10 plus one. plus one, right? Okay, and so 11. 11, and that hits. All right. All right. So then roll a d6. Divide by two. And divide by two, three. so three. Three so. damage. All right. Nice. Damn. Punched in the head with an arcane bolt. <laughs> Damn. Dakar is next. All right. What you got, Dakar? He's moving up and attacking. Moving up and attacking the snake, snake. right? Yep. All right. There we go. Okay. Or if you want to spread out a little... Right next to Eric, you think? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Way. All right. Huh. D29. Your AB is... Is it one or two? I think it's one. I think it's one. One. Yeah, one. Okay. So that's a three. All right. So that misses. Okay. Next is... Let's see. This guy, I got to... If she had any kind of armor, I would have missed. Change his counter. 
Yeah, he had 11 AC, and you had a you would roll a 10, so it was close. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, where am I at? Oh, it's getting late, man. Right after the car. Isn't it stormy? Thank you. We've got so many characters. We might have to scale this back to one character for a player. I don't know. No, that this is fun. I like it. It just takes time, you know. Yeah. And it, it's we're getting better at the system, but it'll get better. Len is the bad guy who's sleeping. Okay, Snake is the bad guy who's awake. Snake attacks Eric with his dagger. Where's my dice roller? Rolls a 10. That's not going to hit Eric. Eric's nope. got a 16 AC. Okay, so that misses. And then Eric gets an attack. All right, and he's attacking him back. All right. Big money, big money, come on. 17, <laughs> yes. Look at that. Woo, Woo bam, that hit him good. All right. And then long sword, right? So D8. Yes, sir, plus one. Plus one, okay. Okay. Four, five damage. Five. Nice. Johan wants a crack at Snake. <laughs> wow. Actually, snake some snake for me. There's not much snake left to crack at. He falls He's to the dead. ground. Yeah, a big red X appears over top of him. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a good sign. <laughs> okay. Uh, that was Eric Stormy. You're Stormy's up. just gonna run to the first tent that she can get into. That's right. You're getting into the tent. Okay. There's one Boom. to the. Oh, there you go. Perfect. Okay, you get into the tent. You see uh, there's like blankets and clothes and a backpack. I'm going to start looking through the backpack while melee is continuing. All right. Well, you're looking to make a perfect rogue. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, you do see, among other things, you can tell there's there's a decent amount of coins in there and uh, yeah. yeah it looks like you know personal effects um mm -hmm. and there are some there's a coiled up piece of rope and uh there are some individual bags in there it'd take you some time to go through it but uh i don't see any musical instruments no no nothing okay. like that in there and so looking through the blankets or anything like that just one bag huh one backpack yeah Okay. Um, I'm going to stay in the tent for now. Okay. Are you going to acquire the backpack? Uh, probably. Okay. That's I would right. say that since nobody's probably watching you in the tent, if you want to, you can take that gold. Oh, Whatever yeah. Whatever kind of coinage it is. <laughs> I'm I mean, you know, I'm just, just say, no just one say would I've, had be the wiser. It, I've had it the whole time, you know? Yeah. Um, I'm just. It uh, depends. It depends on how you want to play your character. You yeah. Um, and I never declared to the group uh, what kind of character <laughs> I am. You know, you don't um, have to. I'm just I'm just this chick that has a quarterstaff and a cloak. <laughs> and um, you guys know that she's into herbalism. And that's all you know. <laughs> so oh, she's just this chick that likes herbs. Um, so she's just going to hang out in the tent for now. All right. Cover up with the blankets and get comfortable. Yeah, right. No, yeah. no, just uh, hang out okay. in the tent for now. All right, Phil, you're up. Okay. Phil is the... going to, yep, wham, swing at the head with his maul of the chick. Oh, my gosh. This defenseless young girl. And no, she's, she's not defenseless. Roll a d20. A d20. She's trying to stab party members to death. With she is. I got yeah. 18. 18. This girl's in trouble now. Plus, so your damage is a d10. D10. Nice. Oh, yeah. Your plus one attack bonus makes it a 19. So, yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. And why aren't you in the front line? Because I protect she's LaCroix. Not. She's my, my lady. My 84-year-old lady. <laughs> like grandmother I too. keep her safe. All right, so give oh. us uh, your damage roll, Kebby. Right. 
D10 for the mall. D10 for the mall. And then add your strength bonus, which well, is tell one, you what. one, right? <laughs> one. <laughs> hey, you did two points of damage. Uh, and my strength bonus. But I can come out and fight more. Yeah, um, you and LaCroix are very much more likely to die if we die first. Yeah, so, true that. So keeping us alive is important to you. True that. This is the discussion right. we're going to have after this battle. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize we had a fighter hiding in the back lines. Yeah, <laughs> I've been hiding back there. Well, I'm not a fighter. That's not my. Um, Are you? A I'm cleric a cleric. Yeah, I'm a cleric. I mean, you're, a level a level it. one a level one cleric is just as good a fighter almost as a fighter, though. I mean, yeah, I'm, yeah. Unless the religious. Mm -hmm. Do they still get the D8 uh, hit die? It's a D6. Okay, so it's different than D&D. &D. Yeah, they're not quite as good a fighter as a fighter, but Did you see close. the monk? The monk? <laughs> the monk character? Oh, wow. Yeah, That's that looked... wild. I, I I love it. I mean, I immediately I said this has to be nerfed a little bit because that's a little too much, but um, but I like it. He can he fights better with his hands than he does with a weapon. Yeah. Yeah, I'd like somebody to play one if you if you roll the right stats for one, that'd be awesome. It's uh, not really uh, my thing, but. Or I could make an NPC else. monk. Who's next? Sure. Let's see. Um, oh, it's Thor, right? Thor. Thor. Thor is going to uh, to slice the throat of the blonde <laughs> guy. Okay. And uh, stand his ground. And he's he's gonna slice right. his throat and say, "You will die with my dying." Dang. Is he the last one alive? No. No, there's you've got one other... more. There's one more sleeping. The I guy in what, the pajamas. Tie, tie him up if you can, man. Tie him up. He's dead. Oh, tie up the next guy. Yeah. Okay. Tie up the guy that's unconscious. Gotcha. Yeah, they can't answer any questions if they're dead. How true. <laughs> <laughs> you know where the loot is? Yeah, that would be a good question. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. We'll let you live if you tell us. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh... <laughs> you silly. All right. So next Remember, is. Remember, interrogation is always better when uh, death is on the line. Uh -huh. Oh, good. Well, probably valid there. I see why we were friends on the ship there, Eric. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Okay, so next is uh, the girl here um, by Phil. Okay. She, she attacks Eric. Again? Oh, yeah. no. Okay. What was her name, that bitch? Karina. 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 Because Eric always uh, attracts all the female attention. And she misses. Yep. All right, and then next we've got Johan. Johan is moving to uh, engage in sword play with Snake. Yes. Right. And he swings. Isn't Snake already and... dead? Yeah, Snake is already dead. But Johan okay. still moved, moved over well, there anyway. Um, he's going to go over there. Is he... Uh, Hold on, I'm trying to see. Well, what, let me figure out what path you're taking here. Where are you going to end up? One second here. Because you've got, you've got room right there. Yeah, you could get around there. Okay. Yeah. Well, we'll say you just get up there. I mean, there's not, there's not really a way. Else to do. Every, well, yeah, everybody's kind of crowded right now. It's so crowded. You can get right up I'll in there, though. Get up yeah. into the battle. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'll do that and defend. All right. Okay. Next round. Yeah, so we're back at the top of the round with Owala. Owala is got... going to arcane bolt the the uh, lady again. Okay. 
This is round four. Karina. Give us a, give us a D20. No, wait. <coughs> We're just declaring our actions. Declaring La actions. LaCroix. LaCroix. LaCroix is going to Arcane Bolt. Let me move my dice roller and see who's alive still. You got um, sleeping you just guy, got this girl and a sleeping guy. Yeah, and, we're yeah. In, and, and Eric, you know, declared not to kill the sleeping guy. Tie him up. Uh, oh, gotcha. All right. Um, thank you for reminding me. So, Arcane Bolt, the girl. All right. And blood to cover. around here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dakar, what you gonna do? Well, are we tying the sleeping guy up or what? Well, yeah. you can do that if if you want to tie him up. I have okay, some rope. Dakar's Dakar's gonna tie him up. Okay. okay. He's gonna grab the rope from um who is it, Thor? Yeah, let me make sure he has the rope. Okay. Either I way, know. I know someone has rope. Let's yeah, I know crowd. somebody does. I'm not sure who, but yeah. No, he doesn't have the rope, but you can grab the rope from Ol Olala. Yep, okay. she's got hemp rope, 50 feet. Okay. All right, so I'm going to grab the rope from her. Okay, that'll work. That and then there. Eric? Eric is, uh, do they have grappling? Um, you mean or do you want to use that right now? You mean hand to hand uh, combat, like unarmed, unarmed combat? Yes, they like do. Grapple. Yeah, yeah, actually, yeah, um, we can do yep, it. I've I've got that written out, and okay, it's well, maybe... one to three is a punch, is one to three damage. It's subduing damage, all of okay. it, uh, and a kick is one to four. All right, and is there and a punch is one to three. Is there awesome. any negative uh, attributes to that as far as attack? Probably goes? strength. Okay. Well, yeah, I'm going to physically attack this person without a weapon. Okay. Attempting to knock him unconscious. All right. We could do that. And then, Stormy, what will you do? Stay in the tent? Um, <laughs> kid, well, I... I'm going to try to get out as quick as I can and move into the next tent. Yeah, these tents are all together, so you're in tent two. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Now, now, yeah. I'll go, now I'll go into the next tent. All right. And then Phil. What you going to do, Phil? Phil's going to swing. Boom. All right. I did dice. Coming out. We're just declaring. We're just uh, declaring. Uh, damn, I got excited. Yeah. Well, that's Thor. good. We didn't want to declare your two. No, we don't. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. All right, what's what's Thor doing? Uh, Thor is going to uh, move next to the girl and try to swing at her. Okay. And on her turn, she's just going to try to evade you guys and back off she looks pretty seriously wounded uh johan what are you gonna um, do and johan is over there where the girl is mm. and phil yeah. and okay um i'm gonna try to do a subduing maneuver with um punch all right to the girl you can kind of squeeze in between the tent <laughs> and the girl. And they say and never, that no, never hit a girl unless she's trying to kill you with a dagger. Well, yeah, well, yeah. And then uh, yeah, everything's well, on the table. You, then. you know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. I'm. That's why I'm trying to subdue her. I know. I'm just joking. All right, Oala, you're up. Okay. <clears throat> Arcane bolt to the girl. Yeah. And I'm rolling a. D20, boom, and D20. what do I got? 18. 18 plus one. It hits. And then it's a D3. D3. And a 2, which is one. One. And one damage. You know what? That was enough to put her over. Okay. So she's falling. Nice. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. All right. 
Good combat, guys. Yeah, we, none, of that, us, uh, none of us went down. We got lucky. Now you you got this uh, Chuck guy here that you're tying up. Yep. Okay. How are you gonna tie him? Like just hands behind the back, or like hog tie him? Or <laughs> there's, there's lots of ways you could do it. You could tie him to a tree. I was thinking about that. Drug him over, but actually, you don't have much time left of him being asleep. You better just do yeah, it. Yeah, we've got we've got, we're, in round, <laughs> we're in round four. And I was just gonna say, row. yeah, start with the hands and feet. All right. Well, you get his hands and feet tied together, and uh, he starts rolling his rolling his head around a little bit, and slowly, kind of w fluttering his eyelids. And <clears throat> he's awake now. He hasn't said anything, but I mean, he's just kind of realizing to... realizing what's going on. Door and he looks. To... He's like in shock. <laughs> Thor would like to um, put his double-handed sword across his neck lightly. Keep him in the one one place. Yeah. All right. Remember, we're trying he to looks... keep him alive for right now. Yeah. Yeah. Now, are there still right. two more? Are there still two more sleeping, um, sleeping bad guys? Well, no, there's no sleeping ones. I mean, there was, there were two that were asleep. The one just woke up. The other one's been killed. Oh, someone so, killed him. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it was Thor. Right. Thor got okay. bloodthirsty. So, <laughs> and, his throat. Um, so there were five altogether of these opponents. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I I have no. Uh, I don't have anything on my screen, so I okay. can't see you guys. I, I, so uh, that's why no I problem. ask kind oh. of goof, goofy questions. No, no problem. Um, uh, um, okay. Um, well, then we still have one alive, and we can interrogate him. Yeah. So yep. that's good to know. Good to know. We need I thought maybe there were. Defense. Or two people. Maybe yeah. two people together Eight. to search the tents to keep each other honest. Yeah, that's true. Um, yeah, Stormy it took that bag, that backpack, and went in and it's gonna check uh the second tent. Okay. Well. Yeah. Oala wants to uh to search the, the guy with the axe, I guess. If she's standing right next to him. Okay. So I mean, you guys are going to search all these guys, I assume. So yeah, I, search I can just, the guys, uh, search I mean, the tents. Yeah, 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 yeah the tents sure. first. <clears throat> yeah. I mean, I can just tell you what you come up with all in all in one list, basically. That'd be cool. Yeah. Mm, yeah. The dead guy I sliced his throat. We just need to know okay. anything special. Yep. Yeah. The... Okay. Well, while while you're searching around and stuff, uh, the guy who's tied up. He kind of looks around at you guys and he said, "Why are you here? Why why did you do this?" For the, for, for the loot. Thor says, "For the loot." The L -U -T -E. loot. Are you, yeah, yeah, the loot. <laughs> we want the loot. Oh, you think we have a loot, do you? Well, if I did have it, I wouldn't tell you where it was. <laughs> and I press the, All right. the sword a little Should bit. Should I try to charm it? Actually, actually, let me get this, Thor. <laughs> I take pick, my sword away. I'm going to pick him up and carry him over by the campfire. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. It takes well. some hot, hot coals. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, he he realizes what you're doing, and he starts kicking and screaming. <laughs> Thor laughs. Go ahead, and, go ahead and shove his head in the dirt a couple times. Oh my god! Yeah, he just kind of spits and mutters some words, and uh, 
He says, what are you going to do to me? What do you want? Information. You could make this really easy. We just want some information. All right. What do you want to know? We want to know. Obviously, you know about this loot. Well, there was a loot here. It belonged to one of my friends. Was it a and special loot? Might have been. Do you know where he got it from? I've heard rumors. Heard that he stole it. Stole it from where? From when? from from that uh, from that singer. That what's his name? Boba Fett. <laughs> George Lucas is going to sue you now. Or Disney. Yeah, you're Disney. in trouble yeah. there, Liz. Boba something. I don't care about him. <laughs> Wasn't it Boba Steel? Yeah, it was Boba Steel. <laughs> but this guy doesn't know that. He's just, this dude doesn't know what his real name is. But uh, <clears throat> I mean, you, you can smell some liquor on his breath as he's talking. So. Well, my who is my this friend, friend had of the yours, loot. and where would he be? Oh, he's like a ghost. In fact, that's why we call him Ghost. And where would he be? Well, he could be anywhere by now. He left here with that loot. As soon as we saw you guys coming. Oh man! All right. Uh, Johan let's will. Let's start oh, with ahead. the fingers. <laughs> yeah, and Johan we'll comes closer. We have some. Um, Olala goes up to um, Eric and says, "Why don't we give him some?" And she says this in a very cynical way: "Some zombie flesh." <laughs> Eat it. <laughs> and she. I don't know if we can make him eat it. Yeah, that's true. You yeah, could try. try. Yeah. Wouldn't that be yeah. wasting your zombie flesh? <laughs> oh, I has got a lot of it. Yeah. She pulls okay. out. She pulls out a. Um... Yeah, and you fill up fill up some sacks with it. Yeah. Stormy yeah. did. Uh, yeah, that's Oala, right. Oala, I think, a filled up all snacks. her filters. Seven. Yeah, seven bottles. Oh, wow. Yeah. Or vials, I should say. All right. And she, what do you guys think? she pulls one out and, <laughs> and empties the vial and shoves it right into his mouth. I don't know how to search hey. for a guy that can't be seen. Ah, search for a guy that can't be seen. We're going to have to figure that one out. <laughs> this whole magic user thing is beyond me. He might not be magic. He might just be a real good thief. Okay. Well, the guy, uh, Marco, isn't too keen on you shoving strange substances into his mouth keep his mouth he's closed. Closed. he's, no. he's... <laughs> keep his mouth closed so that he can't spit it out and he's okay and maybe eric can help me out with that alala says <laughs> keeping his mouth closed after hearing what stormy said yeah i think we can work on that <laughs> okay. Thor laughs again. I am going to. Let's see. We're going to do some d20 rolls here. Okay. <laughs> For okay, who's doing? Who's doing the feeding? <laughs> Thor Olala. or Ohala? Yeah. All right. You're going to want somebody strong. Uh, does she have I a good got, strength? What's her strength? I mean, because Johan, you're trying to got a 17. force something yeah. into somebody's mouth, 13. you're going to have to be strong enough to pull their jaw open. Thirteen. Johan, I try to and charm she's she's strong. Yeah, that's definitely strong yeah, enough. Charm, I mean, charm is good. Actually, why don't we do this? Why don't I just cut his finger off and you can shove it in there while I'm cutting his finger? Off. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you first. 
Oh my god. Okay. Seriously, you're gonna cut his finger off? We'll start with the little one. Say the word. Shoving the the zombie flesh in his mouth. He'll be screaming. It'll work. <laughs> yes. <Yeah>. Open <laughs> up. Say ah. Uh, uh, man. Okay. He finally just gives up and he eats the stuff. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing he can do. He realizes, you know, he's. Yeah, he's just kind of extending his lifespan by a couple he's of just minutes. Breaking down. All right. While we're waiting oh, he... for the zombie flesh to kick in, Stormy's going to keep going through the tents. Okay. You're going through the tents and. Uh, you're finding pouches with coins. Um, okay, definitely and, great. And there's, I mean, gold, silver, and copper coins. Okay. Um, and you found some arrows. There's some extra arrows in the tents. Mm -hmm. um, but beyond that, it's just like it's like camping stuff, and you know, just like personal gear. Okay. Nothing really spectacular. Um, and I'll and I'll tell everybody that. Yeah, if it's like if you wanted to like haul it all away, it's going to be pretty cumbersome. Yeah, because um, we're carrying gear ourselves. You've already got your own gear. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but we'll if you're just take the tents and if you mm -hmm. wanted to, for you know, out. like all the coins and then, mm -hmm. well, you search the when you're searching the bodies too, you find that the the girl had. Uh, a little bottle with some mysterious liquid in it. It's like a little glass bottle, brown glass. And it's got a liquid in it that doesn't smell very good. It smells like it could be toxic, maybe. Um, could any of our magic users possibly you can, identify? You can smell it. You can smell it through the cork. Um, magic users... Well, magic they... users can detect magic, mm -hmm. um, and they they don't detect magic on this. Okay. Well, if it was a poison, you think she would have used it? You'd think so, yeah. Yeah. Not if it has to be ingested. Mm. Well, that's true. Yeah. Worth taking. Yeah, okay. maybe yeah, somebody so. else can identify it for us. Yeah, yeah. Maybe somebody uh, with herbalism could look at it and see if they can figure something out. Well, I have herbalism intelligence. Yeah, hey, hey, LaCroix. So, can I take a look at it? You could, roll. well, you, you, could, you could make a roll uh, on your herbalism skill and see if you have it. It wouldn't tell you exactly what this is, but you might recognize, like, say, the smell of a certain plant, and it might give you a clue to what it could be. You know? Well, what when do you I see, roll? Before you roll, in the bottom right-hand corner, right. see where it says as in your name? If you hit that drop-down, you can select your character, and they'll, they'll show that your character rolled, you know, what your character rolled. Oh, okay. Or said. Do I roll a d20 or a d6? Or It'd be a, a d20. Okay. And then... Does it subtract nine. two? LaCroix rolls a nine. Okay. Now, what you want to look at is your intelligence. What's your intelligence on your character sheet? Her intelligence is a... One moment. I'm scrolling. 16. 16. Okay. So it's intelligence minus two, so that'd be 14. So you'd need to roll a 14 or less on a d20. And I, and I did. And you did. Okay. So looking at and smelling this uh, this liquid, you would say that it, it's uh, it's poisonous for sure. You You recognize the smell of a particular plant that you know is used to make poisons. And it is most likely a, a one that you would ingest. Oh. Uh, it's like too thin and watery to be used as like a contact. You know, it would just like roll off of whatever you poured it on. But um, it's not sticky. But it looks like a poison that you would ingest. Yeah. 
Okay. All right, so you've, you've got this this guy tied up, and he's, he's starting to have the effects of the uh, zombie flesh. So he's just kind of moaning and kind of rolling his head around a little bit. And he doesn't seem to know what's going on. And I took the zombie flesh, uh, that vial, off my... Um, my character sheet and I added an okay. empty vial to my vial All board. Right. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay. Yeah, so this poor guy's just kinda out of his out of his mind right now. He's tied up. And oh wait, and didn't we hear a wolf earlier? Yeah, he did. Yeah, a while ago. It could have been a wolf and it could have been a signal. We don't know. And Oala says, Could have been anything. says to him, who is ghost? Who yeah. is ghost? As it's kicking <laughs> in. <laughs> All right. He, yeah, he doesn't, he doesn't answer you. He's, uh, you can't even tell if he's noticed that, that you were saying anything. He's just kind of spacing out. I'm going to stand in front. Johan's going to stand in front of him and uh, move his sword around and kind of just, you know, swing it around in front of him because he remembers that things moved when um, uh -huh. when they were on the zombie flesh, yeah. when they ate the zombie flesh. So to do that and yeah. then see if it has any kind of a... Well, when, when he sees you uh, bringing the sword towards him, he just kind of like lays back and rolls over, like face down on the ground. Oh. Like he just kind of like doesn't want to see you. <laughs> like, you might have scared like, him. Well, he's like, yeah, he's like defenseless and tied up and he's like hallucinating and stuff. So, it, and he sees you coming at him with a sword, you know. So, I mean, his reaction is to kind of like curl up in a ball basically and face the okay. ground, like. Okay. You I'll know, like it, off. just like it's a bear attack or something. You know, like there's nothing I'll you can do. Off. I'll <laughs> back off. I'll back off. And um, yeah, we'll just need to keep questioning them slowly All right. and calmly. <clears throat> All right. Well, you, yeah, you kind of wait, and he he's uh, just sitting there shaking. He kind of sits back up and looks around at y'all. We won't He's, hurt. What do you, you want? What do you want? Go away! <laughs> Tell us where we can find a ghost. I don't know. He went into the trees. I needed myself. Oh my He's God. in the trees. He's in the trees. In the trees. Do you hide in the trees? Me? Yes, you. I'm tied up. Phil starts looking up in the trees around us to see if yeah. maybe the guy is hidden up there with the loot. <laughs> <laughs> Do I see anything wanna, in the trees, Jason? <laughs> um, not in the not like in the immediately surrounding ones. I mean, there's nothing immediately visible up there. Okay. Um, you you are you know you're in like a clearing of a forest so I mean there are trees in every direction more or less gotcha. and you could, this I mean you could search more trees if you wanted to go further in in one direction yeah but we're in um, the dark we'd have to split up and all that stuff well if and we I'm cast fan out <laughs> random, if we cast sleep in random areas out there's a chance we might hit it and it just falls he falls out of the tree because he's asleep you know i was thinking that a couple seconds ago yeah it's worth a but, shot <laughs> but you gotta sleep right yeah after you cast it you gotta learn it again oh right, but i don't can't. well Jake, but i'm the only one who cast ball. it Someone hold on well it. how many how many spells per day do you get your lacroix let's see lacroix 
You're a level one, but yeah, but you get a bonus. Yeah, is it two? I thought she was I... level two. No, no level no. two is my um Phil. She's just level one. Well, Christ, the old lady. Level one. See, you probably get bonus spells for your intelligence, but it's not written down on your character sheet, though. Um, I thought it was written down. I don't know. I could have swore. I think I get. We did. That. We did that. We I did. Thought. We did. Yeah, I don't know. It got erased. I guess. Oh, uh, I doubt. Well, here, I got it. I got it. Here, I got the. Um, I doubt if he was up in a tree that he's still hanging out watching us torture his buddy. So you've got a, yeah. a 16 intelligence, so you'd get two more bonus first level spells. Nice. Per day. So you have okay. three spells all together. See, this game, they do that. Like, D&D used to do it for clerics with wisdom, and I always thought they should do it for wizards, too, but they didn't. But they can choose any spell to, cho to cast, correct? Yeah. Spells, yeah. yeah. Well, 5th edition does that, but 3rd edition oh. didn't. Uh -huh. As far as Dungeons and Dragons is concerned. Well, um, we know uh, Johan's going to kneel down and then he's in front of Marco. He doesn't know Marco's name yet, but he's going to ask him what his name is. Oh, okay. And so he's asking... Oh, we're you know, what's good cop, bad cop now? He doesn't, I, I'm Marco. Just let me go. I don't have anything. There's says, nothing I can do. Marco, guys. we know that you've been camping here. Where did you where did you and your band come from? You and your gang? Well, we came from Zell. Well we you've been camping here. How long have you been here? Camping in this area? We've camped here on and off since we were kids. You know who has I mean, the loot. You I told you, has Ghost loot. has it. And he went off into the trees. And I don't know where he went after that. When did when did Ghost go off into the trees? When we came up. When you came up here to rob us. And Johan stops at that and lets anybody else. <laughs> yes. I'm going to put my sword across his neck and yell for Ghost to come out of the trees or I'm going to kill his buddy. Oh, <laughs> yeah. He, he's just shaking now. Uh, Marco is. He's just shaking. His eyes are bugged out. I say, come out or I swear. I'll put the sword across his neck. All right. Well, there's no... You don't hear any immediate answer. And you don't uh, see any movement. And it's... Uh, everything's calm around you well, in the trees. We may as well kill him. We don't want him following us. Does this trail go anywhere else, or did it end at this campsite? No, it keeps going. It keeps going the same direction. Uh, Johan's going to ask Marco, where's Pelican Falls? Well, you're almost there. It's just a little bit further. Further in which couple, direction? A couple minutes away. Well, it's yeah, not what? back the way you came, is it? I believe uh, look, you little, look, you little, look, you little hard ass. <laughs> <laughs> We're yeah. tired of your games. <laughs> well, you think you're tired? Oh, <sighs> he's he's looking around like what happened to all of his friends, and he's <laughs> like, "Jeez." All right. I, I say we continue to Pelican Falls. It doesn't seem yeah. like, yeah, it doesn't seem like he can help you much more than he has already, unless he knows something that he's really keeping from you. But doesn't seem to be. And that we've way. threatened with the fingers, and we've threatened other things. We've dosed them up with zombie flesh. If his friend had the loot, 
and went into the trees, like he said. He could be hiding in trees, or maybe he, that's not what he did. Maybe he ran off. There's all these possibilities. Maybe so Thor asks Eric falls. what we're going to do with this this fool. Yeah, what are we going to do with him? <sighs> Kill him. <laughs> so if there's a falls near here, that means there's rock around, right? Is it possibly a cave? Is there any hills or anything like that? Yeah, um, I mean, you, you're Is in there a, a rock face anywhere nearby. Well, a rock face. What do you mean, like, uh, like a sheer wall? Like a sheer wall. Oh, um, not not anywhere in sight. Or I mean, well, and it's dark anyway. But um, no, it's more like a, a dirt edge to the creek, and then forest, um, and then you're in a clearing, basically. Um, I mean, there's rocks and stuff. There's there's like rocks in the creek, but there's not like a a rock wall or anything like that. Okay. Anybody else got any ideas? Well, we could take what they have here and move towards Pelican Falls, but we got to figure out what we're going to do with this yutz. Oh la la! Oh la la! I need to heal up first too. Oh la la! Takes out her dagger and uncuts his. It uncuts the uh, the the rope that's tying him up. Oh no! Well, he's not okay. going anywhere, you know. Okay. With all of us yeah. around, but she just that's like cool. frees him. Well, his his Wait, feet you're, are still tied, right? You're gonna, you, yeah. Oh, you're gonna cut the rope on his hands. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, I say, and then she says, Nawala. she says, I hold say on. we let him go, and she cuts the rope on his hands. All right, we'll let him go then. I'm gonna pick just... him up and put him over my shoulder. Okay. There you go. You can put him over your shoulder. Yes. <laughs> okay. With his hands free. Well, okay. I'm gonna uh, take him. I'm gonna take him to the water. I was gonna gonna say, I'm, con I'm confused. Like, what are we doing? <laughs> I have um, no idea. I'm gonna, force, <laughs> I'm gonna force him over the falls. Okay. Force him over Still the in. falls. What? Yeah, we're gonna walk him to the falls. Yeah. I'm gonna throw him in the water. Oh my god. Okay. Well, that way he can no. follow us. That works. Good oh. idea. His, but no his blood feet are on still tied. Hands. His hands are not tied anymore, but his feet are still tied. So I don't feel quite as bad. <laughs> nope. He'll be all right. All right. Sorry, man. So you're carrying this guy, and he's on the zombie whatever the zombie flood. Well, yeah, but it's kind like it's it's, it's mostly quick. worn off now. Yeah, it's it, it's mostly worn off. <laughs> Is quick acting. Okay. All right, so you guys just kind of head down the trail <laughs> to the falls. To the falls. All to right. The water. Just to the water. Uh, okay. Or just to the creek, you mean? Or just to the falls? To you're the gonna creek. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. You're you're already by the creek, so. Okay. Yep. I mean, we're gonna walk along and make sure he goes over the falls, but I'm just joking. I don't know. <laughs> Okay. We don't know if Pelican Falls are actually well, like a waterfall. My, we don't... my suggestion hey. would be that we at least tie them to a tree for a while or something. Okay. Well, let, let me let me make sure you understand because it sounds like you guys have got it a little backwards. You you've been walking along this creek against the current. The current's going past you, behind you, out to the ah. sea. Yes, and I did you, mistake that. Where you're heading towards would be the base of the falls, where yeah. the falls land. I thought we were at the top of the falls. Yeah. No, we're going. So you would. Uh, yeah, we're not quite to the falls, but we're so close. You, okay, yeah. So, but you can, you can go walk up around. I mean, you could probably get to the top of the falls somehow. Yeah. You so haven't let's been there. Do that. You haven't been there before. You don't know for sure, but. Right. <clears throat> There yeah. was another I mean, suggestion. I wanted to have him roll over the falls. 
<laughs> okay. Since we're not going to do the, that. There was the just... other suggestion about um, resting and trying to go to Pelican Falls maybe in the morning. If we stayed at their campsite, mm -hmm. we it's could, but somebody, course. but but we'd probably need probably maybe two at least to stand guard uh, to stay watch for each, um, you know, for maybe a couple hours and then switch mm -hmm. guard so that people could still rest. But I don't think yeah. one is safe. I think it'd be safer to have two guards and two on guard and force or uh, yep. I would Good say point. four and four. We just yeah. we split it up into two. Yeah, that that yeah that that's good. So, yeah. But first of all, we need to get rid of this guy or take care of him somehow. So we gag um, his mouth. We tie him to a tree. Tie him to a tree. <laughs> Sounds good. And we did find at least one more bundle of rope that Stormy found in that backpack. So we've got plenty of rope now because she she had rope and Johan had rope. So we've. We'll have plenty of We're rope. We're good on rope. Yeah. For <laughs> tying up captives. Yep. Time to a tree. And we're going to move and the dead gag. bodies out of our way. Okay. Make sure he can't yell. Kick away yeah, the corpses. Yeah, something All over right. his mouth. <laughs> Feeling generous. Even though he didn't give us what we wanted. Look at all the murder victims. And continue searching the different bodies and the all the okay. stuff in the tents and all that. And if we find gold, just I guess divvy it up. Yeah. Okay. Now we, we can actually throw them in the water. Okay, let's throw them in the water. Uh, Thor and okay. Eric. Phil will help. Johan will help. <laughs> yeah. Johan will help. Ah. Heave ho. All right, uh, let me give you a, a list of the stuff that you found here. As far as the coins, yeah. let me see here. I have totaled a few different things up. Give me one second. And while the magic oh, user, anybody with the spell use can... Um, Relearn their spells during the resting period, too. The only problem with waiting till the morning is this gives this guy ghost <sighs> the whole time night to run everybody. Yeah. yeah, it's it's up to you guys. Stormy is not the decision maker, so she will go with the group. You know, whatever the group decides. Let's look at how much we made off this adventure here. Yeah. If it's 10,000 copper, I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so gold pieces, uh, a total from like the backpacks and pouches that you found in the people and the tents and everywhere. Uh, gold pieces, 76. Nice. Silver pieces, 79. Cop copper pieces, 27. Um and let's see, and, and then you found, you've got that bottle of poison, poison, poison. possible poison, or yeah, believed to be uh, poison. Um, I mean, they had just rudimentary weapons. I mean, that you could take if you wanted. Um, I mean, there's you know a couple of short bows, uh, a couple of daggers, a short sword, a war hammer. Does anybody else use a great a bow? axe? Um, anybody else in the party use a bow? I don't think anyone does, do they? Use a what? Um, a bow. And in, in, no. in, in basic fantasy, there's um, unless you unless a fighter picks a, a special a specialization in a weapon, um, anybody can use anything as long as they're. Uh, I was just wondering if anybody there, actually has one other than me. No, no, and we found two short bows. So, 
Does anybody actually want one? Yeah, Johan does. Okay. I want I've already, got, right. a, I've already got a short yeah. bow in my kit. And there were so I'd say give let's gather all their arrows. Yeah. Okay. And then there were yeah, tents, we'll blankets, backpacks, sacks. Split split the arrows evenly among Get. whoever gets the bows or has a bow. Okay. Thor would so like the axe. Total of thirty four arrows. <coughs> You can have the axe, Jay, if nobody okay. else wants it. What? What? Kind right. of, it was just a regular axe. It's a great axe, like oh, so. It's a two, a two, a two-handed axe. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Could I'll you carry my character sheet? All right. Was there anything else that we found that was interesting than tents? Um, no. Other than, I mean, just your basic, your camping gear. Stuff like that. Underwear. Yeah. <laughs> Underwear. <laughs> and Stormy will take one of the daggers. <sighs> Johan will take a dagger. Anybody want any of the daggers? I could use a dagger. Yeah, uh, uh, good. The green <laughs> Stormy will take seven. another dagger. Well, there was, uh, let's see, three of them total, I think it was. Yeah, yeah. One, two, three. Yeah. All right. So, Johan, take one. He's already got one. Yeah. Well, he's he's got, he'll take another one. He can always throw two. it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And Stormy takes one. And oh, yeah. how many daggers were there? Three. 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 If you want one, take one. I want to. Oh, oh, Allah's going to take a dagger. Okay. Right. Johan, Johan's going to drop that dagger. Give it to give it to uh, oh, Allah. It's just a straight dagger. Yep. Okay. And she, and... she says, do I still owe you for the tobacco? We'll talk about that at another time. Okay. Huh. <laughs> um. Uh, no. Um. <laughs> and uh, and any other gear, you know, sacks and stuff like that. So if we were to, if we were to uh, divvy up the gold, we're by eight. Mm -hmm. it's, that's nine and a half gold per person. <laughs> And same thing with silver. Why don't we hold the gold until the end of the adventure? Yeah, we can yeah, spend it. yeah. Okay. And if we need to spend anything, we've got the totals. So. Yeah, I've got it. I've got it written down. In, yeah. So. Um, so. What it would be? It would be a pool until yeah. the end of the adventure. Yeah. And then we split it up. Just sort like it pack. out. Like okay. pirates used to do. Okay. Sort it out at the end, yeah. And that uh, great axe is, is uh, a 14 gold piece. Fine, so that's awesome. <laughs> All right, yeah. so you owe us four gold pieces into the pot. 14. It, the great axe is, I could buy a great axe for 14 gold pieces. Yeah, but if you got 10 gold pieces, then that means you'd still owe the pot four more for that great axe. Okay, <laughs> got it. I'm just joking. All this, yeah, this wheeling and dealing going on here. Well, we're just just <sighs> figuring it out. Anything that we couldn't maybe want to carry with us, we could stash somewhere before we leave. You know, if um, do we want to rest at this site or do we want to carry on? Some of us are pretty beat up. Yeah. yeah. I can yeah. heal someone. I have um, uh, cure light wounds. Cure light wounds, and I also have. Uh, We've got two healing ointments. Yeah, healing ointments. Well, there's only one person that I know needs healing. Was that Johan? Eric. 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 Eric, oh, Eric got hit too. pretty hard. Okay. Eric got hit real hard. 
Yeah, but yeah. somebody else got hit too. One of your coaches. Johan. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he took whoever two. whoever hit two didn't somebody take six points though? Yeah, that was Eric. Yeah, Eric needs healing. Yeah. Okay. And that's Phil who can heal him, I think. <clears throat> Rep Cure Light will Yep. All right. So how do I do that? You have you just gotta roll for how many points you heal. What do I uh, it's uh, 1d6 plus 1. Four points. Okay. That's close enough. Puts him back up to 12. Cool. Cool. Okay. Yep. Well, and then uh, Johan's got what, five hit points now. His maximum is seven. Can I yeah. heal Johan too? But he's not a frontline guy, right? Okay. No, he's well, he's a fighter. Okay. He wants to be a frontline guy. He's just not. He's just not very good at it. <laughs> <laughs> he strives to be. Well, he's got a slightly low constitution for one thing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he got this a seven. Point. I think. Yeah. yeah. That's part of the problem. So it gave him a <laughs> negative. Negative on the hit points. So. Yeah, negative one to his hit yeah. point rolls. But he always wanted to be a fighter. <laughs> <laughs> if you read his, if you read his background story that I sent Jason, um, yeah, he's always wanted to be a fighter. So, so hun, did you update it? Let's see. No, no bio information in there yet. Okay. Well. You guys think you're going to camp at this campsite for the night? or? Well, we should try to well, try we... to find the ghost. Yeah. Yeah. That's well, I mean, you haven't... <clears throat> yeah, you haven't really figured out... Uh, yeah. yeah, that's true. Let's, let's rest up. Let's heal up, rest up, eat our rations, stoke up the fire, throw oh, let's the bodies in the Let's crack open a bottle of wine there. <laughs> I bought two <laughs> bottles of wine in one of those stores. Ah, yeah, Johan yeah. would gladly have some of that. Yeah. <laughs> that'll, be, that'll break. Yeah. If it won't heal his hit points, it'll heal his spirits. There you go. We're, we're on the <laughs> path, man. We can't have too much. <laughs> there's, there's eight of us in one bottle of wine. Oh, we'll Lala's going to take wine, but uh, Thorwald's <laughs> just going to uh, bum some tobacco off a of stormy. <laughs> Was so, there, yeah. <laughs> what what was, time is it, Jason? Well, let's see. You got here about dusk and had this battle and done all this interrogating and body snatching. I mean, it probably <laughs> probably been you know a good a good hour or so after after nightfall. So I I would say maybe between ten and eleven, somewhere in there. Okay. Um, so I would say two uh, four man shifts of four or two, two four right. man shifts. Four hours on, that's four fair. hours off. There we go. That's fair. That's good. Who wants yeah. first right. watch? You need to keep as many people awake as we can. Yeah. Who so. wants first watch? Thor will. Have well, actually. Watch. Um, Eric probably is pretty beaten up. He, he, do you need to rest? Yes. I know you got some heal. You were healed, but do you want to rest first? Or? Yes. Okay. He rest, and Johan wants to rest. Stormy will be on first watch. Because where wherever we're going, people probably already know that we're on our way. Yeah. So we need yeah. to have, we need to maximize our firepower. Phil okay. will stay we'll up see. and let LaCroix rest, but Phil will stay up. And know Lala's going to rest. Okay. okay. Let's see here. Yeah, we'll, we'll put the resting ones on the tents. <laughs> no, I don't know. You guys want to sleep in tents? Yeah. yeah. I mean, you can. Might as well. There. Less mosquitoes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we are right next to a large body of water. Yeah, yeah. And any other kind of buck. Okay. Just Johan. Yeah. 
And we have that guy tied to a tree. <laughs> yeah. So yes. there's two yeah. big bugs. After threatening to throw them over the, the falls. Yeah, the wrong <laughs> side of the falls. Okay. Sounds like Eric had some of that zombie flesh, too. <laughs> <laughs> Did we find any food that these uh, this gang may have had? Uh, yeah, yeah. You found uh, just, like, little bits of stuff. I mean, they've got, like, Dry enough, rations. enough enough food for a couple of days, you okay. know, for, for, for each of them. I would Where say you found... No, no, it's not dry rations. It's just like stuff that they brought with them okay. from town or gathered. You know, it's Easter. it's like like bread and fruit stuff okay. like that. Okay. Uh, Take that too. Yeah, I mean, there's enough there that you could each have a meal out of it if you wanted, and probably have breakfast too. Okay, so yeah, yeah. So. Olalo's gonna eat a little bit before she. Passes out. Okay. Well, now that they see. know we're coming. I'm going to do some... Let me check a few things here real quick. While you guys are resting. Oh, maybe not. You never know. We There's these caves that Marco told us about at, around the waterfall. Never know. Worth looking mm -hmm. into. What did Marco say about the weasels? Said that there's only two of them. Uh, One of them left, maybe two. So he's a weasel. He never said. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> and I informed him that Eric is is still has the mindset that he may toss Marco into the water or over the falls. Okay. Yes, he may still have that mindset. And we're... Could we're have. Not, Could have. And we're not... And, uh, but he said that if we are willing to... Uh, uh, untie him so that he can walk um, he may be able to help us find ghost he can look for ghost and we could go with him but of we, course and Thor says but we have to sew his finger back on after he shoots <laughs> it out <laughs> did you cut off his finger yeah, I didn't. No, it was Eric. Sliced his finger and shoved it down his throat with the zombie. Oh. Yeah. I don't remember shoving it down his throat. That was oh, him. okay. Maybe he did. Okay. Here's his finger. Thorwald. That's some kind of weird <laughs> fantasy you have, Jay. Thorwald oh, my God. <laughs> waves his finger. Here it is. Wow. He didn't need it after all. <laughs> I just took it and threw it on the ground, probably. But <laughs> mm. for some reason, Jay thinks I'm shoving it down his throat. Yeah, I, I thought that's <sighs> how the story went. So, yep, it's definitely getting late. <laughs> <laughs> well, but he, he oh. I was gonna say, uh, while you guys are uh, standing guard, the group of you outside. Uh, Phil's thinking to himself, why haven't we, he's thinking, what about that sleep spell? What if, what if ghost was caught in that? Why haven't we searched the area where that happened? Oh, that's a good idea. Well, I thought we did though. I thought we searched the tent. When we well, moved we didn't the bodies. search behind them. Well, yeah. if you look at where you you had centered that spell, mm -hmm. the area further out behind where those guys were at, like th oh. there's trees and stuff, and you can't really see back in there. But you know the 
I mean, the radius of the spell would have caught some of that area. Okay. So Thor, while uh, Phil shares with everyone those yeah. thoughts. Yeah, hey guys, you know, we should probably check like the full radius of the sleep spell to make sure that there's no one just behind a tree. <laughs> Thor Walt is going to <laughs> Phil. <laughs> Let's go check. Yeah, he's so, just thinking, you know, it, it covered such a large area that yeah. uh, what if it did catch catch him? Uh, yeah, but I mean, he'd be awake by now, wouldn't he? No, we only had four turns. Yeah, but... I oh, mean, no, he, the spell would have worn off by now. But he's thinking, uh, well, he's just thinking, you know, what if he was in a tree and fell out? <laughs> <laughs> Which it turns out Phil is he right. <laughs> there he is. Yeah, He's dead. not Let's not, not far from where everyone else is. You find a skinny young man laying on the ground with his head turned around backwards, uh, and oh, not far from that, on the ground, the loot is a loot. <laughs> yeah. Is it still in one piece? It is in one piece. It, did take it looks a it looks intact. It, it's okay. it's got some scratches on it, and you don't know if that was I mean they, they look new, but you don't know if, if that's gonna like you know ruin the loot. I mean it, it's more like cosmetic, but it's not horrible. It, you know mm -hmm. you drop a loot out of a tree, you get a little bit of marks on it and stuff, so Anyway, does the loot have it, the loot the... is there, but when you when you look at it, it seems to be missing a, a key component. Though, does there it was, have the doves? It does have that, um, but it was also supposed to have had a silver, a silver... bridge piece. Yeah, uh, mm -hmm. saddle. It's called, and you see that that's been replaced. If this is the same loot, it's been replaced by a piece of wood. Hmm. So it's like some maybe somebody took that piece out because it was valuable, and then they still wanted to play the loot, so they 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 replaced it with a wooden piece. Uh, can can someone search ghost? Yeah, yeah. Thor's ghost. Search ghost. Yeah. Search ghost. Okay. Searching ghost. You find he's uh, got a belt pouch with 14 gold, 10 silver, and 12 copper. Thor wants to take the belt pouch. All right. And divvy up the money or put the money in the in, with the group. So, yeah. Okay. Put it into the group pool. Okay. Group pool. Honest, honest, or silver. All right. Too honest, man. How much silver and copper? Uh, 10 silver, 12 copper. And, um, and he also had a dagger. Okay. <clears throat> and I um, had the belt pouch to my inventory equipment. With the rest of with the rest of the stuff that we found in the tents, we didn't find anything that would resemble this uh the, the, that loot, uh, the loot piece? The saddle? No. Yeah. No, you didn't see anything like that. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Are those... Everything. Could could a saddle be some... A saddle that would be on a, a instrument like that, could that be sharp in any way? Like, if it was taken off? Is it something that could be um, used as a stabbing weapon? Uh, no, no. It's more, okay. it would be more shaped like um, maybe like a tube of lipstick. Picture like a round lipstick tube. Mm -hmm. Only it's like smoothed over, you know, it, it's just totally smooth, basically. And so and they, they... Like the strings 
of the instrument would come up out of the instrument and bend over that and then go oh. towards and go oh. towards the neck. Okay. And yeah. they had and they had to remove it, they'd have to take off the strings. Yep. Or remove loosen them. it. Yeah. Put the put the uh that piece of wood in that place yep. and then and this was re the, this has the strings on it, this loop. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um can we pluck the lute or strum yeah. the lute at all? Yeah, you can. Uh, nothing it, unusual happens. It sounds beautiful. Uh, nothing unusual happens. But it's a it's a really nice quality instrument. Um can we uh drag the body of ghost over to the other weasel, Marco, and ask if this is ghost. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you drag him over there and uh Marco just kind of shakes his head and he goes, Yeah, that's him. <sighs> I can't believe it. What happened to him? <laughs> Fell out of a tree, Thor says. Oh my gosh. Actually, maybe Eric. Maybe Eric got a hold of him. <laughs> he just kind of looks at you, and his eyes bug out. Did, what do uh, we have? What do I we have to expect up there at Pelican Falls, huh? Uh, it's a waterfall. Not much more than that to expect. So, Marco, when there's a what up there? There's caves up there. Oh, there there are some small ones. Yeah, just big enough for maybe one or two people to hide out in. Marco, after you got the, after you stole a loot, what did any of you do with the loot? Uh, well. I don't know. There's, that's kind of a long story. I mean, it's well, we've got time. It's complicated. <laughs> we've got all night. Well, it's missing a bridge. Where's the bridge? Ah, uh, yeah. Well, that you see, that's uh, not gonna. <laughs> You're not even gonna believe me if I tell you. We we want to hear. It's it's gone forever. Why? I don't know who took it, but I can tell you what they looked like. Tell us. And he goes, listen, this, I don't want anyone else to find out about this either. This is hard for me to believe. Well, you said won't we, be uh, oh, go ahead. Well... <clears throat> He said, when we, when we got out of town, we came out here with the with the loot. Uh, we were pretty we were pretty drunk, and uh, Ghost was playing it, and he was walking around out in the woods by himself, playing the loot, and we could hear him playing out there, and all of a sudden he stops. And we hear him come running back towards the, the campfire. And he said he saw something strange coming down the trail. He said he didn't know what it was. He said he, he thought it looked like a, a boat. But it was on the land. And, uh, well, none of us believed him, of course. We didn't know what in the hell he could be talking about. And uh, must not have been more than 30 seconds later, we look down the trail and we see these strange lights and uh, they're moving in a group, kind of hovering up in the air. And uh, they come closer and closer and, and we could see in the moonlight the outline of a ship and it was 
over the land, but it was floating over the land. Mm. It wasn't in the creek. I don't know how this could have happened. I don't know what kind of sorcery this was. I've never seen anything like it. And uh, it came closer and closer. And one of the lights on the ship turned and aimed right at us. And we was all petrified. And we just sat here. Well, this thing came down and it rested on the ground. And before we knew it, this door opened up on the side of it. And this little man, this little man came walking out. Did he look like a mouse? <laughs> no, no, I'm he didn't. Kidding. He didn't I'm look like kidding. a mouse. He was a little man, maybe three feet tall. And he was wearing a cloak. So I couldn't really see his face in detail. My Uncle Ezra. <laughs> <laughs> he came out and looked at us. And then he pulled something out of his, from under his cloak. Strange thing he was looking at in the palm of his hand. And he was looking at us and looking at, at this thing. And then he started manipulating it. He started pressing on it and holding it at different angles and looking at it. And then he was looking at us again. And well, a few seconds later, another guy comes out and then another and then there's three of them standing there. And we were all just frozen. None of us could move. None of us made a sound. We just sat still. Well, the first one that came out, he came walking up to us. He took that loot right out of Ghost Hand. And he pulled that piece off it. And those little men, they, they turned around and they got back in their ship. And that ship lifted up off the ground again. And it went on down the creek. They must out have towards the it. sea or wherever they, wherever they went after that, I don't know. Perhaps they needed it for their ship. I don't know what that was all about. I, I, I couldn't tell you. But that's what happened, I swear. And Stormy says that she believes. We story. all saw it. Of course, now I'm the I only believe. one left who saw it, but... <laughs> mm -hmm. That's convenient. <sighs> yeah, you're telling me. That is an amazing story. Hmm. What are you going to do with the loot? Well, we planned on returning it to its owner. Hmm. Is he still at that uh, peaceful Hornet Inn? Maybe, maybe not. Huh. He seemed like he was getting ready to leave the city. Hmm. Did he say where he was going next? No, he did not. Hmm. Well... Wow. What are you going to do with me? We haven't decided yet. <laughs> and Thor says, we'll decide in the morning. Well, you've gotten everything you can from me. Um, LaCroix, you yeah. still got that, you've got that vial that you found. Uh, the poison, yeah. Yeah. Um, see if Marco knows anything about that. Let me grab it out here. So, do you recognize this? Oh, yeah. That's something Len made. That'll, uh, well, that'll kill you if you drink it. So, don't drink uh, it. <laughs> And that's really all it's for. Uh, it's for taking care of business, if you know what I mean. Good to know. Good to know. Oh. Yeah, 
It's, it's kind of slow less acting, sad. but it'll it'll kill you. It's gonna make me even less sad if we have to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think we ought to do with you? Well, I'm no threat to you. <laughs> I think you should let me go. I've done what I could to help you. What do you guys think? Yeah, kill him. <laughs> I, mean, I think we should I think we should bring him to the city. For what purpose, Thor says. Yeah. Bring him to the any uh authority. You know. Yeah, we might be able to get a reward. Oh, like try a... to like turn him into the guards or something. Yeah. Yeah. See if he's on the wanted posters. <laughs> see, yeah, see if he's wanted for anything else. Yeah, yeah. could take him back to the city with you. I just don't want to get in trouble for cutting off his finger. <laughs> yeah. Well, this, I don't know, the, the situation, you know, it wasn't looking good until you found the loot. I mean, until you found the stolen loot, it kind of looked like you had just came up to these guys and murdered them, you know, like as far as anyone else's point of view was concerned, like. Well, actually, they were fixing to rob one of our party members. They, well, yeah, or at least they were acting like it. They threw um, Yeah. Anyhow, uh, nevertheless, I feel that like we should um, maybe release him somewhere. I don't think he's a threat anymore. Well, if you guys want to let him go, I guess that's all right. That's up to the whole party. I think we should let him go in the morning after we take anything uh, as much as we can out of the site. A anything... You know, any weapons so that he Thor can't says take in the morning, we'll keep you tied up till the morning, then we'll release you. Hmm. All right. And he kicks some leaves over in his direction to lay. <laughs> Thanks for not killing me. Hasn't completely been decided yet. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, do we want to have this be a stopping point? Is everybody yeah. tired? Yeah. I'm sorry. yeah. Otherwise, we could have you return to town and do whatever else you need to do there. But, I think uh, we're going to just uh, do the whole sleeping in shifts in the tent and call okay. it a night. And then that's a good ending point. All right. Yeah. So, uh, what we could do then, um, Partially I can achieved our mission. I can, I can tell you guys now, or I can go through and add experience points to everybody's character sheets myself. Um, but uh, I'll tell you what I was going to do for this was the uh, the treasure. I calculate the total gold piece value, and you get one experience point per gold pieces. Or oh, I'm getting too tired to think about yeah. this stuff now yeah. but uh and then the guy the big guy let's see with the axe was 100 experience points and the other guys were 50 each so that's 300 thank you <laughs> 300 and then uh marco You'll get another 50 experience points for your, you know, defeat of him and your, I mean, he's an, you didn't kill him, but you don't have to kill a foe to get experience points. You just got to overcome, overcome them. Maybe I mean, you could, could, maybe we should defeat him. You I get the experience off. points either way. <laughs> well, yeah. If you if you win through diplomacy, you would still get experience points, you know. <laughs> but yeah. killing is a fun way of doing it too. <laughs> nah. I don't want to knock everybody off. It's a mission, though. Mm -hmm. 
We can't have anything standing in the way of that. <laughs> so let's see. So 350 experience points plus whatever the treasure's worth. 